And no. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Wait, we're good. We're good. Jack, intro it. Oh, in. sh I wasn't ready to be good. Oh, I was well, ready shit. to be bad. Hey, everybody, welcome <laughs> nah. back to. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hmm? You have little half, sorry, half right? faith, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. We have little boop and faith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Everon, City of Towers. I feel like it has been forever since we last played this game. I don't know I why it guys. also feels that way. But I, I don't think we missed a week. Nope. No, 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 I mean, time. we had a, like a three-week break at one point. But no, like, well, yeah, but last game was two weeks, two weeks ago. ago. Yeah, like yeah. usual. It does feel like it, it was like a weird, long, long amount really of time. Long time. It was a dramatic pause. That's what, true. What we in the it business was, call a cliffhanger. Holy oh, shit. Oh. Dropping, you, Jordan. dropping some Hollywood knowledge yeah. on you. Yeah, the Hollywood insider, elite Hollywood insider, Jordan. Oh my god. Jordan, yeah. you're in the business? Um, yeah. yeah. Oh my, wow. Yeah. wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Now a lot of things really just check out. I am in the business and mm -hmm. I am the business, oh my god. as the kids say. There you go. I um, think. So I, I did want to mention one little thing. I got to yeah. get in here. Twenty years ago, of course. <laughs> I, I had a feeling when I was going to say something. A little something. Um, guys, tomorrow, tomorrow at six p.m. It's the first episode of Descend. Uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have a good time. And uh, if you don't know what that is, I uploaded a video on the channel. It's uh, uh, called New D D Campaign this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Descend Primer, um, and it's just it's six minutes of me explaining what's going on. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Super excited. Anyways, Jack. It's gonna be cool. Oh, Colton is here. Yeah, Colton is here. Off. He's right there. <laughs> bro is bro is munching right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot to grab my dice. So oh, let's do that. That's okay. Well, while you grab your dice, um, I'm a little chilly, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with the recap. In here. So last we left off, the group was breaking into an experimental <coughs> research and development facility hidden beneath House Jarosco's Grand Hall of Healing in Middle Central of uh, of Sharn the city of towers um down there they found some some secrets um namely among them some cursed uh mountain dew baja blast or whatever it was uh that uh, a, a health drink uh failed health drink by house Jarosco and house galanta called uh, project good spring that um uh rena felt compelled to drink by some strange mysterious voice and when she did she fell unconscious and awoke in this twisted fey grove uh, tended to by, uh, by masked servants toiling away endlessly beneath, uh, amidst the strange uh, fairy tale-like fauna and flora. Um, and met, uh, uh, Rena met uh, th their, uh, their so, uh, you know, alleged mother, the lady in shadow, uh, an archetypal archfey of Eberron. Alleged mother. Uh, alleged mother. Uh, Self-proclaimed mother, <laughs> you could oh, say. Oh, other mother. Um, and mother. Um, Her mother. The, two, the two got to catching up, and uh, the Lady in Shadow revealed that Rena's friend, Maggie, was coming up uh, it was, was coming up for the deadline on the deal <coughs> that he struck when, uh, when the Lady in Shadow made Rena to be Maggie's friend. Um, and if Maggie does not fulfill her side of the bargain, by the end, uh, or by the uh, by, the last year of the first millennium of the Kingdom of Galifar, uh, aka the beginning of the next year in game, uh, she will be cursed to forever toil in the Lady in Shadow's garden, like the other figures that Rena saw there. We don't want that. No, we do not. No. Nope. Um, well, and so could be, could be fun. Kevin. <laughs> He's you still there. I said you don't want that. That happened to my buddy Kevin. Mm -hmm. And he and you, Jordan, he said he's still there. Yeah. yeah. Curse to toil. Curse to toil among the beans. And you don't get any breaks. <laughs> Curse to toil among the beans? There's yeah, no the breaks. Bean stocks. Just even. constant toiling. Um, no lunch but, uh, breaks. No cigarette the, breaks. Uh, the, lady, bean. <laughs> the lady in shadow did tell Rena that um, somehow Maggie was out of was beyond her sight, that she could not uh, detect her presence, which was which was highly unusual. Um, and that Rena should uh, soon find her friend and convince her to fulfill her side of the bargain. Um, and then sent her back to uh, to Eberron, where only a moment had passed in the waking world, um, but uh, was given a gift, a, a wand made of shattered mirror glass that uh, is pretty cool and hasn't seen any <laughs> use yet, but it is a just wand might. Um, pretty cool. And um, then um, Severin and um, uh, Fillion, the uh, the House Tarkannon member that the group was sent to find by Thor Tavern, 
um, <laughs> discovered a uh, the last known uh, super soldier from Project Juggernaut, a joint House Jurasco and Vidalis uh, research project, trying to create <coughs> uh, mage bred super commandos to work for the Five Nations during the last war. Um, the Severin. Uh, awoke the, the slumbering super soldier and uh, befriended uh, Briah, who uh, you guys sort of adopted and brought with you as you uh, headed out into the sewers through a secret entrance to meet up with your House Tarkanon contacts and uh, deliver the Kyber's blood and Fillion back to House Tarkanon. Indeed. Um, while that happened and the group played, um, played a game made of completely different cards and was punching holes in the wall in the parlor, Sev was talking with uh, Thora Tavern right. and the other remaining members of House Tarkanon about a new, a new rift that has appeared in the house with a figure known as the Son of Kyber, taking away some of House Tarkanon's members and uh, plotting to uh, wage all-out war on the Dragon Mart houses. Severn expressed interest in looking into this particular Son of Kyber and learning more. But uh, until then, you all returned to the Storm Tower and... Um, what else happened? Azarephus, yeah, you met to. up with uh, some of your fellow venomous mm -hmm. domain tieflings that uh, what? What that, that? Uh, dis discussed mm -hmm. working together to find the promise of flame. I don't even know who they are. They're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't even uh, know what that is. Along really well. uh, something called the promise of flame, which we don't uh, know what that is. MacGuffin? Yet, yeah, might, I can find that. might later. Um, it's poetry that I And uh, after, <laughs> after experiencing some uh, distress at the event, mm -hmm. uh, he, you know, made a made a late night booty call with uh, with Severin, um, and uh, that happened. Uh, <laughs> we faded to the curtains on that one. And uh, the next day, while the group was uh, discussing, you know, next steps and the, the events the night before, um, a uh, a member of their gang named Kiros came in, wounded, and said that Dask was attacking the Crooked Cat. Uh, home of our friend Whiskers and his army of cats. Um, the group quickly hopped to and <coughs> attacked, or did a counterattack against the raiders, uh, only to be caught in ambush by Car Bloodhorn, one of Dast's legendary raiders. Uh, it was a tough battle, but nonetheless, the group did emerge victorious. And uh, as they put out the fire and the crooked cat and uh, chased off the remaining Dask members after Car Bloodhorn fell, uh, Roy asked a single question Where is Whiskers? And that was where we left off. You guys are standing in the midst of the crooked cat. A fire has just been put out. There are no cats to be seen anywhere. The bodies of dead gnolls and orcs and um, shifters and, and, of course, Carbloodhorn the Minotaur, as well as some of your own, uh, your own uh, gang goons um, litter the streets. Um, and uh, as, you, um, as you're all looking around, you hear this weak cough behind the bar. Stick, you peer over and see um, with his crossbow or with their crossbow kind of uh, at, at the ready as you peek over as you stare down the barrel of it is a, is a wounded but still breathing whiskers as he says ah, oh Stick ah, I've never been so happy to see your face in my life as yeah. he, uh, he, he wearily stands up and looks around at all of you and says ha, ever my heroes yet again it is damn good to see all of you. Don't call us that. What happened? Uh, well, I don't know. Much like when you, uh, uh, when you darkened my door the first time and the steel skins burst in, it was business as usual, then all of a sudden a minotaur was busting down my door. They said something about you all and yeah. uh, uh, wounded me. I was able to crawl back here, terrorized the few people that were here, but they were focused mainly on torturing your soldiers. They... Dealt them great pain before they finally finished them off. It was a grisly sight. Um, and, uh, of course, they've adorned my place of business with a new decoration as he uh, gestures to the ground where, written in blood, is the message we know, Storm Tower 6. Um, well, he, he says, or uh, they say, you sure know how to pick enemies, you know. Uh, well, he's dead, yeah. so. I could see that. Um, you and we put the fire out. I very much appreciate that. We did that. start the fire, but... Stick, can you maybe help Whiskers? I can. <laughs> as you're explaining. Can I heal I mean, you? Um, I would very much appreciate that. I, this looks pretty deep as he pulls away from this wound. It is, uh, looks like a, like, a, like a horn wound, like maybe Carr got him. Yeah. Um, that is very deep. And uh, as he takes away, it's like... 
like oh. blood just like oozing out. Yeah, eyes. that'll I, that'll kill you. I hope not. Um, <laughs> how much do you heal whiskers um, for? I'm gonna use the magic item that I have, the healer's gloves, and oh, heal very him. Nice. Six, like. Yeah, that'll kill you. <laughs> uh, thirteen hit points. Thirteen. Yeah, uh, sorry, but the wound, uh, the wound closes up. Um, you still, there might still be a little bit of internal damage, but um, or at least the wound is closed, and there's no threat of infection or any threat that has been magically healed. Um, and he says, ah, "Thank you, my boy. <coughs> I very much appreciate it." Mm-hmm. Um, Any time. He just looks around and is like, ah, "Seems the fate of my shop is just be a battleground for every single gang war that comes through this place." I'm not mad at you, mind, but um, it's just a. Uh, oh, really? You're gonna let us off that easy? Well, I mean, considering this is your fun. reward for being friends with us. <sighs> Such is life in Calistan. I've rebuilt this place before, I'll rebuild it again. Are you trying to make him mad at us? I'm just being truthful. Look, Xerophis, uh, Whiskers is a fucking legend. Not his first (laughs) rodeo. It's true. I I don't know about that, Roy. Uh, Never the flatterer, but uh, I've uh, survived my fair share of tussles down here. Um, This is what it's like to play with Dask, though. And, you know, I can't help but echo what Stick said. We did start the fire. Just not this one, and we still haven't put it out yet. I was being literal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, not that I'm oh. against it. I, I, I would mad respect, <clears throat> but um, well um. But yes, I, we I, did start that fire. So, yeah. so I guess r- the rumors that I heard of you torching poor Ven's Garanath outside of Blinkies were true. That is true. Sovereigns and six, Roy. Um, well, anyone ever tell you, you got the big no? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, Whiskers, he was peddling. Poison drugs that turned one of our boys to stone. No, I understand. Uh, there was a rash of petrifications that broke out across East Bridge uh, in the days that followed. So um, there was something certainly out. But um, it was going to happen eventually. I'm going to go head to head with Dask. Well, I wish you luck then. Well, <laughs> I don't think we need the luck as he looks around <laughs> to his destroyed establishment. Um, he says, well, with any luck, they will see this place is uh, already picked clean. Looks like they took all of my good mugs as well. Oh, shame. Some hey, Noel uh, running away uh, with his uh, horse glasses as well. Uh, <laughs> not to and put, Rena's uh, fucking sword. Not to put too fine a point on it, uh, this is what you get for being friendly with us. If you need to beat feet and get out of here. I think I might lay low for a couple of days, kind of like the steel skin business. Um, if you don't hear from me, uh, just assume everything's fine. If you do uh, hear from me, it probably isn't me. Gotcha. How many days do we wait? Um, come back here in a few days or so. Three days multiple so versions of you? Um, well, there are apparently multiple <coughs> versions of several, so there could be multiple versions That's of That's shit, I keep forgetting about these fucking changelings. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah. Um, but um, Whiskers says... Um, if you happen to see any of my cats, uh, just tell them to go to the appointed place. Okay. Okay. The cats have an escape plan? Uh, they do, uh, but you know, in the chaos, some of them might have gotten lost or confused. I try to urge them to stick together, but sometimes, you know, survival instinct takes over. <sighs> I'll okay. find them. I'm gonna go piss. Uh, the bathroom's still right over there. <laughs> oh, there's a hole I- in the ceiling, but. <laughs> Looks like they left the urinal in there, thank goodness. Um, uh, Rip it off the wall. <laughs> yeah, <hard water. laughs> it's, you know, it's over there now. Yeah. It's a unisex bathroom. Um, yeah. He says to, to you, uh, to all of you, um, mm-hmm. thank you once again for coming to my rescue. I am in your debt, again, as it would seem, so if you ever need anything. Um, but uh, were you going to say something? Oh, I just heard you smack your lips. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like, uh, yep. Um, I don't know. I, I do have a plan, but not really. <laughs> oh, okay, sick, sick, sick. Um, stick. Yeah. Um, but uh, he looks at all of you and says, but I would encourage you, of course, to not take this lying down. I don't think you will, but I just want to urge you that if you just roll over and take this, Dask is certainly not going to let up, and you're going to lose a lot of respect down here. Yeah, makes sense. Any goodwill that you may have fostered with your crew or the locals, they won't take kindly to this if you just take it. But I know that you all know better than that. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Just be careful. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again at the end of all this. I guess it's time to kill more people. Yes. Almost definitely. That's the thing about fires, Britta. When they start, they 
bird. Except for this one. Unless you put it out. Unless you put it out. <laughs> but we're not going to put it out. There we go. Um, and with that, you all uh, head back to the storm tower. As or, uh, as you head out of the um, of the crooked cat, and Whiskers goes down into his little secret sanctum um, <laughs> to to gather his things and maybe get the heck out of Kalistan. Um, you guys are uh, met up with by um, uh, a group consisting of uh, Bregan Rule, the leader of the Broken Bridge Brawlers, uh, a member of your gang, and some of her <coughs> men. Um, and they and she tells all of you, uh, we can hold that we can hold down the situation here in case any more come back, and we'll send we'll send a runner in case they do. All right. Anything anything else we should do, boss? You could bury the dead or burn them. <sighs> yeah, we will. We'll, uh, I'll I'll send a runner back to the storm tower. Have some firebolts come out and bring them back. Um, like their boys. Okay. Uh, Cover Whiskers escape, but he's not staying, uh, and we don't want to signal that this is a big deal. They'll come back and hit it again if they mm. think there's something here. So, uh, take care of our wounded, our dead. Make sure Whiskers gets out, and then come back home. Mm -hmm. And then she looks over and she sees the bodies in the street, and she says, "Is that car fucking Bloodhorn?" Yes, <laughs> it is. <clears throat> Damn. Car fucking dead horn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn good sight to see. Actually, you know what you could do? You know what you could do? You could do me a big favor. Anyone, you, any of you guys got an axe? Um, there is uh, one of the brawlers behind it looks like a half orc, pretty big great axe over his shoulder. I want you, you fella, I want you to take off those horns and I want you to mount them on our door. <laughs> Um, Bregan smiles and she says, Sir, it would be my pleasure. Do it. And um, uh, he does. One thing that you guys would have learned about Bregan and her Broken Bridge Brawlers is that um, they served on the Western Front during the war. They have a lot of experience fighting uh, Dromites. Oh, shit. Sure. And uh, it's almost a little, it's, it's, it's almost a little, uh, they just have this sort of glint in their eye as they go about <laughs> mutilating the dead. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, sure enough, um, uh, your half-orc uh, fella <laughs> um, takes his axe, and uh, I think as we as we cut away, it's just the, the, the <laughs> shot of like from Car Bloodhorn's point of view is this huge fucking half-orc with <laughs> the great axe just boom, and then uh, that's where uh, that's where we cut back to the storm tower. Um, Roy grinning, covered in blood. Uh, um, <laughs> Hey, Paul. Uh, Aram <laughs> is standing guard out front. Oh, um, Briah's with you guys. She has she has been a little silent yeah. since this last thing, uh -oh. as the blood rage sort, oh. of, sort of settles. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, Aram is waiting for all of you at the door um, with a couple firebolts. And um, uh, he looks all of you and says, "You're back. How'd it go?" Fantastic. Better than uh, we had assumed. We killed fucking Carb Bloodhorn. No shit. Yeah. You killed the butcher of fucking Westbridge. Well, I, I didn't. Uh, it was uh, it, it was uh, Metal Man and uh, a, a silent girl over there. She says, "My name is Brian." Mm-hmm. Uh, I prefer beefcake. <laughs> fucking um, beefcake over there. Uh, Aram and some of the firebolts. They they all look at each other. It's like, damn. You killed a fucking legend right there. Yeah, we didn't kill four of them, though. <laughs> yeah. So well, those four are going to go back to Dask <laughs> and spill. Well, right. Well, I mean, that's better, right? Show them that if they fuck with the Storm Tower gang, they're going to get fucked with back, huh? That's the yeah, plan. Yeah, we're in it now. It's war here. <coughs> so, um, yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, we got company inside. Oh? It's Ilsa. Ah, I guess. Well, okay, well, okay, I guess when so, I guess when uh, Cricket Cat got hit, some of their territories in Westbridge got hit too. Okay. Well, uh, okay. So, like, when she came in, what did she look like? Pissed. Like, okay. Ilsa Boma. Like, what did she look like? Not pissed at you, I think. Okay. Well, this is better. Okay. Roy, they're just as uh, our enemy as his desk is. No, I just wanted to gauge where she was at, so I know how to approach the situation. We walk into it knowing. <laughs> That she's gonna be <laughs> right. No, I just don't want to throw a dagger at to us get punched or a... in the face. Right. <clears throat> right. 
or kicked in the balls. <coughs> uh, anyways, good luck in there. Um, and uh, you all head inside, I assume. Yeah, yeah. I think Azarephus goes first. For sure. Yeah. Oh. Kind of like, kind of very quickly sort of makes his way in and throws. Is, where is this? The storm tower, yeah, just the main thing. floor. Oh, just yeah. she's just in the main. Yeah. Oh, so we were outside. Yeah, you guys were outside. Yeah, you guys were outside. Well, then he just walks in. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a door, do we? Yes, yes. yes you do. We do. Wait, we have yeah, a little yeah, normal absolutely. door for it's, our big ass tower. That's it's it's part of the renovations. It's code. We have to have we a door. Have, yeah, it has and to we, stay we have unlocked to during business hours. Doors. Can we have yeah. a big door? You can have well, a big when door. we right. can afford one. I Aragorn. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big door. Yeah. Yeah. There's a yeah. large door uh, and a smaller door. Yeah. Everyone kind of kind of looks inside or looks at all of you and uh, your 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 troops, you know, they, they cheer as you return. Um, and uh, they cheer? Yeah. Oh shit, is there is always like, he's like what the fuck in blood and shit. Yeah. And fine, he's going crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, uh, um, uh, and uh, sitting at uh, one of the uh, one of the longer tables that you guys have managed to scrounge up. Um, uh, flanked by a couple of uh, a couple of her Boromar thugs uh, is of course Ilsa Boromar, um, who is currently uh, drinking uh, a um, uh, looks like uh, looks like some Talentin whiskey straight from the bottle, um, and uh, she uh, looks at all of you and says, "Well, shit, guess you went through fucking Dolor as well." Xerophis <clears throat> yes. is like, "Ha ha ha!" and he turns around towards her. He's like, "What the fuck do you want?" Um, she says, we got hit, same as you. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, those Dask fuckers that came in, they were better outfitted than, the, than what we usually dealt with, right? The rabble that we fought <coughs> alongside when we did when we did in the skill skins? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they were a step above. Obnoxiously like so, it was yeah. planned. Yeah, this Raza that they've got in charge now, she's uh, getting ready to go to war, I think. She's got some connections that are able to better outfit their troops. I don't that think she's not fucking well. I don't think she's ready to go to war. She is at it now. They sent blood <clears throat> one to the crooked cat, and it was a near thing. Well, guessing that you're all still standing, and uh, I'm gonna guess that maybe he ain't around anymore. Exactly. Fucking good riddance. She spits on the ground and takes another sip, and she says, <clears throat> "Gross." <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's our floor. We have to clean it. There are health codes here. I love that. Um, she yeah. says, <sighs> "Gross." <laughs> that was funny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the clan's got a spy on the inside of Dask. <coughs> he came with us with new information that I think you guys might want to act on. Mm. I would do it myself, but unfortunately, I'm too busy holding down the fort over in Westbridge. Convenient. Um, she says, look, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you, unless you want to continue to deal with Dask shock troops at your border, you may want to take a look into it. No, I'd love to have yes, the good grace and um, help of, of Ilsa Boromar. Why do you let this thing talk? <laughs> what? Uh, that's the problem about dogs. They just bark all the fucking time. You can tell them to stop, but then they just yap and yap and yap at you. <laughs> she, um, she just says, With that leash around your neck that she's holding, I'm not the dog here, Roy. She says, look, doesn't fucking matter. Basically, here's what's going down. Dask is getting bankrolled by someone. Not sure who, but all I know is that our spy inside says that someone from Dask goes up to a, a fucking Kundarak bank in Redstones in Upper Dura and then walks out with a sack full of cash. I don't know who's doing it. I don't know who's behind it. And I can't, my, my hands are tied. Boromar's got two tied up ties to Kundarak to get in there. However, Six of you don't have that problem. You could take a look, go through their records, see who's who it is that's bankrolling them, and then take whatever fucking money they're gonna get before they get it. And um, I assume that since we are um, doing this with uh, Borama blessing and Borama info, that Borama wants a taste. No, <clears throat> no deal. Thanks for the information, you can get the fuck out. She says, I was gonna give it to you free, whatever. All I want is Bormar, or all I want is Dask shock troops not beating the shit out of my boys. Oh, we, can't, we can't toe the line yes. against that shit. Not with the Royal Guard, not with Deneath. 
She says, besides, if someone's bankrolling them, I want to find out who it is so that Sidon could send someone to break their fucking legs and remind them whose city they're in. All right. <clears throat> you know what? She says, you could keep the gold. I don't give a shit about that. It's about sending a message. Okay. Um, you know what, Elsa? Let me see you out. Um, she, uh, uh, she stands up and kind of gives you a glare as a fist and she just walks off the door. He totally smiles at her. He's mm -hmm. like, thanks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you, you see her out and she's outside with her, with her thuds, um, just sort of waiting. When we have, like, a moment. Yeah. And he's going to say, um, <clears throat> when this calms down a bit, I have something for the old man. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Hope it's something good. Because you're still on a shit list, last I checked. What do you know about Kaiba's blood? She said, how do you know about that? That's what I have for the old man. We'll talk later. Okay. But you better not share a peep about that with anyone. And I mean anyone. Understand? If your friends know, let them know. As far as I know, I'm the only one who's got it. Well, the people we stole it from know, and tech. You broke into a fucking house Jurassic facility, man. Mm -hmm. You crazy bastards. Look. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that. It is in his interests that this meeting happen fast. The report of that operation is in the hands of how, was it Therani? Tarkanon? Tarkanon. Mm. Is in the hands of House Tarkanon. I was able to keep the recipe from them. But You're saying Tarkanon has Kyber's blood. They have a report. And they'll probably reverse engineer it before long. But I don't think they're going to be selling it on the streets. So... My concern with Tarkanon having Kyber's blood doesn't concern with them selling it. It concerns them using it. <laughs> I was like, they're not going to sell it. You delivered it to those fucking killers? <sighs> it was part of the deal. Like I said, I have Better the recipe. You can start making it tomorrow. Or he can, if he wants it. I assume it's going to take them a little bit of time to make it. If I could have gotten away with not giving him it, I would have, but it was a situation. <clears throat> you know, Jorosko thinks Dask did that. Yeah, that's because we planted evidence. Let's go, guys. You canny fucking bastards. <laughs> Let's go. She says, that was all, that was all his error. You know, for a crew of dumbasses, sometimes you're too smart for your own good. We're one whole ass sometimes. Story of my life, though. <laughs> Um, she says... We might be an ass, but we're a giant <laughs> ass. <laughs> we're a big one. Um, she, uh, she yes. says, when I see the old man next, I'll let him know what you have. For now, you can get further into his good graces by cutting out Das from whatever fucking deal they're getting from up top. <clears throat> good. We'll do it. Thank you, Roy. Uh, I'm sorry if you lost people today. I'm sure you did too. They'll be avenged. Good. And uh, she heads out. Okay. While Roy's gone, like Roy gets up and leaves with yeah, Elsa, yeah, yeah. I, and I'm smiling at her, and I turn back to everybody else and say, are, are we trying to make a villain of the Boromar clan while we're currently fighting Dask? Are you criticizing me right now? Maybe a little. Yes. Sorry, yes, I, I am. Do we want to fight a war on two fronts? We they could be our be. ally until... No, we, we are not allying them. ourselves with Boromar. That's a bad road filled with debt and debt <clears throat> and a lot of debt. In war, if everyone is your enemy, you die first. I know that rule, Beerbot, more than you might think. I don't want to fight another war. I want to win. Then why is your plan? Well, a heist, apparently. Um, how do we feel about a heist? 
I love a heist. Me too. I have, it's been a while since I've done a good heist. <laughs> it was a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been too long. Or did you say good heist? A good heist. <laughs> oh, no. It's been hey. a while since a good heist. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this, is a, this is a proper <laughs> bank heist instead of a... <laughs> good news. We're allied with the Boromar clan. <laughs> Man, maybe we should get a smaller door. <laughs> what the it is a door really says. large door. All right, yeah. all right, you know what, Roy? Really big side door for everybody door. else. We get a small door for you. <laughs> it's the, um, no, it's got to be one of those Dutch doors where it's like there's the one on the bottom. Uh, and the, yeah. 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 What I assume. It's the boy's doggy door. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh no, it's, it's for all halflings, yeah, gnomes, and goblins. Halflings, goblins, gnomes. Halflings, yeah, goblins, yeah, don't gnomes. be yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's still, Certain I'm going to put a little size. It's going to say Roy's doggy door. Really short doors. Dwarves, yeah. um, but, uh, like a like little a bit, but yeah. We're, yeah. we're level five, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. I am. So, I am. I am finally yeah, sorry, building myself right in Path right Builder, so yeah, I don't yeah, have to use the the character sheet with us. a hole in it. That also, <laughs> like, I didn't have a pencil when I did all my ability scores, so yeah. instead I just wrote plus one and plus two and <laughs> ten next to them all Uh-oh. to keep track of everything. Oh, yeah, that's fucking funny. <laughs> that's, um, that's yeah, a little bit hole in it was, was, was it like shot. Yes. <laughs> So, I think, I think we all obviously have our strengths here. I guess I was just more, I know you're down for heist. I know you're down for heist. I, of course, know you're down for heist. Or just double checking that red beer, beer bot are. Have I ever said no to anything yet? No. Okay. So, maybe I should rephrase the question. My question still stands with you, beer bot. Yes, definitely. Rena, can you do a heist? Well, efficiently. Yes. I did well last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, this is really funny, and I'm trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> what was that timing? That was hilarious. <laughs> God. <laughs> Look, um, I I want to heist shit all mm-hmm. the time, but if we stop at a heist, we're gonna give me blue balls because I want to fucking kill some of these people. Oh yeah. Wait, which people? Desk. Desk. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. people who are trying to kill us. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, sure Boromar's trying to kill us too, but in a slower no, way. No, they're not. It's slower. But they're not. It's, it's not yet. obvious. But yet. They're, they're not. They will. But soon. But they're not. They're it's going to happen. Okay, okay, look. It's 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 a long God. game. If if we want to yeah, live. Yeah, Dask doesn't play the long game. Yeah, not Dask, but Boromar will. If we want exactly, to live, we need to be friendly with Boromar. Look. Until Dask is out of the picture. If. All right. We, we don't have to ally ourselves with Boromar. You just said we were. If. We are Boromar. No. I'm not taking over Boromar. No, we don't have to take over Boromar. We Wait, just have to what? join. Why? I thought that, joining Boromar. I thought that the whole reason we were the Storm Tower 6 is so we didn't join a house. They're the boot! Xerophus, you noted that this dog wears a leash. And who carries my leash? Ilsa Boromar. Ilsa fucking Boromar. So, if Roy fucking Boromar starts running action... Out of South Calistan, <clears throat> we're not at war with Boromar. We just happen to be like fucking second cousins to Boromar. Yeah, it's just a different kind of war. A war I don't want to fight. A war that's easier to fight than one the way we're fighting with Dad. A war with family. Don't do the brooding, I can't do family bullshit. <laughs> what do you I mean? Don't, I'm not a good guy. We're not heroes. Don't call us out. Boromar's not my family. But we could be. No. No. We could I, be. I, that I, makes war much harder. We could be. It's Could easier be. for them to just always be my enemy. Right, no one's going to be a family if you take that attitude. Just saying. This is what happens if we join them. This what? is how we'll all start talking next. <laughs> I'll be our fucking family and we'll all want to sleep. What if we take your agent. road? We're all going to stand around here jacking ourselves off and say, we're all bad. If we take bad my bad road, if we take my road, they're going to burn to the fucking ground. I'm so edgy. I have a coat and a hat. <laughs> I you? like this coat. I killed a guy. <laughs> 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 Right, we could look at homeless <laughs> We can get you a coat. No, he's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, you we're getting off topic here. From a good-looking homeless man? Yeah, they, they exist. I'll just say, in my opinion, sure, right, using my own metaphors so you can... Oh, God. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All our characters audibly groan, but listen anyways. <laughs> Your plan's t- uh, too short, because we'll just fucking die. Mm-hmm. Your plan Don't say sure. oh my God. is boring as hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sleeping with the enemy and insinuating yourself into their crime family 
is boring. I'm sorry, you need yes. to get new novels. It, okay? No, it's a great book idea, but it's just no, there's nothing for us to do there. The, I don't want to sleep with Ills Born. Uh, you don't the have to I will do I all of the sleeping with okay. Ills But that's the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> there are plenty of other halflings. I don't want to. <laughs> that doesn't mean I still want to do it. <laughs> what I mean is there was a point why we did not just join Boromar. We were intentionally trying to be independent. Go our own yes. way. Mm-hmm. Right. I am okay with working with Boromar currently. I don't necessarily need to get murdered by them because we start a second front and um, cause us to overstretch ourselves. I think we're a bit we're stronger in that regard. Uh, one well, enemy at a time. We killed Carl Bloodhorn. Carl. Yeah, but if, sorry. But if you <laughs> have, was Carl. If you have <laughs> the heads of Dask and the heads of Bormar, and they're now teamed up against us, bad idea. It's a circle. It's mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's what but, here's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to against each other. They're all against us. When we started, the waves, the tide was going in one way. And now the tide has changed. And if we don't so change our tactics, our boat is going to sink. Yes, but the entire reason that people follow us in the first place is because we're not one of the houses. If we just join up with the Boromars, then are the our entire reason for existing goes away mm-hmm. in everyone's minds. Then we lose any, we're any power we have. We're not one of them. And that's why people like us. We lose all our power, and thus we become completely obsolete, even to Bormar, and we will be just tossed aside. And Bormar literally only absorbs. <coughs> You're a little brainwashed by him. I didn't say anything. I wasn't going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was, I was about to say that. <laughs> a, a therapist, a therapist, and Birabada in the corner, like. Man, like, I wasn't even going to say that. Xerophis <laughs> <laughs> is like, dude, I'm holding back right now, okay? I'm not. Look. Brainwashed or too smitten? You need both. Look. There's nothing for you to hold back, Mr. I'm going to plant evidence that blackmails our own people at a fucking crime scene. So please, by all means, hold yourself back. Look. I think tying our wagon to Boromar's tails right now is the smart play. Making sure that they think that we love them and that we're in with them and that we're all allies is the safest play. And then when it comes time, and there's a moment to put a dagger in the old man's back. No, we're gonna be too, Boromar's gonna be too far into everything we have. They're gonna have, they're gonna see all of that. We're in their territory, and we just took we it from them. We wouldn't know who to trust. Then who? Six of us, and however many soldiers we got? We can Until two armies start bearing down on us and chew up all the people we got? And then what, they come and surround the storm tower, just like we did, and take it back? I respected you for what you did to Dask. I wish you'd do the same to Bormar. Time just comes. not yet. All right. Well, we can't argue about this. No. no. We need to deal with this. We need to plan a heist. Yeah, yep. So can heist. 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 With that in mind. All right. So, after this tense conversation, it's time to start planning our heist. <laughs> uh, I love the, fa- like, the thought of all of our goons in the background being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get the fuck uh, out of here. Are you allied with the Boromar now? I thought that was the yeah. whole point. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like, guys, no, shut up. It's fine. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Um, all right. Um, so, I'm going to change the music here a little bit. Um, uh, we can do tense negotiations. That's fine. <laughs> That's, That's what, what just that happened. Was. Yeah. 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 Um, negotiations. <laughs> uh, maybe, you know what? Maybe we do stealth vision, actually. There we go. Um, Witcher. I was yeah, like, Witcher. that's not stealth. Um, <laughs> it's it's the first one. Um, we gotta go fight the Boromar clock. We gotta go stop Dax. Siri. We could do. I mean, we could do festering evil instead. Oh, no, yeah. don't do that one. Yeah. Yeah. Do 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 the do the do the. There's someone called planning a gig. 
A gig? A gig. Hunting a gig, a gig. has two tracks in it. <laughs> They're slappy tracks. Okay. All right. mm-hmm. They're so we'll good. Just put it on repeat. Um, oh, it is already on loop. That's nice. Um, all right. So, um, yes, your target for this heist is the, ho- the House Kundarak Enclave in Redstones in Upper Dura. Uh, it is not the main House Kundarak Enclave in Sharn. That is in the uh, an upper central city uh, where the, uh, the central bank of Sharn lies. This is a smaller Kundarak bank that um, is, is no doubt well defended, but it's not like you're breaking into the main bank where they keep all of their goodies. Okay. Um, uh, what do you guys want to do? I guess... Um, you have this location, but you don't know much about it. It's very much out of your territory. Right. We need to try to get either a map or we need to scope the place out. Sorry. <clears throat> I said that in my character voice. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Uh, uh, um, could we break into like a hall of records and the get the layout plan? of the floor plan? You certainly could. Would you, like to, would you like to break into the hall of records or would you like to maybe like schmooze your way in and see if you can... Oh, that's cool. Get some, uh, get the, the wait, floor wait, plans. Get some. I would <laughs> like to send two teams. No. I would like to send a team to get floor plans, and I would like to send a team to set up an account at Kundarak mm. uh, and see if they can get the lay of it in person. <laughs> All right. Okay. So who's going where? Uh, you guys are team get the floor plans. We'll be team the other thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no. You are not walking into a bank and setting up an account. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I was like, this is a stick up. <laughs> uh, well, I honestly think uh, we need to reverse that. Severed, severed yeah. stick. We'll do it now. <laughs> this side needs to be going to set gonna up an account. That, yeah, right, this side right. needs to break in. Fine. Okay. War criminal. Hi. Yeah, I know. Tiefling yeah, 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 killed in action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how Tiefling is synonymous with war criminal. War criminal. What is he? Where the fuck is he? Yes. Where I do? Wait, what is he? Uh, I was born. <laughs> my crime is being born. Nasty homeless. <laughs> yeah. I was oh. born into this world. Oh my god. All right. We're going to attack on um, Biden over this. Uh, let's uh, have one representative from each side roll, uh, let's say, a d6. Whoever rolls higher goes first. She's got the you got too bad. No, you do it. Uh, no, uh, uh, Please go. Uh, two. Uh, two. Hey, right. Just higher. So, uh, house, house bank. House bank. Two house bank. bank. <laughs> house bank. The house bank, house bank. you know. Um, goes first. So, you guys at any house. To what? I would like to. Oh, yeah, anything you guys would like to do. In beforehand, it just to um, prepare my spells. Prepare, like prepare, prepare a little bit. Um, I would like to try and get a disguise kit yeah. and use it. I was yeah. gonna say, don't you easy enough to get your hands on? Do you make clothes? Do I remember that correctly, or do, do you, you have a spell do, for like, it? I think, or you used to? Mm, not for like physical disguise, uh, but I have it for clothing. Yes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I was yeah. gonna say because if we go in as a um, an entrepreneur and Ooh. his muscle and his financier, I think. That's a pretty solid cover. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, roll a. Um, actually, I'll roll deception for you to see I, how, how good you are. I will cast befitting attire for oh, this. Oh, sick. Too. Okay. So, and uh, does that give you any sort of bonus to deception? Let me look. After. Kind of, I, I feel like it kind of should. Are we uh, saying that? Are we going right to this, or are we going to have like a, a uh, I mean, rest I, period? Well, uh, uh, Do we yes. rest? I was, I was just, wow, we yeah. asked the same fucking thing. Uh, so here's here's my thought. Um, one thing that I forgot to tell you uh, about Ilsa is that there is a set day that all of this happens. Okay. Um, that um, the um, that there uh, according to the spy, there is a deposit made into the bank um, every Zol or Tuesday, uh, okay. as it is sometimes called. Then somebody comes in on Weir or Wednesday it up um, it so uh, the uh, I would assume that you guys want to break in on the night of Zol while the money is in the vault yeah. so that you can maybe take it and figure out where it came from what day is it now it is currently uh, SAR or Saturday okay. so you guys have uh, the, the heist today is the 7th the heist is happening on the 11th so you have four days to play. totally long rested yes no 100% you guys uh, I, would, I would imagine this maybe took place you guys probably convened and were like this is where we're gonna hit alright good night honk shoe time <laughs> to go <laughs> honk shoe me 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 um so so befitting tire doesn't I give like a direct bonus I feel like to it, it. um it does say 
Um, any creature that touches the entire... It, it's an illusionary it. outfit, pretty much. And it can go up to five willing creatures. So I could have sweet. all three of us have oh, sweet. a tire that would match whatever we need. All right, cool. I'm going to roll a deception check for you. Just see yep. how good your, your disguise is. Yep. Okay. All right. You guys head up to uh, up the, uh, the the lift from Lower Dura uh, in, in Precarious, the warehouse district, to Upper Dura, and find yourself in the uh, in the um, town of, or in the ward of Redstone. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch the music up a little bit because this this I think being in the upper upper city calls for uh, you know <coughs> hopeful streets of also, shore. <laughs> also, just so you know, because um, I kind of sorry. I've, brain a little all over the place. You're good. Um, with Beerbot leaving and him having kind of been commanding the guard mm -hmm. uh, previously, I imagine there's probably someone that uh, he would trust to do that. And who and would then, that be? Um, I don't I don't know. I mean, you could choose basically between like Aram, Bregan, or uh, Briah. You know what? So it'll be, just, it'll be Aram. Aw, oh, that um, poor boy. <laughs> but... But what Beerbot will do is he'll he'll go up to Aram and it'll effectively be we can just hand wave, but it'll no, effect, sure. it'll effectively be, I trust you to lead them. If you need anyone to fight the way that I do, you have Briah, and then he would tell Briah that Aram is someone that's safe to listen to. All right, and, sounds good. Uh, Aram accepts this Put a duty fake little with mark gusto. On um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just gotta draw. Aram mark. probably did that. He yeah. took like he's like, what is what is the fucking dragon? Look like uh, he just draws a little. It's like dragon. I guess it could be, I guess it could be anything, um, right? <laughs> kind of, uh, yeah. So sure, you guys whatever. head up to Thanks. Redstone. Um, uh, handsome towers of red marble and granite are packed with various shops and crafters uh, that offer a seemingly endless array of goods. The brick, uh, the brick hanging streets are filled with milling customers and the occasional unfortunate begging for copper and silver. Um, you find your way to uh, the, this house Congrat bank in Redstone. Um, First thing you immediately notice, there are two guards posted outside of the front door, and it seems every now and then they do patrol the grounds of the bank. Um, and, and on an interval, it happens about every like maybe twenty minutes that they uh, that they go. I imagine you guys maybe case the joint a little first before heading in. Yeah. So that's what you see. You see two guards standing out in front. They're dwarf guards wearing um, uh, wearing uh, you know um, iron armor. Um, you can go ahead and roll. Uh, Society check for me. Uh, any of you. Roy uh, has um, put a, a uh, he's poured a cognitive mutagen in nice. his flask, nice. so he's just slowly sipping for that sure. to get the bonus from that, Same. which is a uh, tastes a, like mud. A plus one mm. to Arcana crafting, lore, occultism, and society. Nice. Yeah. Anyone can roll society checks. Right? Can, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you turn the brightness down on the laptop oh, like half? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just a little blown out. Um, <laughs> I, how do I do that? I have also left for you um, <gasps> an gift? ooze pick oh. um, and oh, three oh, spider foot you. brews. Okay. Is the ooze pick the one that gives you, like, what, a plus two circumstance? An uh, ooze pick? pick. It becomes I put, okay. <laughs> Yes, and it My gives you a plus two like to thievery, <laughs> uh, to <laughs> lock pick or disable device. Sick. Ooh, so, yeah, it's a little jar of goop that you pour into a lock, and it becomes a mold of the key. I fucking love that. Yeah. So cool. That's so sick. Oh, uh, what's the God, other that's cool. spider Sorry, climb thing? A uh, spider Ooh. climb brew. <laughs> uh, spider foot, a spider foot brew. Um, you, when you drink Spiderfoot Brew, uh, tiny clinging hairs grow on your hands and feet. Great. Like Toby Toby Maguire Spider-Man? <laughs> granting oh you God. a climb speed and an item bonus to athletics checks made to climb for the listed duration. The climb speed is 15 feet. The item bonus is plus one of the duration is a minute. Um, and I will also give you a... Um, My boy, <laughs> I want you to take these things in case I, got, in case I die. <laughs> a bottled sunlight, um, which... Is a tiny uh, like a vial of liquid. When you shake it, like a like a fucking glow stick, <laughs> it glows like it sheds <coughs> light like a like right. a sunrod. But it but uh, when you shake it, you can throw it and it explodes oh, and radiates. Nice. Oh, that's, that's a awesome. flash grenade. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's very cool. Some of my numbers were wrong on my character sheet. Sure. I'll get them to you. That's the right. That's totally fine. I, it's nothing. Uh, yeah, y'all can anything. go ahead and roll society for me, just real society. quick. Yeah, if you have society, dragon marked houses, or lore, dragon marked houses, or whatever, um, that would help. But uh, society. Also oh works. my goodness! Apparently, I wow. didn't these one worse. Fifteen. Okay. Don't know all the hot goss for twenty-three. Wow. Okay. 
16. 16? Uh, th good enough for, for you guys to know. You guys would know that these soldiers are, um, are members of the Iron Gate. The Iron Gate is basically uh, House Kundarak's uh, security force that they use to protect their holdings. Um, no doubt there are probably more inside. Um, and as you guys do head inside uh, the, um, the foyer of this bank... Do we know what uh, the bank's <coughs> called? Uh, it is just called uh, Kundarak, uh, Kundarak Enclave uh, Redstone District. You enter the main foyer and find a room adorned with polished marbles etched, or marbles, polished marbles. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. They're in like a little bowl. You know, oh, wow. Uh, that's a cat's no. eye. It's cool. Uh, that's a typo. Hey, look, Renna. Uh, polished, Distraction. Polished marble. Thank you very much, Google Docs. Uh, etched with intricate dwarvish design. Chandeliers that illuminate the room hang from the vaulted ceiling, while curtain windows and banners bearing the manticore sigil of House Kundarak line the walls. Uh, bank representatives attend to clients at ornate counters while imposing doors in the hallway behind them lead deeper within. I'm going to pull up the bank really quick. Oh, oh um, Because you guys are going to be able to see at least the front of it uh, for now. So it's just a chase. I mean, it kind of is. You guys are basically no, it's breaking much nicer the chase. Than that. It's um, marble and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, I don't know if I need to make a roll for this, but like Roy is just memorizing every detail that he can. <laughs> How low? I'm sorry. Uh, Jacob showed me how to do this, and um, the brightness? No, the the, the fog. I'm oh, get rid of the I fog. can't help you there. I'm sorry. Um, uh, if you go to the fog of war setting, uh -huh. it's on the top left. You should just be able to select it, and then you can select how much fog you want to remove. You can, because I'm striking it through this fog, and it's just Maybe. doing a tiny little sliver. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Uh, you got, like, got like a little. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I figured it out. Which program are you using? Uh, Daddy McDungeons. But I figured it yeah, out. Yeah, it, it it can be funky. It's all right. I got it. And then you um, can you can add more fog by cool. holding shift when you drag. So if you accidentally undo somewhere that you don't want to, you can redo it. Oh, oh, you can just show us. Yeah. Let's see. You said shift and, and drag covers. Yeah, it? shift and drag recovers areas. That's so sick. Oh, love that. All right, perfect. Let me just make sure. Sorry, folks. I, I had to. I, I had to learn. Never <laughs> used this before. I was like, today's the day. I, I had a big boy. Yeah. I had to learn it for Witchlight, so I, I yeah. understand. You think uh, you're the theater of the mind. <laughs> God no. God. That's a deep. The cut. person who loves it the most. Yeah. <laughs> don't make me think. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not, Understandable. Don't, you don't need to put me. No for problem. This, but, uh, no uh, this is this is the bank. This is the front uh, entrance <gasps> that you guys are in. Um, nice big chairs. Uh, yeah. Where course. is the marbles? Uh, the marbles yeah, the are bowl? in little right bowls here. on the tellers. Right. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. You know how they have those little decorative yep. bowls it's like targets yeah. and like, like I'm sorry. And stuff. There is not the little kid zone area where they have. Like, like, you know what? Ways. You can take it up with um, <laughs> with the uh, the artist that I uh, got this map from on Patreon. Uh, I believe they're called the Reclusive Cartographer. I'll have to double check That's on cute. that. Uh, but yeah, shout out to the Reclusive Cartographer. Go and support them on Patreon. You have to leave your kids outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no kids allowed in the House yeah. of Bank. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, like forsaken you the moment you needed me. No, that's okay. It I figured like, it out. Like, I was a big boy. They're going to walk him on a bike. Yeah, on a bike rack. I heard every cry that there on the toilet. It's those little backpacks that have the clip. What is that crazy bank? All righty. And you put little little coins in there, you know? You only have an hour. Yeah. All right, just look at the little key. Oh, damn it. That's hidden. That's hidden. There's a little keyhole that we can see. Through. No, no, there's not. No, no attention to the door. No, that's the, a, the thing behind the door. That, that's one of those. Oh, damn it, I uncovered more. Hold shift. Model. I, I am holding shift. Uh, it is. Glitches. It's hard to get you know, it exact. Okay, yeah, it, uh, shift, then do it. I did. It Sometimes it doesn't work completely. And look, there are rooms back there. Yeah, who, surprise, who surprise. fucking cares? <laughs> let's, yeah, we, let's go. We have an idea. Uh, I, I don't know how you did that. I don't know what I did that was different from that, but whatever. Um, so, you guys head in there. Um, the only available teller at the moment appears to be a, um, a, a gnome with bright uh, bright blue hair uh, and a, a very cur a twirled, uh, you know, curled mustache um, with a very vibrant makeup. Think Kurt Savory, if Kurt Savory was That's a gnome. That's great. Um, and, Before uh, you continue, though, yeah. one important thing. Do you know who did this map? Yeah, I, I just credited them. It's Thank the Reclusive you. Cartographer. Uh, go check them out on Patreon. Just making sure. I believe that that is what they're called. I can very quickly check. No, you're um, good. That's, that's... Uh, because I'm on their... I, I was automatically added to their Discord when I joined the Patreon. So, uh, 
You know, oh. that's that's kind of neat. I'm also kind of like, uh, yeah, the Reclusive Cartographer. Check him out on Patreon. Thank you, Reclusive Cartographer. Um, and uh, you uh, you guys approach uh, this gnome, and uh, uh, in their little teller box is a uh, like a kind of a, a little name plaque on it that says um, it says uh, the Cory Bosch Nessian, um, and it says uh, it says uh, account specialist. And um, the Cory is V I C O double R I, and the Bosch is B O S H, and the Nessian is N E S S I A N. Oh, and it also says underneath it, any pronouns. Mm. And um, uh, uh, Vicori says, uh, Welcome to the Redstone branch of House Gundarak. How can I help you today? I am looking to start a, an account. Oh, all right. Uh, so you're looking to uh, maybe take out a loan, or were you looking for maybe a safe deposit box in which you I could uh, deposit something? looking for a place to stow my treasure. Oh, I see. Have you come back uh, from abroad, Zendrick, or perhaps the Mornland? Um, well, um, I, did, I did my turn in the army, and um, I was a good little boy, and I squirreled away all my little coins. Well, wow, thank you for your service. <laughs> you know, you don't have to thank me. <laughs> But I appreciate it, and uh, you know, w the way you can help me is finding me a safe place to stow everything that I save. Uh, yes, of course. Um, uh, we have a variety of options available to you. Um, and uh, basically, what Vicori tells you is that um, uh, t technically, I don't have the wherewithal or knowledge to give you a pitch about different bank accounts. <laughs> um, can you tell me about the interest you, rate? Uh, well, <laughs> they're so terrible these days. Am I, am I getting uh, any points? Yeah, you know, inflation. You know, the economy's in shambles. <laughs> but, it's a bull's market. Um, <laughs> but um, basically, uh, what what uh, the court tells you is that. Uh, you basically have two options when it comes to storing anything in this House Kunderak Enclave. You have the option for a safe a safe deposit box, which is um, basically a um, it is a small uh, basically like a small I don't know think like locker size yeah. um, basically extra dimensional cubby hole <laughs> that you can uh, deposit things in, and once you have deposited stuff in there, you can access it from any Kunderak Enclave connected to that network across Corbin. Um, it does cost ten gold pieces a day. To uh, to rent one of those. Um, the idea with those is that they're more short term for yeah. like short term storage. Or if you're taking something somewhere, or if you want to get something somewhere that um, would just be unwieldy or maybe uh, against travel regulations to to bring like your sick ass giant sword that you found in Zendrick on the I on the lightning rail. They're yeah. not really gonna fly with that. But you could store it with House Kunderak, and then you could go to the House Kunderak thing and Shard and be like, and I'm here to pick up my sick sword, please. Uh, um, does Roy know, sword, perhaps <laughs> by Arcana, that you couldn't store anything living in that? Um, you <laughs> would know that, uh, to your knowledge, it has never been attempted, except by maybe one person that you ran with in Kalistan, and they were never heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> um, however, you don't know whether or not it's possibly true. You can always ask. Wait, what? Uh, to store what? A living, a living person. Thing in there. Um, the other thing he says <laughs> is um, we also have a couple of long-term yep. storage never, vaults never that are not connected to the extra-dimensional uh, Kundarak network. These would be stored specifically here at the Redstones Bank. We do only have uh, two available at the moment, uh, but they are bigger and they do accommodate uh, more uh, more storage. But uh, they, 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 you cannot access them anywhere. You can only access them here. Those run for 15 gold pieces a day. And that is a, it's not an extra dimensional fuckery no, room. It no. is a, it is a it is room a, with dimensions. It is a room with dimensions indeed. Okay, I look. I'm, Very I'm a little old fashioned. Like dimension. You probably have heard my voice. Who I come from Calistan, so uh, uh, oh, you know. Well, well, I'm you, a little. I'm you've a, come a long way. Then. <laughs> yes, sir. I have that long, lonely a, lift ride. Well, I guess you weren't lonely. <laughs> no, <laughs> they just are too. No, no, uh, your friends. Um, I, I'm just a little old-fashioned. I, 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 I just want my my gold in one spot. I understand. I want it right there. Well, we know? can certainly help you with that. Um, uh, and uh, so, ten gold pieces a day for the the fancy uh, uh, for the for access at any Kundarak enclave. Yes. Sure. So you could go here. You could go to the central bank in Charn or to the enclave in Dragon Towers. Same difference. And the long-term vault. That would specifically be here. Yes. Uh, and cost well, more. Oh. Fifteen gold pieces a day. Fifteen a day. And you said there's only two available. How many do you have here, uh, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm going to roll persuasion on that. <laughs> persuasion modifier. Or diplomacy, I guess. Yeah. Um, Vicori 
Uh, Lutine says, uh, we have six in total, uh, four of which are currently being used. Mm-hmm. Seems like a pretty popular option. God, why weren't we allowed to use it? <laughs> <laughs> this is fascinating. <laughs> Um, so, uh, Vicori, perhaps you could help me out here. Of um, course. I, we here at Cosmic we, uh, we seek to uh, provide, prosper, and profit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to store <laughs> my gold here. Of course. And I'm going to pay you 15 gold a day to do it. Yes. This is diminishing returns for me. Uh, well, I don't set the rates. Uh, so no, I just I wanted just to make sh- I just wanted to <laughs> make sure I, I have the, I'm not blaming you. Of um, course not. I just want to make sure I understand we are talking storage and storage only. Uh, indeed we are. Um, give me a moment, because I, I want to double check something and make sure that I didn't uh, get this wrong in case I did. Uh, God dang it, fucking Mac. All right, there <laughs> we go. Uh, I will jump onto that, and who would have access to the vaults? <laughs> Is it... Um, he would be. He would say. Uh, the storage only. To the to the main vaults that would either be, or, or to the to the to the storage vaults mm-hmm. that would either be uh, the assistant manager or the manager of the main. Sorry, uh, the tellers don't have access to the the main storage vaults. We'd have to get one of our uh, one of our mm-hmm. managers mm-hmm. to help you with that. The 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 safe deposit boxes, though those we can access, okay. and those are set with a passphrase that only you know and and the house mm-hmm. knows. So that uh, so for for sake of security. Of Right. Uh, so, uh, am I am I led to believe that um, I would need to make a uh, an appointment if I wanted to uh, access my vault if I rent one? Or uh, you would have to come in, yes, or or a representative bearing any sort of uh, writ of permission, okay. of course, okay. uh, with your with your signature. Um, but uh, I'm sorry, the vaults are 15 gold pieces a month. Okay. My okay. bad. Yeah. My bad. Makes a lot. Fifty gold pieces a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gold I was like, oh, buddy, I don't know that we can do like, this. There's like three I people that have one of these. I set up forgot a... that I, I didn't remember if it was like a day or a month. Set but... up an account immediately ended. <laughs> <laughs> later. The next Sorry. day. Um, <laughs> you're looking at your it's bank account. Like, uh, it's fifteen gold. You're like, hold for a day. You put it in your bank and it just disappear. Uh, and um, <laughs> Vakori uh, oh. looks at you all and says, um, listen, uh, he kind of leans in and says, you're asking a lot of questions, um, and that makes me a little bit suspicious, but I am willing to forget everything that we talked about, and in fact, hide whatever it is you're trying to deposit in our bank, if, you know, we agree on the right amount. Oh, I assume that you are talking about a deposit fee. Exactly. Yes. Uh, deposit fee plus gratuity, of course, for my services. You'll just have to pardon my financial analyst. You see, like I said, we're coming from Calistan. We're a little rough around the edges. Oh, I understand. I used to run down in Calistan too before I started working here. Roy would like to. Um, he's going to take out his his. Coin, <laughs> he's going to take out his coin purse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a froggy. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little karopi one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I gave it and pen. I would like to make a, I guess, society roll to bribe him the right amount. Uh, I would say this is more of a diplomacy. Um, a little fox for bribing. Uh, well, actually, let me check the oh, uh, the, the, the boundless hmm? wisdom of the, uh, of the diplomacy. Um, well, bribe contact is actually a thing in the or or lore underworld. Um, this is a bank. Underworld. <laughs> this is bribe. Uh, Okay. Uh, Bribing is not like exclusive decep- to the Bribery world. would be deception or diplomacy. Deception or diplomacy. Um, I'll go deception because I got 12. Sounds good. I will roll this for you. How much are you giving the Corey? Because how much you give affects the DC. Well, so um, I have two. Or actually, it doesn't affect the DC. It affects the circumstance bonus. Are you asking me how much I'm giving him to deposit? Who, to giving him to deposit without him putting it on the books. Well, that's what I want to roll to figure out. Oh, I want to know how, like, oh, like I, how much he wants. Or I want to know. Want? I want to know what the acceptable bribe is at oh, okay. this level. That's why okay. I'm, I'm I saying see, society. I see. Go ahead and uh, well, I'll, I'll. Yeah, you can roll that. You can to make the decision on how much like he wants. Roy, to Roy's doing the tally in his head. Like, all right, at this level, I could probably bribe someone for two. At this level, yeah, I might sure. want to bribe for someone sure. for five. You know, for like, sure, for like because sure. in Calistan, 
we're talking silver pieces. Exactly, Up here, exactly. we're talking probably gold pieces. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still in Dura. Um, Twelve. Um, Ignore us. We're looking at a picture of, of John Cena wearing a skirt. Nice. Yeah. Really and nice. but Grace thought it was Elon Musk. Nice. <laughs> Double nice. Uh, Twenty-five. Movie, Twenty-five. Apparently. You would know that. Yeah. Um, I mean. Even though you're in the upper city, this is still Dura. Dura is rough and tumble, mm-hmm. um, and there's a lot of commerce that goes through here. Uh, you're, you're we're talking gold, probably, but not quite as much as if you were, say, maybe bribing a guard in the upper city. Um, I would say maybe like twenty gold pieces. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you have so he's going pieces. to uh, Roy's going to pull um, on top of the fifteen that you would pay to set up the account. Okay, so we're gonna talk. Because you you're gonna pay that fifteen anyway. Fifteen, twenty. Did we so ever distribute? Total. Did we ever what distribute is, the gold? Bit? And what is what would be so? Roy, Roy doesn't want to no, start his Shut savings up. account with like twenty dollars. <laughs> um, how much do you think I would need to lay down to well, show well, the, that I'm a the, real? The thing about the, the the vault is that it doesn't need to be currency. It can be anything. This is this is effectively a bank and a storage facility. Okay. So if you want to deposit something, like, um, if, I don't know, if you were to say, bring a nondescript crate over here at some point and have the Cory process that for you, okay. um, that w- uh, there, would be, there would be no fee involved, of course, because you've already paid the 15 gold we can for deposit you? Okay. Uh, the account. Okay. That there's makes no, there's no storage fee <laughs> once you have the vault. <laughs> uh, once you have the vault, you can put whatever you want in okay. there. Uh, well, not whatever you want. Sure. Or if you were dealing with an honest banker, they might actually check. Right. Um, no, no, I got you. You are not. Shut it's... up, your bot. We can convince them to so, be racist. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Roy is going to um, put down... Um, he's going to slide over 15. And then... Uh, is are we at like is it are we at like a teller? You're at like the corner of the tellers, like the far end where there isn't really a lot of people. Um... He's behind like a desk. Though. Yes, and there's like a panel of glass as well. And there's a little is there like a little hole? I mean, there's a little piece under, under the under the window. Beside the, slide, the, the whatever. Yeah, <laughs> just um, and then so he's going to uh, push. It's a leaf. <laughs> he's gonna. He says, fifteen, and he counts out like like three stacks of like five, and then he reaches his hand into that little like hole and like palms twenty. Yeah, and just kind of. For sure, for sure. And then, but doesn't say anything. Just yeah, kind of no, Vicori doesn't say anything either. Um, they they take it very quickly and with a uh, with such a skill of uh, leisure de monde that you think this probably isn't the first time they've done something like this. Um, <laughs> and uh, and um, Vicori says, um, "Well, I'll get started on that paperwork right away, and whenever you're ready to make your deposit, you can return any time. I will be you're working right for the next three days." You're right there. Yeah, basically, mm-hmm. you're right there. Okay. Do those three days land on the day that um, the today? Would? I would imagine is the eighth. The heist is on the eleventh. So, so yes. So yes. He would be working on the okay. But right. we're we. I don't. If my plan goes to plan, I don't think we're gonna need to. We'll but see it, what it's we can still do. good to. We'll see what we can do. Because <coughs> I w- I wanted to fucking like. Are you thinking about that? Are you thinking about depositing beer bot? No, God. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I'm thinking about pulling a. Um, I'm thinking about pulling an honor amongst thieves and putting like an enchanted mirror or something mm. in a box. That yeah. is one of the coolest scenes in that movie that fucking Jack hasn't seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about something that Jack has no fucking clue about. But he'll think it's really cool because it will is. Think he it's will. Really cool. He'll then he, when he'll watch a movie, he'll be like, yep. oh, "George, like our game." <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do here? Um, your business with Vicori is pretty much done. That's an idea for the account. It's in your time. name. Um, do you give him your name or do you use a pseudonym? Roy is going to use Boy a pseudonym. Boy, buckle. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> uh, Roy is going to use a pseudonym. Um, he will say... Um, the God. therapist. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's funny. That's why we put your name, because it was hilarious. Uh, funny. Oh, funny. <laughs> no, no. Jordan is fine with it. Oh, well, all right. But Roy's fucking paranoid. Yeah, all right. Uh, fair, he's going to say uh, Alvin Greenbottle. Hey, I, I know that reference. Alvin uh, Greenbottle. What did you guys do? Well, Mr. Greenbottle. Put his name down on a document. <laughs> as uh, a, we appreciate as a your business name. today and look forward to uh, serving you in the future. Oh, my God. Indeed. Thank you so much for your service. Of course. And uh, if you ever stop by the Crooked Cat, say a little whiskers for me. <laughs> you know whiskers? Oh, we go way back. Ah, Whiskers is like an uncle. Hey, so we have a gang? <laughs> so in the car. They're a good sort. They are hey, a good sort. Hey, you know, <coughs> if you're ever down <laughs> in Calistan, <laughs> the, uh, the storm drain. A little inspector will say, oh, 
All right. Is that a, a, a speakeasy of sorts? Or? Yeah, it's uh, Calistan's premier nightclub. Is that so? It oh, sure is. Because the Silver Mist's getting a run for its money. Uh, I <laughs> Have will... you been to the Silver Mist lately? No. <laughs> Not since that DAS business. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You anyways, don't wanna... uh, anyways, uh, have a, have a have a pleasant day, Mr. Greenbottle. You too. You should come visit us sometime soon. That's uh, what I just I I would just... love to. Mm-hmm. You seem like good company. Good people to know. Um, and uh, the as, first D and D game that I ever ran that Jordan played in uh, Jordan played Alvin Green. That's sick. That's sick. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do while you're up here? He's just committing as much of this place to memory as humanly For possible. For sure. Um, as halflingly possible. So at the front Meanwhile, in here. Yeah. yeah. What Mara, you make a mental note of all of this. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, uh, put this in my 3D VR. Mara, Mara, show me this guy's balls, please. <laughs> 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 uh, basically, um, can I ask motherfucker's cheating. He'll, he'll be able to sketch the whole thing up. So, yeah. He'll be able to sketch the whole thing out for you afterwards. And very much like full sir. Scanning. Oh, right. Done. <laughs> just don't want to kill him. The best. This one you can draw. <laughs> okay. But it's kind of weird because you have to be like. Eh. Can I like? Can I like highlight? You can like. Or like. You can like make a circle. Like, no. This that is all you sucks. Got. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, it's just like a blaring oversight in this program. Um, but uh, so I mean, all that you've really seen right here is the front. Um, mm-hmm. there, there's uh, the tellers, tellers uh, area. The um, uh, there's access. It looks like on the side there, on the, like the eastern side of the room, right, right where Jacob is pointing. Looks like there's double doors there, mm. and then behind the tellers, there are these imposing, uh, like steel doors that bear the sig- sigil of House Kundarak right there. Um, beyond that, you cannot see anything. Um, but that's what you see in this particular room. Um, going outside um, and maybe getting a little. Elevation and looking at the out, like like the, the the top of the building, it looks like they do have like a glass skylight um, over the back. Um, you you can't make out a good point of access there potentially, but you also see some ventilation shafts potentially. Um, but you aren't able to get a good look. Um, Thanks for skylights. <laughs> um, anything else you guys would like to do while you're in Redstones? I, I think we're. I'm. I'm I can't Roy's good. good. I, I, I'll just turn to Roy and say, might be. We might be able to get the information on the depositor from our new friend. If he has access and is willing to work with us. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay, well, I want him to visit our tavern sometime soon. We can talk a little more freely there. Okay. Okay. Uh, Meanwhile... You guys are heading I'm, to the uh, pull to, off my skin. <laughs> to the Hall of Records in uh, No, I in, I actually do. <laughs> uh, in the City Hall of Sharn. Let cool. me uh, pull that up really quick. Okay. I should have anticipated uh, that you guys would go here. Um, uh, I, I did. I just didn't think up a description for I'll it. I'll just it. say on the way back. Be as crazy as the Hall of Records search that Issa did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get all the. Oh, uh, yeah. Demons. What if it is? <laughs> <laughs> bureaucracy! That's what we just did. We did the bureaucracy. We did part. do we the did. bureaucracy. His character part. would burn down Charn, though, so. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> Charn would deserve it. Yeah, just yeah. so you know, Jack, yeah. just for. This is mainly flavor than actual needing to do anything, but mm-hmm. on the way back to the Storm Tower, probably in the elevator or whatever, I pull my. The, the, my top layer of skin off and go back to <laughs> what get, give it the disguise. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that's a thing you can do. I, that's a thing I can do now. Okay. It truly is. A thing like, quite literally? Like yeah. Hey, Dan, by the way, on the way back, I, I pull my skin, skin off. off. And, yeah. I just remove it. <laughs> um... I don't even I want this skin in my, my personal space. space. Uh, so you go to the city archive. Uh, this <laughs> large windowless building near the top of Basha yes. Tower contains the nearly endless legal and historical records of Sharn. Copies of birth records, marriage rolls, and death certificates are kept in the archives, as well as property records, copies of letters from Mark, and records of identification papers issued in the city. You this guys... would be such a fun place to heist because we could just change a bunch of people's names, and that would be funny. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we should. Hey, us, ever, were you born here? Was I born here? Like in the city? <laughs> yeah. So do you think there's like a birth certificate oh, in here? I'm sorry. With your name on it? Like a, like a document? There probably like, is. Uh, like, yeah. Severin. Born here. <laughs> so I'm gonna say What's born say? here, stick. Huh? So I'm gonna say born here. Well, I'm gonna say born in Sharn. Well, yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 Were you born here? No, I was born in Karnath. I was just trying to see if it slipped up. 
Um, you guys, are, are, how are you guys doing this? Are you gonna, are you gonna, sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> Pathfinder spells go hard. Yeah. Gross. Mm. Are you guys gonna try and break into the archives office, or are you gonna try and, like, schmooze your way in? Says Azerifus to the two of them. What are we thinking? I'd rather break in, but. I would, too. Thank God. Yes. Uh, I don't want to talk to anybody. Would he have ever been here with Thora? You've probably been here before. I'd say of, I just, of the three of you, it's most likely that you have. Wow. Um, I thought, yeah. yeah. No, I break into this place all the time. <laughs> yeah, sir. I love changing just, people's social security. Yeah, just slowly <laughs> change We just do that, and then we, yeah. we hang out in there. It's yeah. fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> you fucking change Seiden and Borma's social security number. Yeah. He's like, where are my benefits? <laughs> They're mine now. It's just a minor annoyance. Yeah. He's going to be like, damn it. He has to go down to the courthouse. Uh, yeah. He's like, Das fucking did this. Hey, yeah. Da- um, oh, da- uh, cool. Um... I'm gonna just roll a stealth check for you guys to see if you yep. can uh, you know, potentially do this. Sounds good. Who you think? Um, I will use whoever. So you is, just uh, see your who, who's, who's leading the charge? <laughs> this. Okay. I so. person, you know what? Yes. The person seven. who's been here before. It's seven. <laughs> um, you mm-hmm. you have been here before, and the reason you have is probably because you have destroyed records of aberrant Mark children mm-hmm. here. Aww. Um, wow, that's so, evolved over time. Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> and so you actually know <laughs> because um, you have you destroyed, destroyed children, yeah. children's <laughs> records <laughs> <laughs> who are aberrant dragon. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> um, I knew where you were you, going. It's in, okay. You are yeah. able to infiltrate uh, the uh, the records office. Um, you wait until. Uh, they're out for lunch, and uh, you've managed to slip past the snoozing uh, Citadel guard and um, make your way into uh, the uh, the office of records. Uh, that was a critical success. So <gasps> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say that you also uh, bypass the, uh, the the thievery check that I was gonna make you do to get inside <laughs> the records office uh, because somebody just left the door unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so or it's one of those things where was, someone was walking out and the door is yeah. closing and so just quietly yeah, yeah, put exactly. the hand in. Yeah. Um, um, Jack, sorry. There's a dice under your chair that they dropped. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Um, you're very welcome. Um, so what are you guys looking for while you're here? You're looking for Severn's birth certificate? I'm definitely looking for Severn's birth certificate. Uh, Severn's birth certificate was probably destroyed along with the uh, the, the Aberrant Mark Children's records. Uh, <laughs> God. Records. Um, He's looking for Royce, it, then. Did, would Severn have destroyed it? I would think it? Oh, there would be <laughs> his birth record. Yes. And then his death certificate. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, no, you're right. You guys, yeah, you guys find a birth record for Severin, but also a death record. If you, you guys find look for it. I'm also looking for find... Royce. Oh, Royce is in here. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like it would be Severin Madani. Yeah, Severin yeah. Madani is what yeah. I would say. That's who you find. Yeah. And his We're both death just record. Like, Severin, you're dead. Well, I can't fuck with yours. You're dead. But Royce. Yeah, twice. Please. Um, Please do. What, what's Bryce's middle name? <laughs> Roy. Does he have Matthew. Matthew? It's not Matthew anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, big balls. Oh, big no. balls. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you are now. It's legally Roy Big Balls Clip It's Buckle. one word. Yes. And I uh, I copied down his social. I don't know if that's yeah, actually. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Do you yeah. know how many bank accounts we can open Your right Braille now? Is fucking yes. Your Braille is fucking I'm going to sign him up for the security. army again. <laughs> Okay. Um, he gets a recruiter showing up. They're like, "Are you ready?" He's like, "What the fuck?" All right. Um, he gets a notice from a courier. Yeah. Like, you, you, you guys. Um, <laughs> you guys. Well, after you're done fucking with that, you guys managed. You're to like, "What did we come here to do?" You guys again? managed. <laughs> you guys managed to find the floor plan for the Kunderak Bank in Redstone. Yes. And, uh, I am. Oh, good, to, Severin. I'm glad you found yeah, that. I'm going to uh, reveal uh, uh, the, the the entire map here. Ooh. Voila! Behold. Bank. So what we've got up here is, of course, we got the foyer. Um, we got the teller's desk as well. Uh, behind the doors is a hallway that leads to this <coughs> grand hall here. This grand hall, uh, it is both um, sort of a reception area for any any like little intimate gatherings that Kundarak wants to throw up here, <coughs> as well as where they keep all of their safe deposit boxes. Mm-hmm. They are lined. There are twelve of them lined across the wall um, that tellers can access at any time to cool. get people's things. Um, those four offices up at the front. The the two in the ba- uh, or sorry the the two in the front. One of those is um, is the assistant manager's office. The other one is a guard post where um, uh, where where guards would be stationed uh, when they're not actively on duty. And then the other two in the back. One is um, another like private accountant's office, and the one on J- uh, Jordan's side right there. Mm-hmm. That is the security office. That's okay. where the uh, 
that is where the um, the, the watch sergeant would uh, would be posted and okay. uh, would also um, have their uh, stuff there. So this staircase. Those staircase lead down to the main vault. Okay. So and that goes on, down to the main vault. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, that's um, where we want to be. Yes. And then the, the, the building is on either wing. The one that's closest to you, that is the bank manager's office. The one on the other side is the uh, records and counting room. Okay. Is there a door that goes down here? There is a door. Yeah. Vaults? Uh, door? Well, no. It is just a, It is just another... Uh, it looks like, according to the plans, it's a steel door. Okay. Um, and entrances, then, entrances into this yes, place. Yes. So, there is the front door. Mm-hmm. There is also, um, <coughs> apparently built in, there is a latch on the skylight. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Additionally, I like that. there are ventilation shafts for the air conditioning that lead into the, the building that one could do. But it looks like they're it looks like they're too big for someone of medium size to get through. Only small creatures. Can well, they're too way. small. Are for... friendly. Um, no, they are not. He's stuck. Um, <laughs> I knew I should have made myself small. Um, additionally, there, um, additionally <laughs> there funny. is uh, there is sewer access. Hmm? Okay. I knew it. Okay. I okay. fucking this is, knew oh, it. This is great. This is great. This is great. I so, don't want to go in the sewer. Why not? You blend in. It stinks in there. Yeah, so, it's a sewer. Yeah, how how far is the drop from the skylight? Would you corpses all the time? Uh, yeah. It looks like about 60 feet. Oh. Okay. Different smell. Poo-poo is different than corpse? Yes. Oh, yeah, I actually is yeah, different, different than just That yeah. conversation Sometimes, is sometimes like... people shit themselves when they die. I know that. <laughs> and then mixes. Yep. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, so we don't have to make stick go through the sewers. Yeah. All right, you can go through the skylight. Okay. It's 60 feet. Wait, you'll, you'll do heights, but you won't do stinky? <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'll go through the sewers. Uh, well, you also you also find four plans for the the lower floor as well. Mm, okay. Oh yeah, um, yeah. How do I do the the thing where I can quick switch? There's that little like four boxes on the left side. Ah. You also find the the plans for the. Um, it's covered. Yes, I I, I know. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I was just trying to help. No, I know. Um, oh, you're not. So this is um, this is the, uh, the 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 house Kundrak uh, vault in the main floor. This is Those, such a good map. Uh, it's a great map. I love it. Um, you guys wouldn't see. Uh, pretend you don't see that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Uh, see them. Never mind. Gone. You guys um, uh, see that there are six uh, storage vaults that okay. are that are located there. There is also uh, what appears to be a main vault locked behind three uh, three secure vault doors. Okay, mm. so we're hitting that, right? No. What? I don't think so. Why not? Because that seems like it's going to be terribly difficult to get into. We should try. You think it's not, like, magically locked? We can see yeah, if there's, it's totally magically locked. We can locked. see if there's records of, like, who, who's been in there or not, if it's worth it. Oh, yeah, we can totally look in the record room. Yeah, who's Mr. Bank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Okay, um, as far as you can tell, the only way to get into this room is from the staircase above. Okay. Got it. Makes sense. Okay, so I have a little bit of a plan, but I think we need the rest of the group. To discuss. Well, what the? Oh, but this place is so fun. There's so much stuff here that we can do things with. Kind of for Um, you don't find anything on Rena. Figured. Where are you born? Here? Mm-hmm. Were you born here? Yeah, but unfortunately, I died. <laughs> Fucking liar. Hey, you can look. No, I know when you're lying to me. <laughs> All right. So, how long have you lived here? I'm sure. uh, a year? A little more than a year? Oh, okay. Well, I've lived here a little longer than you. Yeah, but you were in jail. <laughs> yes, most of the time that I spent here was in jail. Are we leaving? <laughs> yes, let's Good. let's go. All right. You guys head out before any more damage can be done to anyone else's identities <laughs> or middle names. It's, it's tempting, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention, uh, Roy, I'm assuming that you guys are maybe going to case this place a little longer than just... Um, what you've already discovered. Yeah, probably like watch foot traffic, exactly. uh, establish a pattern of um, um, when the when it's busy and all. For sure, sure, for sure. Um, what you um, what you see is that, um, or here's what you learn. Um, da, 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 da. Um, where the fuck is it? Scouting opportunity or information link. Here we go. Um, so uh, from from your uh, from your perspective, the bank operates from eight in the morning until six in the evening. Um, <coughs> at around six thirty, there is a uh, there is Sorry. a s- eight to six. Eight to six. Yes, there is a sky coach uh, that comes in to uh, that comes to the bank at six thirty 
that comes with House Kunderak uh, crates that offloads them into the bank. And then there are more that are loaded onto it and the, that fly back towards Upper Central at 7 o'clock. Then the closing, the closing shift of, of uh, counters and, and tellers, uh, they finish up their close around 8 o'clock. And then that's, um, and all throughout that time, there is never a moment where there are not two guards posted outside. They do occasionally go and patrol the grounds as well around the bank, but uh, they always reconvene there at the front. Um, there, uh, there are uh, six guards in total, it would seem. There is uh, one officer and five watchmen. The guards rotate shifts outside every two hours. One officer, five guards, switch shifts every two hours? Yes. Um, and I assume... I assume that the officer is inside and the guards are, sh are shifting uh, every yes, two? Yes, but occasionally the watch sergeant does take a post outside. Okay. Um, and after eight, the guards stay? After eight, it's just the guards. Okay. Not the watch sergeant? Well, no. The watch sergeant does Those eventually sergeant. come out and serve uh, a, a, a two-hour uh, position. He there. serves? Yeah, the country. Lurks. <laughs> he serves House um, uh, But, um, but uh, other than that, you don't notice any foot traffic into or out of the uh, out of the bank, save for those Kundrak guards. Okay. Okay. Um, Can we meet up? Yeah, we probably should. Definitely. Uh, I will reveal once more yeah, the, yeah. the floor plan here. Um, <coughs> so um, I, I want to point out one more thing because this is something that Severin. Severin, I don't think this is the first time you've hit a Kundrak enclave, or at least a, anything that has been protected by Kundrak before. Okay. Kundrak is the House of Warding. Mm -hmm. um, and you know this, of course, because... I heard uh, Warding, and I was like, that's uh, no. Well, what? Uh, warding. Yeah, Warding. Um, the, you know this because you have your Dragon Mark for. Mm -hmm. um, House Kundrak, um, their specialty is security. Mm -hmm. um, their mark allows them to uh, secure things. Um, there is no doubt <coughs> they are going to probably be some magical traps and surveillance systems inside this bank. Okay. Do with that information what you will. Oh, you also know that they work rather closely with House Madani. At least in Sean. I, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I don't like that. You asshole. Okay. Yeah, carry, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna meet up back at the storm tower. Yes. Uh, the the scene shifts. You guys are around a table with the map of the, the floor plan out. Just okay. Guess. How to how 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 making a bank account go? Well, we made one. Mm, cool. And we got the crookedest fucking bank employee that we could get, which is great. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, he might come visit us down here sometime. Yeah. Oh. Rena's hoping to okay. pump them pump them for information. All right. Um, we have uh, secured a box. Not a box. Not that a kind vault. of pump stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why, why limit yourself? Is no, not my thing. Cute? He's got a nice mustache. Mm. Focus. Sorry. <laughs> Vegan. <again. laughs> Think of Ilsa. Yeah. <laughs> does not have a mustache. Um, <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm only a little bit afraid of that impl implicating us, but I think you guys know what you're doing. So. Oh no, we used a secret name. Okay. What? All right. <laughs> we had fun. We had a good time. Uh, Great anyway. time. Yeah. yeah. Would you guys go to a fair or something? No, we no, went to the... No, we went to the records. And we found all the records. Yep. And we, we found the plans. We learned some things. Did Severin have a middle name? You can, you can be your, your family name, not the daughter. I haven't thought of that That's one yet. Right. Sorry, guys. You can, you can get back to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Have you got it? <clears throat> okay, so we got the floor plan, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I've I've found uh, we've studied it, and I think I know what I want to do, or at least I have a plan. Oh. Um, I don't think we should all go in the same entrance. That's mm -hmm. stupid. Uh, we will, uh, if one of us fucks up, then we're all caught. That's mm -hmm. bad. So we're going to have to be entrusted with a little bit of independence. I think that there's six That's of us. That's worrying. There's six of us. Mm -hmm. uh, two of us take an entrance. 
three of us take an entrance and one of us takes an entrance. Um, I think two people should go through the sewer entrance. I think three should go through the skylight. And I think that Roy should go through the vents. Because it's, he's the only one small enough to go through it. Um, that way we kind of cover all of our ground. All right. My, my familiar is able to go through the fence as well. Well, then Roy can accompany Puck. Or Puck can accompany Roy. I think that Beerbot and I should go through... Well, uh, I think Rena and Beerbot should go through the sewer. I feel like it's the least need-to-be-stealthy option. The three of us can be pretty fucking I'm stealthy. Actually, I'm decently stealthy. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm decently stealthy. I believe that on your character sheet. I don't think Azarephus has ever seen you do that. Oh, no. <laughs> Socially stealthy. Sure. Sure. Um, she puts on her sneakers or something. She's like, look. Uh, I'm sneaky. I'm okay. sneaky. Well, I could go with Beerbot to make sure that Mm-mm. nothing goes wrong Mm-mm. there. No. No. Because you guys don't get along. No. no. I'll, he'll, he'll listen. No. Only one of you will come out or something. It's... You go with you go. With I'm not going in the stinky. sewer. I already told gonna, you I don't he, want to. He's traumatized. Now you can't do that. You can't put them together. That doesn't work. Well then, Rena goes with a uh, d- huh? Dumb and Dumber. D- well, you started it. The two of us. He's looking over at Severin. I don't like that. You want Rena on the roof? You trust them two together than me two us two together? Yeah. Actually, I'll Rena does together. surprisingly well with roofs. <laughs> I'm actually There's on one thing that I can do. It's rooms. All right. As long as I'm not in the sewer. You what? will not go in this. The oh. The sewer. Oh. What? I know why you don't want to go in the sewer. Why don't I want to go in the sewer? Did you? You didn't hear the whole rant. He just doesn't like how it smells. It oh no! Like I know why he doesn't want to go in the sewer. What the fuck are you talking about, Roy? <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shed your secret. <laughs> okay, Fuck, that's fucked up. So, um, <clears throat> that's how I think we should get in there. Then, uh, the watch uh, sergeant officer guy is probably gonna be in there, and we should take care of him silently, with, with, or or we just don't get seen. That would honestly uh, there's probably gonna be, be the best. magical security, like surveillance. What kind of magical security are we talking about? Oh, Likely no. surveillance. Like They're also gonna be. Just said. All right, how do we take that out? Uh, <laughs> well, that's information that you guys don't have. I, I suppose, so I suppose this, this is this is the the looking looking towards towards Jack side of things. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if there's some I don't know if this type of stuff is something that Beerbot's ever really had to deal with. And, um, I, can make, and I can absolutely make a roll like mag- magical like 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 magic that stays type of thing. Like is this like a there's like a turn off switch? Do we need to like stays. dispel it somehow? Do we need to like? <laughs> Is this like a case of find the person who casted it and kill them, and then it's hey yo, I have your arcana modifier like, here. Like like how like how far does this go? Get a wand dispel man. Uh, as far as the It's just <laughs> gun. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, beer bot. What this would basically be is you need to um, you need to discover who it is that has cast these spells and okay. take them out. Either break the break their concentration somehow, or, or break their neck. You kill them, gotcha. um, and nice. that and that would uh, that would drop these. Uh, so these so spells. I guess this is my other question, and I'm sure that it exists because it's Evron and Pathfinder. These aren't necessarily like permanency, like spells like permanent permanently casted. Like these are like the magic guard clocks in for his eight to five, and he <laughs> casts alarm and like. Um, is that more the vibe that you're looking at, or is it more? Uh, kind of. This is the part that you're not sure about. Okay, gotcha. You know that if there are spells there, that you need to take out the caster. Gotcha. If you want to get past them. Or, I mean, disable them. But uh, but it's it's easier to just take out the caster. Right. Well, if we can find the person that casts the spells. Could your, um, your bank teller? I was just about to say, if you guys want to know more about the bank security, you could bring in the quarry. And beat them up. No. Get them down I here. Think actually, get them like a little drunk. <coughs> okay. Probably just give them a little bit of money and it will work. Off rooms. Right. I think we can probably just yeah. bribe them. Oh, well then bribe them. Your money, not mine. Uh, yeah. I think we, we have. have speaking time. of money. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the name again? The stuff never got. Uh, <laughs> what were we gonna distribute? Like uh, the gold after money. our last job. What? What gold? The three hundred gold. From what? From the last job. How do you place? know how much it was? <laughs> you had me count it. <laughs> and I gave you some of it, no, so you, you can shut the fuck up. 
Well, he didn't shut the fuck up, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he, I just want to say, you guys forgot about this for, like, was, two weeks. No, he was just like... Four days. We were yeah. waiting for you to do the right thing, and now that we know and you're not... there's been some issues of uh, a, a certain establishment we like getting attacked. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing another... Job. Uh, what do you guys need money for? Oh, I'm trying to buy well, a very money? expensive thing. Uh... What, what do you need money for? Sorry, I'm laughing. Azarephus would not laugh. Azarephus would say, I am the most responsible out of all of us. That's and, bullshit. And, and <laughs> all right. Guys, uh, no. it's clear that Azarephus needs enough money to do as much drugs as he can to kill himself. So we should let him have his gold. Wow. You know what? That's right. I it's want not 385. It's not, it's not a lot of money. To, to, to OD? Yeah, mm -hmm. I... I want my 50 gold. I'm getting it. Yeah. Wait, you could ask 15, 20, 20, 20, Oh, yeah. Right. Everybody gets cost? 50 gold. Oh, wow. Um, so you guys want to bring in the coin? Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, yep. I, I don't want to do a scene here because this has already taken a little longer, and that's completely my fault because it's been fun role playing. But um, Vakori is willing to give you this information. However, they don't want anything up front. They want a cut from the heist. Yeah. How much? 15%. I mean, mm, if it's ten, uh, mm, come on, guys, we have to haggle. No, no, no. Look, Vicori could be an end to a house Kundarak big. Mm -hmm. Fifteen percent now buys us his goodwill, which buys us his future employment. Mm -hmm. That one I'm agree with. Fifteen percent. Uh, look, this is money we don't even have yet, so 15% of whatever we yeah, get. He knows that he's, he can take as much as he wants. I know, and he's only asking for 15. Is there if it's like haggled or they're haggled? <laughs> I'm saying. I'm getting haggled. Why am I getting haggled? <laughs> because because you're haggled. fucking gang. Because you didn't give us a fucking cut the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you it to you're not, you. You're not acting like you're in the game. I gave it to you. And I, I, because I don't have to haggle. I don't hold on my gold pieces. That's not haggling. That's just hoarding. Give him fifteen. It's fine. All right, fine. But, fine. That's 15. a Vincent play. Fine, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> fine. The Corey is willing to spill the beans then. Oh. Um, basically, what you learn is that. Ta, 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 ta. All entrances into the bank and other areas within are warded against intrusion, intrusion by magical traps. Some spells are designed to alert the guards of intrusion while others harm trespassers. Additionally, there is an advanced House Madani surveillance system that is being used at the bank called the Basilisk's Eye. Ooh. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Vicori has studied it uh, as surreptitiously as possible. He <coughs> sort of learned how it works. Basically what it is, is it is, um, I'll put it very simply, it is a magical CCTV system. It is clairvoyant <laughs> spells placed at um, oh. particular uh, choke points within anything. the bank yep. that um, are monitored um, by, uh, Vicori would know that House Kundarak doesn't monitor them, so it's likely that House Madani does. And if Madani is monitoring them, then they have someone linked up to them. And if, and if any intruders are seen, House Madani will likely alert House Kundarak that this, this is happening. This is so cyber. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, um, so, uh, so Vicori says, if I were to hit this joint, and I'm very thankful that I'm not, um, I would have, I would take out the Basilisk guy first. Okay. Easy. Well, that's, Just I'm not here. No, Thank you. Here. Yeah. He, Vicori's here. Vicori came to the Storm Town. Yeah. They have a business card and everything. <laughs> yeah. And they're in For the, sure you uh, drink. Yeah. And they're like in a, the you know. bank somewhere. Hmm? The court. Uh, the, the, the basilisk Madonna. guy. The, no, they're being Madonna. Um, oh, uh, he would say uh, the basilisk guy power source is in the security office. Which mm. is? Uh, which which is the building uh, right? No. Oh. No. Yes. It's, um, it's the no. Above it. There you go. Right there. Thank you. Guys. That one. Yes. I don't have a good way of indicating. You're good. I'm sorry. Indicate. How um, it's right there. Indicate. Um. Uh. Before I would say, because um, the clairvoyance sensors are invisible, I don't know where they are. If you're going to go into the bank before taking out the uh, the, dra the, dra the basilisk guy, which you're going to have to because you can't take it out otherwise. Might be helpful to have some invisibility prepared. Would we be able to sneak one of ourselves into the vault that we 
put aside? Uh, Vakori says, I can certainly make that happen. Okay, bear with me. We need invisibility. Maybe I am getting in a box. I don't know where the sensors are, but I can guarantee you there is at least one in that main hall. That makes sense. Okay, so if if we... Sorry. This means that we need to get into here, then. Yes. We have the, to get into there first. Get into there without Is there being... A, uh, well, hang on. A vent in there? I was about to say, maybe there's a vent, or that, or there is a window. And we can take care of that first, and then we go in. Right, but if we break a window, Is there a window? it's going to be pretty uh, obvious. Yes, but the windows don't open. They're there, clearly. Well, they're there purely for aesthetic. I know that somebody can uh, teleport. Mm-hmm. I also have a... Familiar that can probably do something with it. I just need to mm-hmm. get whoever's in that room okay. out, out of it. You're gonna want to watch out too for the guard sergeant for the night That's what I was gonna say. She's uh, she's a real girl scout. Um, she's the you know most of the guys on night shift they don't really give a shit. You know nobody would ever think about mm-hmm. breaking into a place like this. They think. Unfortunately, you're dealing with someone who is constantly wary of what's going on there. So if you're gonna take out anyone, you want to take her out first. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then. Um, so that's that's number two. So number one is the is the security the Madani, system. Number Madani two outfit. is the guard captain. The guard captain's usually in the same room. Um, the watch sergeant will either be um, uh, in the office or uh, patrolling the halls or stationed outside, depending on when. We you need do it. we need to wait till she's inside. That's the best way to do it. There's nobody. There's gonna be nobody in here. Well. Well, outside there's guards and witnesses. It's like the worst place to do right, it. Right, but we're not trying it? to be outside. Actually, right? it's technically so not even a teleport. The or is it your uh, uh, far step? It's the warp step. The warp step? Got yeah, it. wouldn't it be better if they were unconscious yeah. inside? Yeah. Where nobody's going to look? I don't think about it, no. Can if we can find his, where she's going from outside to inside, because we need to deal with Madani with the... With the, with the Cameras. First. It would be it would I be know. better with the to take out the Madani cameras. I know. While that room is empty, well, we take her out first. How are we gonna get or in? Or have her at least leave the room. If there's a vent that leads into there, then we can have Puck go in and then deactivate it. So is that because we're afraid that she might find out that this has been tampered with? The opposite. If she gets wind of us before it's dealt with, then or if it's the first thing in. we do, we turn invisible. We take out that Basilisk guys. Is there not any capabilities to turn invisible? I can't turn invisible. Uh, if I can, uh, would I be able to pick up that a uh, recipe for that? It is a fourth level. Um, God damn it! A fourth level formula? Yes. Uh, sure. It costs a recipe. It costs twenty gold pieces. Uh, if, if you pay twenty gold pieces, you can pick up a formula. Sure. Perfect. Well, hang on, I'm just still misunderstanding. I, I, I want to be on the same page about this, and I know I'm taking time, but that's okay. I want to figure this let's, out. That's all right. Okay, so so heist. This is heist. Sure, let's drop the um, voices and. Well, just, I kind of am. Yeah. So, yeah, right, right, right. Just, just so, for this planning section. Yeah, yeah. So for so, um, I don't want to take out the the watch sergeant outside because there's going to be other guards. I agree. Mm-hmm. So I would prefer to get the watch sergeant while they're in their office. Where there's going to be no other guards. The problem is, I think the office that she's mm-hmm. going to be in is where the thing is. Exactly, which we is gotta, why I'm which saying... we got to do both at the same time. Yes. No, no, no. Just have somebody take this out, then they're blind, then we can all go in and deal with it because nobody yeah. will see us. Right, how are we all going to get into that room? The same, the, the vent, sewers, or if sky, where's, we don't know where's where our vault? Popping us do we know? The vault is uh, downstairs. downstairs. Okay, so we... Puck can go in and deactivate the Madani, the, the basket side. It's a person. No, the power. No, the power source is in that room. Okay. The person is somewhere else well, that we don't even know, but, right? But the, 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 Vicori says that there is no house Madani agent inside oh, the so bank. So here, here's, well, here's the problem, because once you power it down, <coughs> they're going to know that it's offline, which means that they're, like... We're on a time They're probably going to send somebody. That's why I'm thinking that taking out the person is better than the power source because then they don't tell anyone. We don't know where but the we person don't know, is. But the, we oh, don't know. Not sucks. only do we not know where the person is, we also don't know where the watch sergeant will exactly be. So if we don't take out the camera, the camera is first, since we don't know exactly where any camera is. Like, we have to do cameras first. And then it might actually be. There's no other option. Actually, it might be a little good if. 
they were told that the cameras were down because they might not know that it's someone tampering with it, but that might draw the watch captain in to, to, to go into there to turn it back on, and that's where we jump them. Oh, uh, but then they're in there. That's like which a is, way which, worse position. I mean, that's fine. It's not this hall. Uh, this hallway with all these doors where people can come out. Well, where, where did you want to take? Her, here, this is isolated. This that's, is far away from everything. That's the records room. Yeah, I thought that was the we, guard we, office. No, no, the guard no. office is point at the guard office. You know where it is. Uh, thank you. This one. Our guard right? office is right there. Wait, that's where the power source. That's is. also where the power that's source. That's also is. her office. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Huh. Everything is in that room. I right know. Then what the fuck are we doing? Let's just go here. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Cool. My, oh, I thought they were separated. No. My. Hmm. That was the other question. The magical traps and whatnot. Do we know if the people that casted them are present? Um, like, like, do they clock in for their eight to five? The Cory would, they... uh, would say um, every door, uh, save for um, save for those four offices, um, and, uh, um, and yeah, save for those four offices are uh, are warded. Um, so the door to the bank manager's office mm -hmm. is uh, is warded. The door to the um, the door to the records room is also warded. Uh, the door to the vault warded. Front door warded. Main doors leading into the, that hallway warded. from the front warded. So warded that's not with, to do with um, warded with some sort of magic. The quarry is not sure. The quarry skylight. The, the skylight entrance is. Um, I, I wrote this down, but I can't remember. Um, let's see. Um, and the sewer entrance. I did right. write this down. Don't know if I, um, I could just take the it. skylight entrance is warded. The ventilation shafts are not. What about the sewer? The entrance? sewer entrance is. Warded. Okay. Is the well, ward is the ward concentration on that um, power source, or is or is no? No, the 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 Kundarak wards operate freely from the the power source. So they do. Um, Vicori's not sure. They, Vicori knows that they range from alarm spells to. Um, Kills uh, lifts of warding, yeah. things that can harm you, yeah. trigger okay. other effects. So then, Vakori has never been in the main vault and doesn't know what the layout is. Going to be. All right, okay. So th that narrows everything down now. Forget the plan. <laughs> Roy has to go in. Roy and Puck have to take, or just Puck, or maybe, or maybe I feel better if two of them do it because then at least we have ins an insurance. Hands. Both of them uh, have invisibility somehow, or one of them has invisibility somehow. Turns off that power in there, mm -hmm. and then. How we're getting in. Sewer entrance has a so, so here's the thing. No. The way that magical yes. traps work yes. in, in Pathfinder, if you have the dispel magic spell, that can disable a magical trap. Sure. However, you can also use the thievery check to disable a device and shut off a trap. Okay. 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 So, then so who has, who has, that, who who has, has that skill? I have so much. Well, yeah, I know you has. do. Uh, the let's the it's, of you. Yeah, the thievery trap. So you triangle. and I, or you I'm and not I sure if it's got thievery too. So, it will require thieves' tools, though. I have these tools. Great. Which, that's fine. Um, <laughs> the that was the one thing I asked triangle. if I could keep from being a rogue. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> then, uh, 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 sewer entrance warded? Yes. Okay. Skylight's warded. Yes. yes. Which we vents already planned Everything on. is okay. warded except for the skylight. So, can one of you three try to unward the skylight entrance? Uh, I thought you were going skylight. Yeah. I am. I thought I was going with him. No. Oh, no. then I'll do Sev, that. I think, is going to go with Beer Bot. Do you have thievery? Then there the we go. Of, yeah, all of our the three of us are going. We'll go skylight. And Roy's going through a vent. Roy and Puck can go through the vent. Okay. Is your guys should sus? Puck is the imposter. Oh, Puck is. Whoa. Puck vented emergency meeting. Um, okay. Probably my plan for Puck would be he's going to focus on deactivating the Basil Sky, while you can focus on. <laughs> Dealing with the the guard captain. Sorry, I'm looking at we all, this I potion think we of invisibility because it's not on the list keyboard. of yeah. on the list of what? It's not on the list of uh, uh, recipes. Oh right, it's Which, then you, I, I think that honestly but, makes sense. So you wouldn't be able to buy for me. You'd well, have to just purchase. Do you know invisibility, right, but or is there's, it on? There's it would no, have to be probably cast on. Back. There's no oh, like something. elixir. That I can there see that does invisible. that at all. There is a potion of invisibility. Question. Yes, there is. There's it, no alchemist thing that can do. That. Okay. So you just have to buy it. So you just have to buy potions of invisibility. Okay. They cost twenty gold a pop. Gotcha. That's so not bad. Puck does have opposable Thumb? fingers. Thumb? That's true. Okay. Puck does so have opposable fingers. Hang on. <laughs> Let's plan out the timeline. That's a good okay. Cup. Here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna go in. 
and then we're going to uh, we're, we're all going to go. We all have our jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we all got to try to take care of the captain, unless you have the the, the 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 sergeant, unless you have something for that. Like, do you have like a? Well, I will say, you did guys did save Whiskers' life. Do you want to call it a favor with Whiskers? Whiskers mm-hmm. gives him. Cat? He Rice can give you something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, what do you guys need? Rice. <laughs> and invi- invi- I'm the sergeant. It, uh, uh, invisibility potions would be. Um, I, was, I was trying well, to think well, of a poison. Something to put a this poison. fucking Amber. guard to sleep. <laughs> a way ahead of time. They, oh, there's no door- way. <laughs> there's no way. Where their doorbell if- driver that night? We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here's your tacos. Yeah. It all Enjoy happens at the same fucking- time. Your Puck final meal. Like, I got Puck it. has got Enjoy the your Valinar cuisine. Yeah. Puck has got the, the got light it. switch and it's like, <laughs> what's in this? <laughs> <laughs> By no the way, way, here's a birthday card for you. <laughs> See, there's no way though that one of the countries did not create some sort of anthrax adjacent. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, we fucking are aware. I, I will say, <laughs> my mom's like, if you guys, I have an idea of <laughs> what you guys can call it a favor for for whiskers. Yes, unless what is you that idea? With yourself. What, um, what's your idea? Yeah, no, my idea was whiskers could probably get his uh, or could either get his hands on or produce. Um, an elixir that could maybe knock those guards unconscious Fantastic. for a little while. Guards, basically a bottled sleep. Yeah. Like a, yeah, like there's a bottle sleep spell. There's, no, there's, there's six surgeon. guards. We just drop inside. it, well, drop it from the skylight. But there's one like captain, how, one captain, five watchmen. How yes. would they have two to... of them will be outside for two hours? Okay. Yeah. So there's technically yeah. four inside. How would they have yeah. to Talking take about, it like, in in order for it to take? Uh, it would be inhaled. He is. Okay. <laughs> inhaled. It's like a gas. Yes. Whiskers basically throwing a sleep bomb in there. Interesting. Okay, so, so that is interesting. So it's more or less a gas bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that means if we can get all mechanically, four, it is the sleep spell. Yeah. Basically, it's a it's a gas bomb. Yeah. If if you can get them all into one area, okay. and then set that off, yeah. then you get all of them in one guy. Okay. Hang on. How long does it last? Um. Because if it's sleep spell, that's a minute. That's not very long. Well, well when they're down, because yeah. because Forever. it's whiskers, whiskers cannot pass. It. <laughs> Forever, yeah. Forever. It is right. Yeah. So just <laughs> I mean, if they're I mean, sleeping, it's not it's hard to get. Yeah, it, that is true. You could just go and knock them unconscious from there. Yeah, yeah that well, we would yeah, knock totally. them unconscious. Yeah. Oh, I mean, don't you I mean, get I'm their beer Huh? Um, no. Okay. Um, the um, the sleep would. Be Lisa no. Blinky's burger. With I know. I saw that. <laughs> What's that saying? I, I also. Honestly, it, their door, I'm your DoorDash driver. Hey guys, we got um, your we got your Taco Bell party pack. Yeah. Um, in the chat, um, I saw Puck vent. Pu- <gasps> I saw Puck vent. Puck vented. Puck is gonna go through the vents too. Okay. Um, uh, Whiskers can get you a fourth level sleep. Fourth level sleep. Um, it's it's so weird the way it's worded. I think it must be a mistake. Because for, for regular sleep, if you fail, it's a saving throw instead of like hit points. Um, it's like if it's still in, if like the, if you fail, the creature falls unconscious, and if it's still unconscious after one minute, it wakes up automatically. Uh, critical failure for the basic one is if it's still unconscious after an, an hour, it wakes up automatically. Uh, fourth level, it says the creatures fall unconscious for one round on a failure and one minute on a critical failure. Which uh, I, I I'm a little confused by that, well, but it does say they fall prone and release, but they're holding. They can't attempt perception checks to wake up, and when the duration ends, the creature is sleeping normally instead of waking up. So oh. fourth level sleep could take them out entirely if they critically they get, for the just, night. They'll sleep for their eight hours. They, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They fail, eight they, hours. They could probably just be unconscious for the entirety of that. Okay, but there's a potentiality. There is a potentiality that they will succeed the saving throw. There's a potentiality that it won't mm-hmm. fucking work. I'll just tie them up. Okay. But basically, you do have two hours because what will happen is the guard shift outside will come in. And Try to find their friends to redeem them. Yes. Okay. And wor- worst but, case scenario, we get into a fight. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is right. important. The sergeant is inside. Are there any other guards who are inside? There are yes, three more three guards others. inside. There okay. Are four in total. Then we have to take care of them. And if that's they don't, saying. that's what I'm saying. Right. So we yeah. all need to be in at the same time, because in case one of them succeeds, we got to take them out. So I agree with that. But what I'm saying is like we should have a way. And maybe it's maybe it's Rory goes with Puck, because how how do you communicate? I thought the plan was to have Rory go with Puck. I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, but how do you communicate with Puck? Like can like could Puck tell you when when the the system is shut down so that we can that jump from our right. you know skyline to the sewers? Yeah. yeah, there has to be some it, sort of if, signal. If Puck and Roy can disable it, and then Puck goes 
Rena, we're good, and then everyone just is watching and jumps. I mean, it could just be call. a simple thing where where we it's it's person person to person person where if Puck can't communicate, Puck tells Roy. Roy signals the people on the skylight. When the people in the skylight come down, they signal the people in the sewer, and then we're all out. Yeah. And this is all while Bart. sleep bombing. I believe that the, 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 the telepathic kind of communication is a feat that I would have to put on okay, Puck. So and so but that's, I don't think that's so. okay. We'll but, but, but Puck can be the one that um, like alerts us if we're doing the skylight thing, um, because Puck is relatively fast and can fly. So Puck can just fly back up into the vents. But... Yeah. And fly back out and be like, "We're good." Okay. And technically, <laughs> technically, uh, what what's her name um, will be controlling him. Technically. Oh yeah, the lady so, in shadow. The lady in shadow. Sure. So they're a little should bit be independent. This instead. Should be this instead. Mm -hmm. Skylight crew should be on the skylight. Yep. Sewer right. crew should be. Where is the sewer entrance? That's a great question. Didn't actually think about it. There's I was thinking by the fountain. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. They're right next to each other. What Puck should do is fly and go like this. Not in the back of the vent. Should go whoop out here. Uh, we can just yep. see in. Yep. So now we know. Yep. And then just knock on the little sewer entrance and then we're good. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. Roy throws sleep bombs. Mm -hmm. And then we're all in at the sleep same bomb. time. Singular. Just, just one. It's one sleep bomb. 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 Large bomb. bomb. Okay. That it's sounds like a sounds like plan to me. And then our job at that point is to just clean up. Make right. sure that yep. nobody else is in there. And then we get in there as fast as possible. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. Do we know which vault... Are we? We're hitting. No. All of them. We don't. That's the part we don't know okay. yet. Once we're in there, we have to improvise. All right. All of them. Okay. You guys have prepared as much as you possibly can at this point. Let's okay. do this. A plan has been laid. I'm so excited. And uh, come the end of this break, <laughs> we will be breaking into a bank. Yes. But before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to, to our the patrons who are supporting us over on Patreon.com/slash Arcade Arcade. And uh, Jack, I, I, you would, would you like to read the patrons? I would love to read the patrons. Well, let me load them real quick as I get them ready and go to the audience section of this uh, of, of our. Have of they our updated thing. the app again? No, actually, they have actually kept it for no a way. minute here. Impossible. But knowing Patreon, they'll <laughs> change the whole goddamn thing in a month because Patreon cannot so, stay as one thing. It's I really swear, annoying. It, rem it reminds me. Jacob being like, it's been a month, let's redesign the living room. <laughs> shut, up. Patreon. shut up. Thank shut up. you <laughs> to all of the patrons of House Kundarak, particularly <laughs> Soup, Maldor the Vod Squad Soup. God, Jay Kessler, the art of, the art of, what? Oh, the artiface of an artificial artificer. Nice. Uh, li Good. Lil Piggy Densu, Tar, amazing roleplay enjoyer, one, two, tempo, boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Starting my Blade song by saying, what is that melody? <laughs> How often do you think the towers around here get struck by aircraft? <laughs> um, oh, no. Tech, no. Betting Boromar and dicking down to ask. <laughs> Dickin is spelled D-I-K-K-I-N. That's pretty um, funny. Steady, she's skibby on my D to like toilet. <laughs> uh, BK, you don't have to read this aloud, but thank you for making such an amazing session. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, thank you. Uh, I am living, illiterate Moogle. Happy birthday, Captain Dad Bod. Your gift is D's nuts. Ah! Nexus, how much vat could a vat child vat if a vat child could vat vat? Nice. Droid buyer of plastic crack, destroyer of his wallet, cyber rock underscore seven, Joskimo, it's Gwen, trans chuba, listener of Vod's Wildger podcast. Brittany Anderson, Leon Kennedy's milkers, Roy dragging his massive balls through his doggy door. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that one, Megan? I did. <laughs> <laughs> the late reaction. Playing Baldur's Gate with mods, and now I feel like my balls have dropped. Again, clarifying, again, two octaves down this time. <laughs> wow. Dave the Grand, Joshua Cornell. Whoa. Uh, like a builder 899, encouraging everyone to show some love to their local gremlins. Nolf asks where dem towers in the city of towers at. Uh, though <laughs> most of the game takes place in the bottom. Right now we're actually going to be up in the towers. So uh, enjoy it while you can. Um, let's see. Uh, Kate12, loving the Eberron game with everyone Shut except Xerophis. Because he be dragging these nuts on your forehead. Wink. Arena the Forever DM, oh, Tax Collector, head? Dana the Late Blooming Fruit Loop, Winter Stella, ML Wolf, Brittle Dragon, Lady Arby of the Drive Thru, Prote Protect Trans Homies, Protect Twins, Protect twins Homies, homies. homies. <laughs> Sick Joy, J Guy 77, Roy Sinclair, Just Aside the Owl, Sandman, Tree Man, Blue? Raising, oh, sorry, that sounds like I said Blue? Sandman, Tree Man, Sandman, Tree Man, Raising an <laughs> Army of Awakened Shrubs, Austin Stoll, Why Do They Call It Cayman When They Oven the Cold Blood of Out Hot Eat the Guard, Redbeard, One Sack, One Load. 
Death Wolf, Majestic Whalecorn, Need XP to level 3, Vid, Chad DM, Meat Sorcerer, mm. Small Town I Care, Pinky Life, Life Pinky The, Pure Osmia, Bob said hi, who made his name overly long just to make the cast read it for no reason other than his own amusement. Yeah. Reptilian Daedra, City of Towers, huh? Yeah, I guess there are a lot of dudes in Eberron. <laughs> Why are there so many City that, of Towers? <laughs> that reminds me of that, that clip from Smosh where it's like, uh, it's actually the NBA. I hear it's like the WNBA, but it's all dudes. But it's all dudes. <laughs> I watched that. Ep I watched that before it became a clip, and I was just like, I'm That's so glad that funny. this is getting the recognition. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, diabetes, mystical combat, big hoss, skate the goat, Augusta ate it, King Countess of Lovelace, Thorin. How do you get the drop on legendary <coughs> monsters? Unique up behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Pathfinder Dormammu is looking for a way to the train station. He has a ticket for Seer 1313, and he can't be late. Oh, shit. Wait. So Seer 1313 is a domain of dread that they introduced in, mm. in the Ravenloft book. It's basically the last train that was supposed to leave Seer before the morning mm. happened. And, then and the guy one hit. VIP held it up. So all of those people fucking died. Ah. It's fucking crazy. Also kind of a weird lore thing, because it's like, did they know the morning was coming? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I thought the whole plot hinged around them not knowing the morning was coming, but who am I? No, it, it, it was just the last train. They so. might have been evacuating the city from, mm -hmm. from, from for the, the war. The person who was already from the Mornlouth, and they went back in time to get the train. Maybe so. Argus Fallen, Alice Lily Bottom, sure, can Sean going dark in the vents, night vision beeping noises. Barden, but I forgot to do a name again, so here's a freebie. Rest stop, or a freebie rest stop to think about life and how far we've come. Oh. Everyone take a moment. All right. Uh, K. Zachary Nice, Duncan York, Zach has 99 problems, and I am all of them. Oh, Fancy Arthas, Red Storm, Mimi H, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pat, Pimp the Hood, Mama Love and Papa Joy, and Josh Travis. Thank you guys so Woo! much. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Hi. And welcome back. Am I muted? <laughs> no, I am not. And welcome back. All right. We are not going to waste any time. We're, we're at the bank. bank. We're gonna. Yeah, we're at the bank. It is. Uh, we it broke is the in. Night of and the we're done. Um, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yay! Um, <laughs> good game. Good game. We got everything. Um, so, uh, you guys are in position. If I remember correctly, Rena, Azarifus, and Stick are on the skylight. Mm -hmm. Severin and Beerbot are in the sewers, waiting mm -hmm. at that door. Roy, you and Puck are infiltrating the vents. All right, I'm going to need hands. some dice rolls from everybody oh, as uh, you guys have uh, made your way to your positions. Hold up, Emma, can you turn down Spotify? Can you can you turn down for what? <laughs> <laughs> Emma, can you for, for what? Can you turn it down for what? What year is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Put it down on like minus twenty five. Thank you. All right. One of those years. <laughs> All right. Um, so, like I said, the door leading into the sewer access for the bank as Jordan. As well as Not the Jordan. Someone get that D four. Matthew Rock. Oh, we were trying to put oh, that there. Oh, does that mark the the security? Thing? Yes. yes. Yeah. Sick. I thought that that was just a thing. Never mind. No. I'm a fool. Because we kept going. What is that? Jordan. Jordan. Did. As well, Jordan. Um, Sorry. But um, so the two people that are at the warded door, so that would be uh, Team Skylight and Team Sewer Door. I'm gonna need a thievery check <gasps> to disable this. Who has thing. the best thievery? Oh, mine is plus Have 13. Fun, Someone. <laughs> well, you, you guys approach these, and you can feel that sort of metallic taste in the air, that slight reverberation uh, that is a telltale sign that there is magic defending One of you entry. does have mm, my... Um, uh, sticky key? Sticky key. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, hey, I have his sticky key. Do you my <laughs> ooze pick. I'm so sorry. <laughs> On this? No, I gotta disable it first. Mm. All righty. Who, who, is you also here? Is you? I, I is also. Oh god, I have you too? <laughs> yes. I'm babysitting. <laughs> <What? Just kidding. laughs> we have terrorists. Hi, former. <laughs> former. former. Takes offense to the terrorists. Yeah. yeah. Former. Very important. I don't okay, poison I'm water sorry. If anymore. we're gonna have a if we're gonna have a little <coughs> if we're gonna have a goofy spectrum here. Okay, mm -hmm. you two are peak goofy. All right. <laughs> the goofy meter on you two is high. Thank you. But we're not the one who fucks around to find out. That's true, actually. I do that. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm here for. Yeah, actually, we probably put the three most goofy. It's fine. That's we're gonna do <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be okay. You that's gonna why we put them together. Your way <laughs> <us>. <laughs> yeah. It's the quietest. Meanwhile, the sewer, it's just silent. Yeah, like, it's the quietest <laughs> walk. You can hear a pin drop. Yeah, there is. Uh, beer right. Right. If, if Beerbot tries to talk, need, Severin's I like, no. I am gonna need those thievery checks from <laughs> one representative of each group. Mm -hmm. Rolling dice. So these are these are disable. Uh, these are yeah thievery checks to disable. Hold on, let me make sure that there isn't some like special thing. In I'm a silly little game mother. Keep in mind, you do have your coin. We do have a coin. I rolled that, and you guys heard me whisper in my breath, I believe in you, I believe in you, I believe in you, I believe in you, believe in you, you and use, rolled a goddamn you, one. You, you have coin? a coin? Coin? No, I, I don't put my dice it's, in dice jail. No, you need to. Okay, so look. That one has right. repeatedly this failed. Is, uh, this is a check to disable the device, so Can yeah, thie this one? thievery uh, is what I'm going to need. I rolled a 23. You rolled a 23. Mm -hmm. All right. Roll the 24. 24. Okay. Hey. You two sense the magic. You We're approach it usually. with your thieves' tools very delicately. Mm -hmm. um, both fail. Very delicately interrupt the runes that uh, appear as you approach the, uh, the, the, the doors. And as you kind of scratch them out one by one, eventually they, scream, they dissipate. You have successfully disabled these traps. Can I flavor I something it. a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. It's his, his prosthetic. That's fucking sick. Like your fucking prosthetic unfolds for. Deep I tools? would even just think it's. Or is it just it's his <coughs> mark. Oh, jeez. Okay. Because, yeah, you know, Kyber, just, whatnot. <laughs> That's so cool. Just, All right. Just ate the magic. Yeah. You just okay. absorb that? Damn. Yeah. Okay. I Don't think, think about that. Right. In your head, Beerbot says, Severin's abilities continue to astound and terrify me. <laughs> Door's good. <laughs> you you look and Beerbot's just nodding, and then it's a cut to us on the skylight. Yeah. I go, Roy, I did it. Do my uh, abilities just uh, strike fear into your heart? No, no. <laughs> damn it. As you uh, get the thing, um, uh, and by disabling the the the, um, the, the wards, you also disable the locks <coughs> on these mm -hmm. doors. 
you are able to uh, open up the latch on the top, looking down into this great hall. Now we just wait to um, see Puck. Mm -hmm. You guys wait, uh, you guys enter, uh, or you guys come in uh, under that sewer access, just waiting for the signal to come up. Um, Which is a floating box. Um, and as you guys uh, take a look, on. as you guys take a look <laughs> down into the um, uh, the uh, safe deposit box hall here, um, you see this great hall with marble floors and gilded pillars, flanked by masterfully carved dwarf statues. Their stone faces stirred and resolute. In the center, a majestic stone fountain carved with dwarven precision shoots water into the air, creating a soothing atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Ornate doors to the east and west lead to separate bank, uh, separate offices, but uh, you cannot make out what the little plaques next to their doors say from this vantage point. Roy and Puck, I'm going to need stealth checks. Actually, I roll stealth checks for you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what Puck's mm -hmm. stealth is? Plus nine. Plus nine. Okay. okay. Roy, your stealth is still It takes plus the same 11. as mine. I believe it is, but let me know. I'll roll those first, then. It is 11. All right, sick. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Either of you like to use your points. <laughs> Why would see what's the he a, he asked that when I had something really high too. He just asks that guy. Uh, no, I'm good. I, I have. I mean, oh, to be fair, I have already used. Mm. Oh, no, to reroll. <clears throat> Why would you reroll? You don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's silly. No, That's just stick with it. You just keep it. You, it's it's a fucking Schrodinger's roll. <laughs> Even if it's a two, it would be an eleven. Because it's natural one, and that's a problem. But. <laughs> All right, as you guys, um, as you guys unlock your things, Roy, you and Puck make your way into the ventilation shafts. Roy, um, it's a bit of a squeeze, even for someone of your size, but even so, you are able to very stealthily move through uh, through these uh, vent ventilation shafts, and because of your knowledge of the floor plans, you're able to find the one that gets to the security lines. Unfortunately, Puck behind you is having a <laughs> more difficult time <laughs> navigating the shaft. Every now and then, Puck bumps into natural something. Natural one? Uh, no, not, bump, oh, not okay. a natural one, but still a failure. Okay. Um, <laughs> bumping into the walls, um, hitting uh, hitting their their it's little feet on, on on lips and things like that. Oh, no. um, and as you as you as Roy as you're as you're stealthing forward and you, you cringe as you hear Puck slam into the the vent behind you. You look down and you can see into that hallway, and you hear um, a voice say, "What in the sovereign's name was that?" <laughs> Just a uh, I don't know. That ventilation chef's been making some weird noises. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a round real quick. And like, yeah, okay, good idea. As um, uh, uh, as you guys uh, see one of the dwarf guards uh, start to make their way uh, into the uh, into the great hall, just doing a patrol. You can just set, uh, set him like near the fountain to show that that guy's there. So uh, the way that I'm ruling this is like, if you guys fail any sort of checks, you're not immediately caught. But as the failures start to mount, your chances of being caught <coughs> increase. Gotcha. So just because Puck failed this one check doesn't suddenly mean the heist is bust. So cool. I like good that. Good, good to know. Um, but nonetheless, you two are able to arrive at the uh, the manager's, or the sorry, the, uh, the security office. Um, looking down through the vent, Roy, um, you see uh, a mahogany desk and a very comfortable looking chair. There's an arms locker that must contain some extra uh, weapons and armor for the Iron Gate defenders of the bank that rests near the door. Behind the desk is a metal panel in the wall with the basilisk emblem of House Madani emblazoned upon it, as <coughs> well as a sign that reads, Caution, active Sybaris dragon shard within, authorized personnel only. Behind the panel, a thick piece of glass reveals a golden crystal that pulses with light suspended between two arcane conduits. Can you roll a, a d100 for me? Oh. Well, that's an interesting roll. Oh, we're for fountain. God. Sorry, I did not have a d100 ready. That is okay. I can roll one for you if you prefer. Uh, I got one. I just needed to grab it. For sure. That's two. Well, okay. There we go. Look, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I can't look at it and read it. And like, mm -hmm. That's a two. 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 <laughs> All right. As you look down, you do see that sitting behind the desk is um, is a guard that appears to be in sl a slightly uh, nicer uniform than these other Iron Gate guards. Um, you imagine Where? They, right in the, right by that decor. Um, uh, as the watch sergeant appears to be in her office, and um, you notice too that she's like looking up at the vents. Being like, somebody better be checking on that. And there's like, yeah, yeah, Margle, I'm on it. 
as uh, one of the mm-hmm. dwarves uh, goes out into the main hall, is like looking up at the skylight, looking at the ventilation shafts. Who and, has the sleep? That is a great question. Who you has the sleep? I think, I think it was yeah. you. Okay. Um, <coughs> and we want them all in one place. Yes. I mean, we have to, otherwise the bomb don't work. I mean, it works. I mean, we could it just... Works, it works, just... It depends on how many we get. With, like, we might end up we getting get, into a, a bomb body. cover a 100-foot area? Um, the sleep emanation covers... <laughs> I'm just saying, if she's the most important one, here she is right now. No, that's what I'm saying, but the power needs to be up first. Um, it covers a 10-foot radius. Let's put it back in there. Okay, I mean, you could... I mean, getting more of them at once is more important, but... I mean, if you just want to take her out now, there's nobody who could stop you. Oh, just a fox. <laughs> who's got? Yeah. Who's, yeah. Whose tail is clipping through the building? <laughs> 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 These old buildings, you know. <laughs> Roy will wait, um, but he will have his um, invisibility potion ready. Okay. Roll another d100. You guys are waiting for that signal. A couple minutes pass. Nothing. Mm. All right, it's okay. 76. 76? Okay. Trust At that point, uh, um, you see she gets up and says, you find anything? And she watch, walks out of the office. Oh. She is no longer okay. in there. She does close okay. the door behind her. Okay. You don't so, know where she is? Uh, you guys don't. Actually, you would see her join that other dwarf out there as they're looking around but don't see anything. <coughs> so you, the, okay. the office is available That's good. to you now. So... We don't want to turn the power off yet because it's sending the signal to Madani, right? We're just waiting for you guys to... No, turn off ASAP. Okay. That's the first thing that goes. I think that was the plan. Uh, 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 so he's going to hop out and... Okay. I'm going to roll stealth for you. <laughs> There's a whoopee cushion. Okay. It's pop coming out as well. Yes. No. Break. No. Fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Puck is sitting still as a fucking pill. <laughs> well, well, technically the lady's what does, shadow what is does Puck, right now. What does Puck, Puck do? wants to freaking go. Then go. So Puck's gonna roll. For a second. Puck, no, Puck, no. As, um, as, as you, as you <laughs> slowly Also, Puck could, like, hit, probably hisses toys, at you, you because it's the, not very nice you. You unscrew the, 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 um, the screws that are holding up the vent, pull the thing up, and then uh, drop down, and you look up and you're like, Puck, you bet. And as you say that, Puck is just very silently floating down, <laughs> not making a sound as they just sort of stare Ooh. at you blankly. Puck, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> you are nothing. You're not real. You're not. I will fucking slice your throat. Oh my god. As soon as you turn to like, do the thing, Puck baps you on the yeah. head. Baps you on the head. <laughs> Double middle finger. Uh, got it. So you can Yes, I remember for, now. Yeah. For that. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so, Roy, I'm going to roll a passive arcana check for you right here. Mm-hmm. Okay? Roy, as you begin to, to uh, open up this panel and you see this Sybaris dragon shard crackling with arcane energy, this, it, this, this warmth radiates towards you. And you're looking at the way that this is the artifice on this has been set up, and you think you see an opportunity. There is a chance that you could disable this and potentially not send a signal to Madani quite so quickly. Mm. It will be difficult. It's easier to just disable the thing. <coughs> However, if you if you potentially roll well enough, you could give yourself a little more time. What do you want to do? Dis- disabling it carefully will take a little more time as well. There's always the chance that that target <coughs> could come walking right back in here. Roy's going to go big or go home, baby. Uh, let's um, let's see if we can't disable it without sending that signal. Okay. Is Puck going to attempt to help Roy in any way? <laughs> Does Puck? I don't. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to decide if Puck is going to help. I don't know if Puck's gonna help. Roy's been kind of mean. Um, so Roy, you're on your Fair. own on this. Um, Damn. Don't, don't I mean, worry, I don't need <laughs> lickety splits over here. <laughs> go, 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 go. Um, Do you need help? This is gonna take two checks. Okay. Just gonna put that out there. All right, 
I'm gonna roll that first. Puck <coughs> was doing that oh, cat thing in the middle me. of the vent. Yes, these are all kind of checks. Were they like? Um, were they like, actually? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let you roll on second thought because this is an active thing that you're doing. This isn't something passive. So I'll let you roll. Uh, I am gonna roll a d100. Mm. Oh. Things are moving. Can we roll to see if this sergeant is? Uh, I'm gonna has a peanut allergy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can, can I'm gonna s- uh, sip a little cognitive <clears throat> mutagen okay. as I do it. Um, what is it? A two oh, plus um, two. Two percent chance for peanut allergy. Seventy-nine. Fuck. No. And that's Stick. the last time I'm doing that. Not my, not my gag. Not my gag. I'm Stick. big balls, not peanut allergy. All right, all right. Yeah. Stick also doesn't have. <laughs> I don't want to preserve this. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um, that is a failure. You don't, you don't, you don't break the thing, but some time does pass. You don't think that you've alerted anyone to your presence, but some time does pass. The sergeant has not come back in yet. You can roll again. I rolled a five. You were so close to having a peanut allergy. That'd be hilarious if I had a peanut allergy. Like, 28. 28. You've learned a little from your previous mistakes. You slowly start to dismantle um, uh, using uh, using your mutagen and some of your alchemical tools. You're able to kind of uh, very subtly manipulate the arcane energies surrounding this thing. I'm going to roll these two more times. Okay. Roll again. The sergeant hasn't come back yet. Whew. That's a one. Okay. <gasps> So a critical failure in this case means that uh, that you do slip up and you do destroy the dragon marks the, or the dragon shard. The system is down. However, House Madani knows knows you're here. Additionally, when you do, Ooh. there is a loud burst of arcane energy that that radiates through the room. You are not hurt, but it has made a lot of noise. Visibility. Yep. Push. All right. Um, this is. Do awesome. we hear that sound? Yes. Okay. You do. Yeah, we hear that. I think um, Claxon. The think building shakes up. slightly. Oh. Not talking earthquake here, but it does kind of. <laughs> we don't like my window panes are like. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, you you guys immediately see those two guards, uh, book it into the room, um, and then uh, Roy, you 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 watch as four guards have all clustered hey. themselves, uh, hmm. right by the door there. How, um, how convenient. As they're all looking in. That is pretty um, convenient. And, uh, yeah, wh- I mean, where are you hiding right now? I am in probably trying to pop myself back into this vent. Oh, I don't know if you can do that, buddy. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I uh, hear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, not impossible, well, okay. but you're going to have to roll a stealth check for <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. Um, well, I was curious if if that was possible. If I mean, not, I mean, you could say that you maybe dropped a rope down, but, I mean, then the rope would be hanging there. Roy was probably going to be, he's very small, so he's going to be behind... He's okay. So you know how desks have a footwell? He's in the footwell, but but <laughs> yes. he's going to Is that door open or are Yes, they... it's open. All, all the, the the sergeant is in is like in the room and she says, "Damn it, this fucking basilisk guy." <laughs> and uh, those three guards are like, "What happened?" And you It's going to try and roll it so that it yep. it's here. And as you do, immediately, I, 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 nice. I, I imagine so, Puck is just sitting on top of the desk. <laughs> like, okay, just, sir. Puck is like, like, the fuck is that a box? <laughs> 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 as, as, uh, it's uh, sitting they, in they the chair. Cast on them. And it, it uh, turns around. Ooh, nice. That was good. Them. Uh, them. You know what, Roy? Planned. Planned. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. they all ran. That's exactly Skilled. what I yeah. wanted. Yeah. All planned. Calculated. Yeah. Calculated. When you live with big balls, things. <laughs> when you're just Roy, that. big balls. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm Literally. gonna roll. Um, I'm gonna roll. Uh, let's see. What is it? It's uh, will saves for these guards. Roy's um, actions were very calculated. Mm-hmm. He's just bad at math. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> damn. Um, okay. Will saves. One, All right, one, the sergeant. Um, I'm gonna set this at the gargant. This is a this is a fourth level spell, so I'm gonna set it at the fourth level DC. Cool. Okay. So that's the sergeant. I haven't heard the DC yet. The effort. I think. Um. <laughs> Put that in the Discord. I did. Okay, perfect. The guard. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that. second guard. <coughs> Third guard. Okay, that is very interesting. <gasps> is this Travis uh, Savoy's heist this is theme? Travis Savoy's. <gasps> Travis yeah, Savoy made a heist theme. All right. So as the as the smoke 
this this kind of glimmering slightly. This it's got this glitter to it, and it fills the lungs of these soldiers. The sergeant <coughs> and one of the guards are pretty quick. They quickly cover their mouths, um, and uh, um, the sergeant succeeded on the save. The one of the guards crit. <gasps> um, so the sergeant has a minus one stat penal, status penalty to perception checks CP. for one round. Okay. The the guard CP. that succeeded uh, is unaffected. However, oh, no. one of one of the guards failed. Okay. Um, and so they um, fall asleep for uh, one round. Do. Which one? Uh, the, uh, you decide. And then another one critically failed. Ooh, I rolled a natural sweepy. 20 and a natural one. Oh. Um, so those guys, so two of those guys are down. They immediately fall prone and release what they're holding. They can't attempt <coughs> perce- uh, perception checks to wake up. Um, so one of them is down for the count pretty much for an hour. Another one is down for the count, um, but could could potentially wake up in an hour. The other two are fine. The, s- the sergeant's a little um, a little messed up, but otherwise it's fine. And um, uh, as they uh, draw their weapons, um, you guys can see immediately. I mean, you hear the clamor from inside as uh, <coughs> it seems your cover's been blown. We need to roll initiative. Ooh, I was gonna say, your boy would be like, "Well, I think it's time." I think yeah, that's the signal. Like, should we go? Yep, uh, Severin's probably uh, pulling I, up a mask. Yeah. You know, uh, I imagine right. you guys have yeah. your super. super cool. Did you guys get like dark six masks? I thought that that was established at some point. That yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. We, we do all have one. I hurt like a butch. I also I, have a. Uh, uh, yeah, mask and I myself. assume Roy would. Uh, I don't know if if we have that. the dark six, six masks, that's what we're wearing. Yeah, to cover your, um, to obscure your identity. We would definitely want to wear something. He's doing um, the good old, Red you know. Two mask. Yeah. The. You're not wearing a, the mask. mask I'm know? not wearing. Uh, you can't go into the heist being stylish. No, I don't. Just don't think I'm wearing a dark six. Uh, I feel like that's just a you're bad. Just wearing a mask. I'm just wearing I, a mask. I, ha- like, I don't feel comfortable I supporting have, this. I have a magical mask that already oh, in my thing, yeah, so I, right. I can put you that do. on. I have a really forgettable face. It's a no, persona mask, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're about yeah. kind of Are we, are we, uh, no, these aren't the same coins, never mind. I was going to say, because if you rolled a natural one, does Jeez. that mean I get to flip Sorry. my coin? Like if I yes. rolled a natural one? No, yeah. that's not how that works. No, I think I said, you rolled a natural one. Oh, you rolled a nat one? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you can flip your coin. Wait. Were you asking if Jack rolled a natural one? No, no, he was asking because he rolled a natural one. So he got to flip his coin. He did roll a natural I one. I did roll, roll, roll one. Oh, I just one. rolled. Did you roll one on your initiative? No. 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 no I rolled earlier, one earlier. on the uh, the the Ar- 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 check. <coughs> Wait, do you not do it on initiatives? No, I do. Uh-huh. I was. I also. I rolled a one on my initiative. Uh-huh. And I was about to be like, that'd be funny if you both rolled a one. I can't. Well, I have to trust. Well, th- 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 this isn't as funny, but I rolled a crit. Well, the opposite oh, of a natural cool. one, so. Should we go? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> How? Um, Honestly, the natural one is kind of appropriate for the <laughs> should we go. Mm-hmm. She's about to fucking Mary Poppins down into that. That's what I'm saying. How? Okay. Where? Um, oh, boy. Did anyone roll 30 to 25, I guess? Uh, uh, 29. 29 for Renna. Uh, 28. Jesus. Oh, my God. I rolled a 20. Wait. What'd you roll, Beerbot? I'm sorry. No, that's plus 11. Yeah, 27. I rolled low. I rolled a 22. Uh, did anyone roll higher than that? <laughs> did anyone roll higher than that? No? No. no. Okay, let me roll for that. 28? Mm-hmm. 29. 29? I can get there. <laughs> Stop. Um, okay, I rolled a 9. I need to not feel this right now. <laughs> I the lowest I can get. Uh, I got mediocre. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh. I don't like this. Look. It's about um, what this character is built for. Not, not Sad, you rolled a yes. tonight getting up on someone. Um, Roy, what did you roll? 16. 16? <laughs> okay. Sounds good. A perfectly respectable. Yeah. Roll initiative yeah. Too, doesn't he? Yeah, 16. Most definitely. Most fact, most that's Huck's probably the oh, average male. Um, I would imagine it is. <laughs> initiative size. Really? Yeah. Initiative size? A uh, few skills. It's a dick joke, Grace. No, 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 no. I got it. No. No, I, I, I understand really it. Sorry. Yeah, man. it is the same as mine. It's plus nine. It's really aggressive, it. man. Sorry. All right. <laughs> well, let me dial it back. Uh, all right. It was a dick joke. Starting at the top. Run it to your turn. There is a 60 foot drop in front of you. Wait, where are we? Oh, that the memes. That's right. Daddy. Has okay, so first is Rena. No. So let's find Rena. No. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've done this. It's been a normal amount of time. <laughs> yeah. That was the D and D. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's a daddy <laughs> fest. <laughs> what? What? He went. That's where the memes were, and Jordan said. That's me right now. And I said, "Is that what the D and D stands for now?" And he goes, "Daddy master." Daddy, daddy master. master. Hey, stick. 
Hey. The modern society. <laughs> coffee made at home. Seven dollars coffee made by a bisexual. <laughs> I'm targeted line. by this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's the entirety of that coffee shop. Uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, anyways. Uh, here, here uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> starts beatboxing. <laughs> it's Aaron's mom. She's yeah. like, Aaron, make it sucks. And then she puts her hand over her mouth yeah. and it says, oh, starts, oh, oh, beat, starts beat, right. beatboxing. Um, beatboxing. Then it is yeah. Sam. Well, Edgar Allan Cointel, Cointel Pro. Uh, oh, Jesus uh, Arachnophobia Christ. is stupid. Like, just let the spiders get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, sorry, Azarephus, what did you roll? Yeah. Nine. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I, I didn't write that down. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? Why am I getting, why, why am I getting picked on? Roy, <laughs> why, I wonder why. Little dead because be <laughs> Oh. That is brutal. <laughs> He can't what is see it? without it's his glasses. It is it's his glasses. Fucking, it's fucking Macaulay Culkin. Uh -huh. It says Dead Cuz Bees. Oh. Uh, my girl. He's never seen that movie. Uh. All the time. He doesn't have his glasses. No, I've seen it. He, he said, um, he said, he said, the uh, holes in Jacob's pop cultural about, and historical knowledge. He can't see without Show his glasses. Show me this before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Colton hasn't seen it? I've seen it. Nah, um, damn it. <laughs> I can't do that thing where I award you guys additional points where I laugh because I. It's okay. I just want you to we, see my memes. We could just all take a plus five. That's okay. You laughed at um, all of them, so we all go. So you rolled a freaking twenty nine. And then he gives all the monsters a plus five. Yeah, and all the monsters a plus five. Because you're funny too. Yeah, you're hilarious. Yeah, you're hilarious. <laughs> Brenna, it is your yeah. turn. Um, There's a sixty foot drop in front of you. Artificially inflate. Let's jump. Jump. I'm not gonna jump sixty feet. Jump off. Jump off. Jump off. Jump off. Like you need help. We take thirty damage. Do. Minecraft. What do we have to get down? A rope. I don't know. A rope. <laughs> I'm you guys could have brought a rope. Have a rope. I yes. have rope. Okay, but I don't have Literally rope on me. So what I'm rope. going to do? Have rope? Go get no. your fucking rope. Is um, I'm going to cast um, blood up. duplicate. <laughs> okay. So I prick myself a little bit as yeah. part of the spell. <laughs> Um, and then I create a duplicate of a non-magical object, so I'm going to create a rope. You don't want to make a bird. And oh, it gets sick. turned out, get, now I have a blood rope. Oh, that is so fucking cool! Oh, blood That's rope. awesome! <laughs> it's, At least uh, it's not yeah. inside it's not rope. Here, you guys crawl down my blood. I imagine it's kind of sticky, so you just kind of... Well, it, 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 literally, it, it literally says, um... Yeah. That's badass. You could've been, could've been super... wet and obviously fake to the touch. Oh, sick! Oh, that's so, so it's kind of, awesome. It's kind of, wet. But it feels wet, but it doesn't... It, but, is it, but it still works oh, like... Oh, my God. So, yeah, you just basically create your blood rope and tie it off. Intestines falling. Are you going to slide down that rope? That's another spell. Uh, you can just it's called insides that. rope. That's just what it's insides rope. Well, sorry, one second. Colton needs to understand that there's a spell called intestine rope. That's it's called it. gut ropes. Gut ropes. Yeah. And yeah, you can literally just go, all right, yeah. rope. Yeah, look it up. Um, um, and you do that, and Azarephus is like, that's fucking gross. I love it. Inside ropes. Um, inside ropes. Rope. Rope. And part out. of the spell is I take one hit point of damage. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Outside ropes. Uh, <laughs> I'll get to the bottom. I, bottom. I'll just kind of motion for everyone to to get down. Um, if oh, I get more than five feet away from the duplicate, it go, mm. goes away. Got so, it. so you you drop down. I'll say uh, you can get down to the bottom. Creating the spell is from one the action. Duplicate, I think it takes. It'll take two actions to get down because you have to move up um, to your speed. To get all the way down. It's a sixty foot. Drop. Yes. So it takes two to cast. I'll get halfway down. Then. Okay, sounds good. Um, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. If we like slide down it, do we get a little bit more speed? Um, you know what? Yeah, I can do that. But I will require an acrobatics check okay. or something okay. uh, sure. to see how well. Do it. It's not that you're gonna fall mm -hmm. necessarily unless you roll like. A and I'll use fail. this dice. Um, but if you fail, you will take a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. So I'll let you do that for an action. That's a good idea. Uh, three 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 That's three. enough. You, it's very slippery, so yep. it's very easy to slide. Yep. You don't get that nasty rope burn either. No. He's got a little blood on your hands now. Well, I already had it. But. Stick, your turn. Uh, uh, stick does the same thing. Sick. Um, um, roll uh, an acrobatics check for me. Don't mess up. Uh, 18. Oh, I got to change the combat music. Um, roll, roll 18? Burn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that <coughs> is... What, what DC did I say? That is enough. Okay. Um, you uh, mm -hmm. make it down to the bottom oh. without any harm. That's one action to to, to get down the rope. Um, is it like question: Is the rope ne like next to where the entrance from the sewer is? Uh, yes. Can sure. I just like tap on it just yeah, to, definitely. Yeah. as a like, definitely just part just, like, of that free action? Yeah, yeah. No. We totally yeah. didn't hear. Yeah. I know. Just, but just. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure man, I wonder who that was. Can I see the the main guard <laughs> lady or no? 
Huh? Can I see the the main guard, please? No, all you see are those guys in the in the hallway. Two of them are hitting the ground. One of them has has covered his his face and is okay. Yeah. Um. Are we killing these guys? We might as well. Mm, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I looked Sorry, I thought violence. about it, and then I went, and then I remembered who I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Kundrak. Come on. Is this Hollow Knight? No. No, this, this is, is Bonnie Grace. It does sound like Bonnie Grace. Mm -hmm. No, I think I'm going to stay where I'm at. It and also sounds like Death I Storm. won't yeah. try to hurt these fellows. Interesting. Lame. Yes. Are you, are you are you doing something else or? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. You're just gonna be right um, there. Go. I'm actually gonna move right here. Okay. Yep. Anything else for that last action on your turn? Nope. Okay. Sounds good. Here, Bob. Uh, so I'm like. You're in the sewer. Face sort of, sort of underneath right. Wow. So Not like how, that. so so how much movement is it for me to be here? Wow. She started. Hey, she started. Yo, she started. Yo, how, how much would it be to what? For me to be there. Um, for, for you guys, it's not going to take anything. Um, uh, I mean, maybe an interact action to, like, open up the grave, but that's it. So it'll take an action to open up the grave. How nice of okay. you. Okay. And then you can move up to your speed <laughs> climbing up. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> what if it's going to have to open the grave? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> he climbs up. Well, don't up. just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> he climbs up and he's like, well... <laughs> I think you could, like, Kool-Aid make okay. yourself up. Well, oh, I, yeah. I can open up the grate and then sudden charge just ride twice. You could. Uh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he Straight. does. Okay, um, yeah, he opens up the grate and then climbs up and then sees this situation. And, uh, honestly, if, if, if I'm being honest, Beerbot was kind of hoping they were all just going to pass out so we didn't have to, like, hurt anybody. Unfortunately, unfortunately them, not. But... Uh, that isn't an option, so sudden charge. Yep. Um, and, uh, well, I think this Reinhardt. we're going to, uh, Could be in a straight line. nope. I just stride twice and then can make an attack. You had more than enough for that. As long as I end that movement within <coughs> melee range of at least one enemy. Hit. So how's a 24 do? A uh, 24 will hit. Sick. 2d8. Okay, I am going to ask, did we establish if we were going non-lethal or lethally before we yeah, started? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's... I uh, think we established it. Okay. Um, I will say Beerbot would... Personal discretion. Uh, personal discretion. Uh, uh, Beerbot would probably be going non-lethal. Got it. Um, not necessarily because he specifically cares about these people, but because... Like, are we really going? He doesn't want to murder on his rap sheet. Well, <laughs> I mean, he has plenty of those. Fair enough. But no, it's more like people are already going to be wondering who did this. Are we really going to give them more reason to oh, search? Yeah, for sure. Like, for not sure. only did we break in, but we also killed people. Like, you know. Yeah. They might care more. Don't about the preach. In. All right. 12, 17. 17 it's damage. Logical. You're preaching 17 to that guy. Yep. The guy that's 17 still up. <clears throat> that is, yeah, uh, he is bloodied. Who's the person in your head? Mara. 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 Yeah, you're preaching to Mara right now. Yeah, you go. Um, and it's like, I understand. Anything else on your turn? No. I am not judging you. That Mara. is it. All right. Everyone else is. Um, <laughs> it is the guards' turn. Everyone else is. Wrong. The guards. Uh, I mean, most of them are asleep right now. Oh, ha. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kill. So <clears throat> they're unconscious, but they still have hit points. Um, I mean, that first one just got its shit rocked by a Warforged, so I think that's kind of got his attention. <laughs> a Warforged you know, with a mask on. I'll roll a save. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like in the midst of this fucking fog, so it's like... <laughs> yeah. um, it's another Warforged. Yeah. It's another <laughs> Warforged head. It's um, AC you know 23. He is going to use an interact action to uh -oh. turn Aww. around and wake up one of his friends. <gasps> so one of those guards is now awake. Then he's going to turn around nearby and make two, uh, two club attacks against you. Um... Well, I, they're mace attacks, actually, so. It's his club, but I think they're maces. I'm going to remind everybody who wants to make non-lethal that it's a negative um, four penalty. 15. Uh, miss. 
Just looks like these guys are down. Yeah, fifteen. Just gonna yeah. put that out there. Um, yeah, you can afford to hit or with that shit. If you want to do non-lethal, you can do non-lethal. There you go. Um, both of those attacks. Um, so you're fine. It's just good. Jack just yeah, both said. Forget. That. Forget about that. I'm mixing that. Ooh. Okay. If you want to do non-lethal, you can do non-lethal. Okay. I'm not gonna be putting it. Okay. Um, both <laughs> attacks missed you, Birbot. Yes. Um, that second guard is gonna good use an action to stand up. Um, that guard, uh, the gray beard, bro. Uh, and uh, he is in a panic right now. He doesn't know what's going on. Um, but he sees that one of his buddies is being attacked by a warforge. So he's gonna he's gonna use an action to step. Uh, over next to the guy attacking Beerbot, and then um, is gonna make a, a mace attack. Um, does a 23 hit you? Uh, me to beat you. Okay. Jack, does that have to be a melee attack? He is melee. He is in melee. Cool. Does a non-lethal attack have to be a melee attack? Oh. Um, uh, can I knock someone out by hitting him in the head? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, mean, if I can cast Fireball with... and do not uh, lethal. Well, okay, Fireball is a different story. <laughs> what about Flens? Flens, I mean, no, there's no non-lethal way to cast that spell. Oh, if no, you're no. hitting them with like a melee attack or a, or a ranged weapon attack. I'll allow ranged weapon attacks. So um, a gun? Yes. So bullet non-lethal. Sure. Yeah. All right. You can shoot someone shoot. in the That's bullet. fine. Shoot him in the shoulder. They would still um, die. You can bleed right, out. I find that they're fucking dead, Jacob. What do you want I from me? I can bleed you uh, out by okay. slicing you, yeah. and it can still be non-lethal. I just That's want true, everyone to take notes. All that it takes for me to break is just bullying me a little bit. <laughs> uh, as a um, and I just want you all to know that Jacob is in the wrong here. Um, he is. It is uh, Jacob bull- points bull- of Jacob bull- bull- against him yeah. being able to do non-lethal. Oh, I did. I did. The guy strikes you pretty hard. Um, it is, uh, and then that other guard is just asleep. Um, also, teacher, do we have a... Huh? You piece you of do. shit. You do now. Yeah, all that homework you didn't do in Jordan's English class <laughs> is back. <laughs> Jordan just Jordan goes. Jordan is actually a high school teacher. He's like, he's like <laughs> where is all that homework that Jacob didn't do? Digs it out. <laughs> <laughs> like, from you, ten years you ago. Give it to me. You, think, you think I kept any of his yeah, shitty no, no, ass no, work? No, no, no. <laughs> the crumpled did, did, papers. Did, did he turn any in? I passed in nine papers. Um, I graduated in nine. (laughs) Well, if you were at his wedding, you know that he did turn in handwritten. Um, That is that is the guard's turn. Sev, it is your turn. I was not. Sev, Roy, you're on deck, followed by Puck and his arrows. How does it feel to be after? after (laughs) Fuck you! (laughs) I don't like it. Maybe you shouldn't have been so mean to me then. Yeah. What did maybe, I do? Maybe fuck you then, Jacob. Yeah. They knew. Yeah. God, look at that Sev Mini. So cool. Show the class. I'm right here. <laughs> oh, this yeah. hey, I go. guess the... Um, actually, this is this will be Puck. Put Puck next to... Oh, another, <laughs> another D4. Another well, one. actually, you could just make it that one. Cause you know, I, I want the green, though, because oh, okay. he's green. Well, then get rid of that gray one. He's green. He's, he's spectral. It's good. Mm. It blew up. House Madani is on to you guys. A little no. bit. No. Uh, as far as you know. Nothing did blow up. Yeah, uh, but that happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that fucking guy is like, oh, well, it looks like it broke again. You gotta yeah. send a team out. Kill. <laughs> bang, bang. It's like a service team. 28, 28 will hit. Okay, no, the guards did say that fucking crystal. Yeah. So yep, it's probably so. happened before. At least one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 13, damage. 13 damage to which one? Uh, gray one. Gray one? Got it. That's number two. Um, all right, almost bloody. Okay. Hey. 24 will hit. Oh. With your multi attack penalty? Jacob's Got up. It. Jacob has stood up. He seems to be on top of things. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. Stupid. Oops. Fascinating. Uh, it's like six. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, nice. I rolled a hit, did like 12, da- 13 damage. And then hit and again then, for six. Yeah, reloading strike. Uh, I have another turn. Action. There we go. Do another hit. Oops. So your first, sorry, sorry, your first option was to sh- or action was to shoot. Thank. Uh, he has free movement. Right. I, I think you have to. Yes, take that at I the forgot. Of your turn. Mm-hmm. So. So it's fine. I don't. I don't attack. 
Got it. That last one, so we're good. Got it. So that was just a normal strike then for that first one. Or do you not attack with the reloading strike? It is an attack. That was the... the... Right. What I'm asking is when you start your turn, you need to move. You get your free Mm -hmm. action to move. You didn't do that. You shot and then moved. Well, you climbed out. I'm sorry. I was thinking that... Oh! Climbing out was the movement. I'm a silly Billy. Yes. Shot. You're correct. Yeah. You're correct. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Sick. Cool. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I was also like... I can retrace. Followed it's by okay. Puck, followed by Azarephus. That watch officer <laughs> rolled a natural one. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not last. <laughs> See, no, I, last. I also close. rolled a natural one. Sick. You're she had a minus one. You're better than her. Bonus. Plus eight. Hers is also plus eight, but she had a minus one because of the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, that's actually huge. Actually huge? Actually, actually yeah. huge. Because you. Like Roy's balls. Yeah. Yep. Oh, God. Mm. Roy's balls. It's not illegal. Um, I have like I have a cover under this desk. Fuck this. Door. <laughs> um, are you also invisible? Uh, I am. Unless do I, does, do you lose I invisibility? Mean, uh, if you take a hostile usage? action, you lose invisibility. So I'm not invisible. So anymore. you are no longer invisible. As soon as you threw that bomb, that's a hostile action. Uh, I am going to try and. Um, I, uh, actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just toss a grenade. Um, yeah. Pull it. Throwing and frags. as I pull it, yeah. yeah. Well, as I pull wait. it, it's sort of like it's wait, wait, linked wait, wait, wait. to my vest. So oh, it's the, cool. the little thing, because he has the, the feet that lets him pull and interact. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Um, oh, yeah. <coughs> so. That's such a cool way to flavor that. I heard quick bottom. Look. Very confused. Quick bottom, yep. Ooh. Okay, I you misheard him, I misheard you. The ma- yeah, critical hit. Yeah. yeah. Critical hit. Okay. It, you you backspin it when you roll it and it goes it like rolls and then it goes and it like goes over the air. So uh I turn the face. It it's just what max and then you know you can't non lethal fucking grenade. No, I sick. I was trying to burn her fingers. Yeah, yeah, definitely definitely Roy does not Non lethal burn. It's pepper spray. Um uh, max is it's it, or crit, crit is is roll it double the result. Okay. Roll the normal damage double the result. It's easy when it's not. And then there's math involved. This is her right now. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> it's in Spider-Man when he gets that grenade thrown in his face uh, and he's like he's like. This is the Sarah Connor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no. I, yeah, no yeah. It's me. <laughs> The first one. I should really call them the Sam Raimi ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 32 fire damage Ooh. and 3 persistent damage. Right. 3 persistent damage. Um, just so you know, you don't multiply splash damage on a critical hit. 30. Sweet. 30? 30? Ooh. That's insane. She's automatically bloodied. Rest in peace. As, as. Uh, it just bursts into flame. I think she's the only person that gets hit by that, right? Uh, well, well <laughs> it's splash damage. How, how far does it splash? Is it a five foot radius around? It is a five foot radius. Oh, okay, radius. so it hit all those guys. Um, and it's gonna deal four. Gonna deal um, four to them? Yeah. Okay, um, so guard three takes four damage. Guard one takes four damage. Um, I believe if you're unconscious and you take damage, oh, you wake up. Yes. Um, yes, you do. That that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, that guy is now conscious. He's no longer asleep. Um, but he's still on the ground. Yeah. Anything else on your turn, Roy? Uh, I'm going to pop another. <laughs> <laughs> Again? Well, I like well, how you used well, right? yeah. uh, the shotgun noise for that. <laughs> Roy can't bra a grenade. Watch me. Watch me. What this be? That's how Storm Tower does a drive by. He makes the sound effect. Yeah. In GTA. <laughs> Dirty 20. Uh, just hits. Yeah. Oh, this lady's going to get fucking oh, murdered. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You know, at the. Uh, <laughs> Toy Story 2 with Buzz, and it's just his feet. (laughs) 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 An an additional 14 fire damage. Okay. And then she takes um, an additional Mm -hmm. three ongoing 
And then these guys take an additional four. Okay, so she takes 14, and at the start of her turn, she'll take She So, in total, she's going to take, actually all of them are going to take ongoing six, because they've wow. been hit twice with the grenade, I believe. Sheesh. Um, Persistent damage, when does that apply? At the start of their turn? I believe so. I know there's a way to, to stop it, but I think it's it, it requires some kind of action to like put yourself out. Um, it does. Uh, <laughs> stop! You stop, have to stop, drop, drop and roll. And roll. Yeah. Yeah. Three Pretty separate much. actions. Yeah. <laughs> stop! <laughs> she she, she takes it at the you take it at the end of your turn. Oh. Um. So, uh, uh Puck, it's it's Puck's turn. What does Puck do? Oh fuck! I forgot I'm Puck. Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> action, hug. action! I will use my last action to, um, like, um, Shim. Fortnite dance. Fortnite dance. <laughs> <laughs> like a Joker. Yeah. <laughs> or no, that's not Joker. That's uh, the Daniel Joker's Garcia dance. dance. I was AEW thinking Bully McGuire. Um, He's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Roy's going to uh, yeah. essentially try and give himself cover behind this. Okay, take cover behind the desk yeah. by doing an awkward little dance. Um, yeah. So puck. <laughs> What can Puck do? I, oh yeah, he can like manipulate objects. He's yeah. gonna throw a fucking cup at the at the at the lady. Uh, there's, like a, there's like a you know like a world's it's best the last bomb thing. on the desk. Oh, he's no. gonna throw the I fucking cup at her. That. It's got really hot coffee and does fire oh, damage. Oh my god, that hits. Oh, finally. Um, Bunk. Uh, she goes down. Oh. <laughs> Killed by Puck, her own cup. Puck, she's like on fire, screaming, trying to put it out. Puck throws a mug at her, then psst, falls down unconscious on the Wasted. ground. Wasted. Um, I was wasted. joking! I was joking! Um, <laughs> That's so funny! Puck is then going to use his action to fly up back into the vent and take cover. What a menace! Um, what a so, fucking menace! Uh, uh, can you move? Blew our cover. Kill this one with a cup and left. She's not dead yet. She's on fire! Um, well, she Tor, can you move back into, like, a, into like the wall? I'm not going to try to put her out. She can I know. perish. I Did the coffee put her out? Uh, roll a zero. Yes. <laughs> roll a zero. Roll, roll, roll a zero. Coffee put her down. <laughs> roll acrobatics. Uh, no, um, put the fire out. out. Uh, ac- acrobatics, but roll a zero. It's fist check, please. It was hot. Yeah. yeah, please, acrobatics. I need you to roll a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Does it help that that sounds like an ability? Yeah. I never realized how much his name sounds like an ability. And the Xerophis check is just a check to see if you kill a hobo or not. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get so restrained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's basically a will it's save. So restrained. <laughs> Alright, roll your damn acrobatic check. Yeah, no, it, it is so restrained, oh but it's also oh natural oh planning or natural. Oh, 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 oh no! Okay. I rolled you! You have a coin! I just rolled you! Uh, you have okay. a coin. Balling. You have a coin. No, I'll be fine. Uh-oh. It's thirty damage. Don't do it. Coin don't do it. Flipped it. Thirty. Don't don't it's don't coin it. Don't fall. coin it. That's okay. Don't coin it. No no no. I'll keep. I, I yeah. feel like I'm gonna need this coin. How many but, fucking runs on ones are rolling? You need it now. <laughs> no, this is thirty damage. Saving it every time for a a, a, a time when I you need it. I just got it back. As a reaction, you are technically <laughs> falling. You can you can grab an edge as a reaction. Do you want? Um. To do that? Is there an edge to grab? I will the... count the rope as an edge. Oh, okay, sure. Um, okay. He's like, <laughs> so grab an edge. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I guess we're going far. Um, it's fucking Marcus like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I need you, you thought to, we uh, were the. <laughs> well, yeah. I need you to roll a reflex Where are the goofy save. Ones? <clears throat> I'm sorry, Severin's looking back and he's like, I slept with Guys, this man. If this one, yeah, he's literally like, decisions. face planting into the ground. <laughs> he's just like, if this rolls another one. You're meant, to, you're meant to take 30 damage. Okay. okay. Alright. That's, that's 27. 27 will succeed. Okay. God. Um, so you grab the edge of the rope. Um, you still take damage from the distance fallen so far, but you take it as though it were 20 feet shorter. It's a rope um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say you make it to the bottom. So, uh, so you take 20 feet less, so that would be what? 40? Uh, 40, 40, 40, so you 20, 20, 20 points of damage. That's nothing, I'm fine. <laughs> you grab it. I have feeling really mad. mad, mad. <laughs> crunchy yeah. knees. Ow! Crunchy Ooh. knees. Yeah. No, no, crunchy no, Xerophis has crunchy knees. Oh. It's, Fuck, Xerophis and Damon both uh, have crunchy it's knees. It's in the character. Uh, <laughs> right, action have, to slide? Yes, you okay. still have two actions left. Um, fireball. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good. No. Don't start fire in here. Okay. There's, there's already fire. Then we have an explanation. 
Mysterious fire. Mysterious fire. I don't know. Spontaneous on combustion. That. Yeah, it was pretty spontaneous. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it exploded. The, yeah, the, the, the crystal exploded. exploded. It was, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, true. <laughs> true. We could just not, do some arson. I'm not wrong. That's funny. You're not. That's really funny. That isn't like. Oh that my god, that's, that that's actually a great cover. Long, I know, it as is. As long as all of these guards die. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Oh my God! This thing fucking exploded. They all died in the explosion. Well, except for this one with obvious bullet wounds. Uh, <laughs> no, th those are projectile no, no. Uh, crystal yeah, shards crystal that shards. sliced his neck. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah, shrapnel, obviously. Yeah. And this one blunt force trauma. Yeah. From I don't more know, shrapnel. Yeah, more shrapnel. Yeah. Just blunt. Sh <laughs> I mean, I no. It was from the explosion. Do you want me to cast the, the, the cup yes. flew and hit. hit no, we we need head. to have time in here. Whatever your heart desires. Yes. Make no? it a Xerophis check. What would a Xerophis do? Make it a Xerophis check. Make it a Xerophis check. A Xerophis check. A Xerophis sees a perfect opportunity. <laughs> a Xerophis check. It could just be blamed on the explosion. I haven't got to cast Fireball yet. A Xerophis check. Cast Fireball. Does it, does it catch the fire? All right. All right. A Xerophis slides down, and, he, and he's like, oh! <laughs> he looks up, Crunch. and fucking grenades are going off, and he's like, I guess we're blowing him up. And then uh, he takes his gun, and uh, 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 when he t his arcane <laughs> firearm, and uh, what I've been planning on when he casts Fireball, uh, the bottom part of it unlatches, and it almost becomes like a rifle. Oh, that's and he's like, <laughs> and he just fires, sure. uh, and uh, it, it blasts over, and then <laughs> explosion. Fireball. What is the radius? It's, it's twenty foot burst. Five hundred radius. No. Five hundred feet is the radius. Know, it's radius. Twenty foot burst. You can you can you can admit, you can do it in such a way that you wouldn't hit your friends. Five, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Just do it right there. Worth yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So all these guys. Um. I mean, uh, the 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 unconscious guard captain is immediately dead. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the, the other guys have to make reflex no, 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 no. Uh, Not that one. Immediately dead. Yeah. The gold one. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. Pieces. Haha. <laughs> um, failure. Puck, fucking puck knocked. Okay. Failure. Knocked her out. What's your DC? Um, Rest in fire. Um, um, sorry. At the top. Rest in fire. Oh, oh, wait, 19. 19. One of them did succeed. Okay. I think, I think success gets you nothing. Like, no, you, critical success. Oh, it's basic reflex. It's, it's, it's half. So half. Okay. That's what I'm pretty sure basic does. Okay. It is. Are you ready for damage? Yeah, please. Um, seven. 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 Seven damage. 66, just so. <laughs> Roll a seven. 20. 20? 20. Uh, yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> um, wow. you, yeah, you get down, and you're like, all right, I guess we're doing this, and pull out your rifle. It like passes right between Severin and Beerbot, mm. this like tiny yeah. little bullet of flame, mm -hmm. and it strikes the back wall. And this, it's like when you fire a, nu uh, a mini nuke. In <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and immediately, Ragnarok. Beerbot and Severin, you're both struck by the bodies as they like oh, keep burning by, as they hit you. You manage to like throw Hell them past yeah. you. It's like just. Slum onto the ground as as the the w w the ones that are still Ooh. alive wail in agony before they die. <laughs> um, I feel like those like, <laughs> but, um, but uh, the and then it, the place falls his whole silent. fucking arcane firearm is like smoking as he has to like like put it back together. I feel like, like that's a situation where like everything that we've done so far has been kind of like. For lack of a better term, like small arms conflict. Uh oh. That is probably the first time that something that he that Beerbot would have like seen only in the war oh, has yeah. happened directly in hey, front of him. Hey man, you're right next to me. Yeah, I know. The two of us are right <laughs> next to each other. Oops. It's that fucking like World War Two, like the yeah, yeah, that face. Yeah. <laughs> Except for just like it's all over. <laughs> Um, I think it's more of just like, right. uh, is the Warforge gonna? The the magical fire slowly snuffs out. All of these guards are just fucking immolated. Book um, it! Wait, 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 wait. What? Magic traps. I also, I'll, assume, I'll we're not, I also assume we're probably not like fully out of initiative yet. <laughs> based off of Jack. Um, no, you are. We are out of Can I investigate this for like middle magical trap things? Um, sure. Is there a way to disable Roll it from the uh, security office? Hmm? Is there something to, in the security office that would disable them? No. No? Yeah. Lame. Natural was it another one? So that's a 10. If, but it's a crit failure, yeah. so Maybe I don't know I if that you can crit um, Jacob, I'll roll it for the rest that's of the okay. game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no check. problem. Wow, this is a cool dice. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this. Thanks. It's not a cool dice, it's a stupid fucking dice. I was going to say, I, mean, it uh, well, I showed it to sweet. Jordan. Jordan said that that was like the ugliest dice he's ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it, do, it does. does identify magic <laughs> it does. Spell. It okay. does feel like thirteen-year-old Edward. But is a, um, uh, 
That is a uh, that is a fireball. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I'm like touche. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Guys, the thing I just did. It's yeah. Right there. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to disable it. Uh, Why um, don't you know what? We? Actually, before I say that we're out of Wait, initiative, maybe. I need to roll one quick check. Oh, no. Okay. There are still two guards outside. Really the hell? They didn't hear anything. Did they hear the explosion? Well, I'm about to find out if they didn't hear They're anything. outside smooching. They were outside and they they heard smooching? <laughs> yeah. Oh, were they having gay goblin sex? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, no. Gay goblin sex. They were just smooching. Yeah, they're still on the job. <laughs> That's true. As soon as they're off the clock, though. They you guys talk. hear from the other side of those doors, you hear like a bum, bum, bum. Hey, what's going on in there? Is everything all right? <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I love, I love sticks yep. so much. <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I roll deception? <laughs> On a single word. Yep. Yep. The deception bonus is mighty high. It is. My deception this, is very this good. This DC is pretty high. <laughs> my deception is really high. high. <laughs> uh, for, by the way, they heard, from their perspective, they heard, <laughs> and then, hang on. <laughs> there were two explosions. <laughs> no, look, multiple. There was. Then. <laughs> Is that you, Fildro? <laughs> yep. What happened in there? That damn crystal exploded. Again? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again. The guys are coming already. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll let them in when they do. Hey, uh, you need us to come in there? Is anyone wounded? No, sir. Uh, all right. Uh, how long do you think it'll take those guys to show up this time? Uh, well, I mean, last time it took them about, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes. All right. Oh. Well, I bet, it's, <laughs> I bet it's 30 this time. Bet you two gold. Uh, all right, I'll take that bet, you sucker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you sucker? Uh, what do you call them? What are you, what are you doing right now, sir? <laughs> I'm, picking the, I'm picking the thing. Okay. I'm doing a little side of hand to get rid of the rune. And I was, I was playing, I was doing that while that was happening. The, guy, um, the guy's like, I'll I take assist? that, but... Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll a disable device check. I eat all of it, I go... <laughs> <laughs> disable device I'm sure you can help him. I do want to remind you guys, you don't know what you're looking for right now. Nope. So you're just picking this lock That's for no reason. That's fucking right. No, no, I'm the, uh, I want to disable the rune. Oh, okay. Yeah, disable the rune. Go ahead and roll a disable uh, device check. I forgot my records, yeah. There's a check. It's a paper check. There's an office. Yeah. Manager's office. We I, go, I know. We There's also there. a records room. We can split up, guy. Yeah, you you and I should go there so we can get away from the fireball guy. 33. <laughs> oh, my go. God. Find the runes. Is that a rule match? Natural, oh, the, I used the other dice and rolled a 20. Right. Yep, there you go. You it's scratch telling out you. the last of the runes. The fireball rune is diffused. Yippee. Guys, I think I diffused it. I hope you ended the records Explodes. room. Explodes. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Um, I still feel... Anxious about opening this door. We need to find out what's in there, like our stuff. So, so records. So, we, so open the door. So open the records room for me. I'll oh, got it. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is to open. I'm no, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Roll, well, um, let me roll something it. for you really quick. Okay. Well, kick it. you can go ahead and uh, uh, <laughs> attempt a lock pick check. <laughs> okay. Kick it. On it. Hey! Oh, oh my God! So the question is: Is the manager twenty nine? Twenty nine. Okay. The manager home. You um, you pick He's the lock also kissing and something. um, open it. And when you Money. when you do, yeah, it swings open. You push it open. When you do, you hear this <laughs> as an alarm spell goes off. Uh oh! And, is um, it a spell? Yeah. Shit! It's an alarm spell. As um, you hear from outside. Hey, hey, Phil, draw an alarm just went off. Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> The door we're coming in. No, uh, the door is open, dead. and there are two the two guards that were outside, are standing yeah. there, and they see the burnt fucking corpses of their comrades, <laughs> and they yeah. Yeah. draw their weapons, and we're making this. Yeah. Yeah. When I we're, 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 you two, are, you three are over by the records door over there. Um, those two guys are in here now. Um, I don't know where Beerbot and I, I know that Stick and Azarius are over there. I guess we're here. Severin, where did you go? Uh, he would have rolled. Roy, where did stealth. you go? Royce, I mean, stealth around the corner. I'm probably. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Um, where you were, were? You were yelling from over there. I don't know. Run should maybe. I guess yeah. My yeah. bad. Um, Might be. You're, you're, you're I was you planning on being with you since you were doing yeah, funny voices and uh -huh. so, but. Since you're over there, I don't know, but... 
He can throw his voice or something. I Fine, I'm, I'll, I'll join Stick and. Okay. I don't know. I just like the idea. Rudd is just standing. Guys, there. this is going. So really Beerbot, well. are you just standing there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Stick. Oh, no, Beerbot. Guys, Beerbot has not wait, moved for sure. Those guys come in <clears throat> and they see all the burnt corpses and they look up at you and they're like, "What the fuck? Get, get him!" <laughs> 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 they are. They're gonna charge you. I mean, we're, we're back in initiative, folks. Uh, you don't need to roll yeah, again. Yeah. We're just okay. gonna use the same old, um, uh, no! same old ones. I was <laughs> when. But I rolled higher now. I walked away from the stick. blood rope. Too bad. Um, it Sorry, melts. It, oh, it's no, gone. It's I, all the floor. I had rolled. Well, and then, it, then it, it was like, oh, "Sorry." It, quote, quote, very quickly evaporates. Oh. Um, so, like no trace. <laughs> Rena, it's your turn. Rain and blood. Rain. You, you, it got, is you guys do your yeah. things. I got the. I got these two. Move me towards uh, beer bot, so Five, so I so, so I can, can see, see. If, if, if if I can see down the hallway. It is kind of like. Like, do you want to be revealed to them? Yeah, or is that what I'm you're... popping out. Come. Um, She's yeah, coming out. Unfortunately, your movement gets you here. So here. Yeah, if I can see that. Yeah, like you can that. see past beer bot. And okay. See those two guys. I'm going to um, flip my wand and try and teleconnect projectile the the, right. the, the mug that took out the. <laughs> it's still the fucking breath. It's like broken next to her burnt ass body. Yeah, yep. sure. All right. So it's an attack roll, right? It is attack roll. I just closed out of these guys' stat blocks. I think I may, maybe was a little too hasty. I'm going right. to flip my not cap my coin. God. You're my not bad. Cap. <laughs> hey, we just had an alarm bell go off. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming in. Uh, work the first toast. Yeah, I, I rolled the same thing. Uh, 13. 13, unfortunately, will miss. Yeah. Um, as, as the mug was flying, they're like, now you can look at us and go, and my bad. Get, like, get out of the way. Um, anything else on your turn? No. Okay. Uh, stick, oh, it's your turn. By the way, where's Puck? <laughs> Puck is still in the vent. Okay, <laughs> just, you can just hang Actually, out there. Actually, Puck's probably with, under the cover with Roy right now, just like staring at Roy. Or he could have come out with me. Sure, why not? Focus with you. Focus with you. Focus with uh, me. Stick, it is your turn. Um, can you count out how far, like, right here is? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Are you also going to count? Enemy dead. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Uh oh. Charred corpses. Yeah. That's, that's my thing. Okay, mm. yeah. Like as, uh, as a zombie rises, and they're like, oh my god, one of them's still alive. Oh, oh, <laughs> Corrin! <laughs> um, let me pull up zombie steps, and you can get back to me. You go Sick. there. Six um, beer bot. Beer bot. Wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you sudden charging again? Or? No, swipe. Okay. This is a horror movie for these both. two guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to flip my coin to get advantage on the one. first one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, these poor fuckers. Which would be a 28. Yeah. 28 hits. And then the second one, uh, 22. 22 also hits. It is just zoo. Boom. Boom. Just big, big old wide swings. Where's the D8? There it is. And then it's swipe. Who's, who's so I roll attack here? for each separately. But then the, the damage applies to each. I'm going to get EP on on oh, Yes, it is the communal nap room. Yeah. It's, it's a mannequin tucked in. Sometimes you kind of snuggle, you know, with your fellow guards. Oh, it says yep. to. 20 Those slashing. Guys, okay, oh, sorry, bludgeoning. 20 bludgeoning. Sorry, I don't know right. why, but it decided that my strike you, was uh, you slashing. You strike them the, uh, extra hard. They, oh, they are both bloodied Ooh. immediately. Ooh. Um, nice. It is their turn, though. Um, mm -hmm. They... Think better of this whole incident, and oh. they are gonna fucking book it. Um, not good, not so good, not good. Not step good. away from you, Beerbot. Okay. To, uh, so it's not. Well, actually, no. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be careful about this. They're trying to get the fuck out of here. I don't know if you have opportunity attacks or not. I don't. They don't care. They are all just gonna use their speed to get the heck out of the building. Okay. Speed I do have. Yes. I do have no escape. Trigger is a foe attempting to move away from me. <laughs> I can use my no speed escape. to follow them. Oh! And I will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's just 25 feet, but... 30. I have 30 oh, feet. Oh, sheesh. Okay. I mean, they're going to move 25... They're going to move a full 75 feet to get out of here. Oh, yeah. They have to go around. 25, yeah. 5, 10, um, They'll go on diagonals, 15. too. I know, I know. It's just the diagonals are... Sure. Sorry. What so do you... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, uh, 10, 15, uh, uh... 20, 
And then they can move left or right or yeah. Yeah, they can't. They can't. So open they the can both. So um, that one can get beside could, him. Yeah, basically. My right zombie him. have attacked that guy before. Okay, sure. Yeah. That's fine. And then uh, you can five, move ten, me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It's just two. Or if you're it's just barrels to the, the, the test. Get I don't a, think you get can get the natural no. one. So yeah, that guy's cool. that that guy <laughs> Yeah, it keeps it in reach throughout so. its movement until it stops moving or until I've moved my full speed, Six. which is So you 30. can. Never mind. Sorry, full speed. Which is fine. I'm gonna. Thinking... I'm going to go deal with them. For you, sure. you guys do your thing. I got okay. these. Two. Severin, it's your turn. I do want to remind you that door is open, and all that's blocking you and the front door is some panels of glass. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> you got line of sight. <laughs> yeah. Can you move me in line of sight? Just shoot through the, the glass. Yeah. You can um, shoot through my zombie, too. It feels no pain. Oh, <laughs> gosh, buddy. Oh, 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 uh, well, then move me over one more. Strangely creepy. I, I, it's more of like... What's the range on your pistol? 60. Oh, okay. Yeah, is that enough? I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't 50, know, 50, 55. It's enough for this guy. Oh, no. Move me one more corner. Just in case. Uh, <laughs> now you're in range. Yeah, for yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, roll high, please. Uh, 24? 24 hits. Sorry. But no, I, right. I goofed, I goofed. You have to be here. Okay. But you have to move it. That's fine. Uh, yeah. <coughs> wow, roll low. Uh, five damage. Okay. I'm um, still up. And then he'll reload and shoot again. <coughs> Just gonna be at a. Bra! Uh, bra! You shooting the same one or a different one? The same one. Okay, got it. Uh, 25 to hit. Both hit it. Yeah, or that one hits. Yeah. Oh my crits. Uh, eight That's such a cool right. deal. You use your reaction. To the run. the guard is down. The guard by the door, I imagine, oh. is the one yeah. you're shooting. Yes. So yeah, boom, boom. Fires off two shots. Oh, oh that's so ground. cool. Um, the visual yeah. in my head is so cool of this situation. <laughs> they like uh, run and beer bots running after them, and this guy like gets to the door and he, <laughs> he just yeah. hits the ground. Oh. Roy, it's your turn. I, I'm two gonna see that, that you see him like getting to the door and like, oh, he's going to escape and then he gets hit yeah. by them and then the camera flips around and looks yeah, down yeah. and then you see Seth from way down the hall. So cool. Yeah. There's no way, no witnesses. Legitimately, you guys can go back to trying to get your yeah. info. I can deal with this last one. Okay. Bro, I'm not moving this far. Um, Roy's going to... That's can what I'm saying. He's saying do your thing. I know. I'm, I'm saying okay. you guys get your I information. I was never my intention. Oh, All right. Okay. What's, what's up, Roy? Uh, I'm just going to make an investigation roll to see what's around me. Sure. Um, uh, investigation is not a skill. Uh, I, I think that would technically 15, be... 20, 25, 30. Yeah, it'd be a perception check, technically. Oh, how good it feels to have fleet. That extra five feet of movement is nice. legitimate. Uh, mm-hmm. Great. Natural 20, so 29. Sweet. Woo! Sheesh. Um, you would... Probably find uh, everything. Yeah, you, 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 congratulations! You found the meaning of life. Um, it's money. So <laughs> under, under the so desk, Roy is like, yeah. I would say in the desk drawer, you do find about thirty gold pieces. Oh, okay. Um, oh. As you're kind of rifling through here, um, you should have split that with the party. Money. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Additionally, so we call you find the meaning of life. No. Oh my god, it's that. in there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like Pulp Fiction. I can't just believe like, it's just right there. Uh-huh. It's, yeah. It's, it's it's labeled for desk. Oh, there's what? your mouse, Jack. Oh, it was there? Yeah. All along. It was, it was hanging out. It was out always there. there. <laughs> you just got lost. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, where's my mouse? Um, You find uh, what appears to be a <laughs> flask in the, in the security officer's... Uh, uh, the security officer's desk. You uh, pop it open real quick and, and give it a smell. It smells, it's got like a malty kind of smell. It smells like beer. You can tell there's like a tinge of some alchemical component in it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, is a, this is a lesser Bravo's brew. Um, if you drink it for the next hour, uh, you get an item bonus to will saves. So for this lesser one, you can drink plus, you get, uh, you get plus one for will saves or plus two against fear. Hmm. Lesser Bravo? Bravo's brew, yes. And, um, Tell me the benefit one more time. Um, if you drink the elixir for the next <coughs> hour, um, you uh, gain a bonus to will saves, and the, your will save is also greater against fears effects specifically. So you get plus one to will saves and plus two against fear. Okay. Cool. Anything else? Um. 
We are. Tr- uh, where, what room are we trying to get to? The records room where uh, Stick and I've Sarah opened it. are right now. Yeah. And there's an alarm going off. I mean, the alarm only goes off for so long. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> it's still, it's still going. I don't know. Let me it's check. It's only been six seconds, if that. That is true. It's just going really I think slow that's motion. A railing. Pop it. Yeah. Pop. What do you, what do you mean a railing? That's a railing. Oh, mm. fuck it. Pop it. Uh, well then, I guess I'll probably be. It can't be that. There you go. Can't be that far. <laughs> Seven and stick, roll Arcana for me real quick. Oh. Actually, I'll roll it passively for you guys, because this is a passive check. Um, stick. Yes. You're familiar with alarm spells. Yes. Regardless of whether it, it can be an auditory or a mental alert to whoever casts it, regardless of it, whoever the caster it of the spell will know that the alarm was triggered. Yeah. So, we just got- another, another, uh, uh, what is it? Another, uh, complication added to the pile. Right. So. My bad. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Uh, Roy, that's my favorite stick quote. No, that's all my actions. Right, uh, puck. Um, I don't know. Stick puck, puck terrorism. Puck my bad. It. Uh, puck puck's just going to hang stick out. Stick with me. Yeah. Uh, Zarephus. Yeah. Open the door. Puck could, go yeah. in, puck could go into my arm. Puck could Find go the most recent arm, files from today. Okay, that alarm is going off, right? And it's um, a magic one. Yes. Well, How nothing I can do against that. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so magic lights flick on as you <coughs> enter the records and counting room. Eight polished mahogany desks sit in the room and shelves brimming with ledgers and scrolls that catalog the financial his- uh, that catalog the financial history of clients. A combination safe rests against the wall. Okay. Find um, the files from I, today. Uh, you think it's in that safe? No, I think it's probably in here somewhere. On the desks? On the desks. Okay. Uh, can I search these four desks with all three of my actions? Um, or I guess I have to move there, so two yeah. of my actions. Um, so action per desk? Uh, I'll just roll perception checks for you. That's fine. Um, you you have found got enough on the first one. The first uh, the Ooh. first you do find, uh, or you you actually look where the you find the year and where like the most recent records are, and you don't see one for this particular year. However, you do see a note in the place where it used to be. It says. Records and counting room staff. Due to suspicion regarding recent transactions, records of this year's deposits and withdrawals are currently under review by manager de Kunderak. Unless it is urgent, please do not request access to these records until the manager has finished his review. Can Assistant manager office. Megan Tavodny de Kunderak, 211-998-YK. In the office. In the manager's office. Uh-huh. Okay. Got it. It's all right. That kind of went over my head a little bit. <laughs> Other office. All right. Uh, that was an action? Yeah. Other office, he says. Alrighty. 15, uh, 20, 20, well, 25, yeah. I have to end my movement to use my next action, right? Yeah. Yeah, then that's it. Run right If TL Dipar's uh, blue hair is under suspicion for stealing. I get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or somebody. That's likely what it is. Uh, Let's be honest. What do I want to do? It's all of them. You guys seem to have that going on just mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm done. I can go there. What happened to the system in this Puck! Kick it. No, it's in her, her arm, isn't it? Um. <laughs> it yeah. is tiny, too, but. <laughs> Um, put me in front of the manager's office, mm. since right, it looks like we're going there. 20. Okay, cool. I can get there with one thing. Is there a lock? What the fuck? Hi, Logan. Logan? Oh, hi, Logan. Yeah, yeah he's in the chat. What's You're in the chat. Oh, my God. Hello. <laughs> it's been a moment. God, fucking big booty Aaron Yeager is just staring at me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's doing the he just, bumbling. The thick bumbling, he, he, yeah. He just put, Jack, you're doing a good job. Oh, hey, also, thanks. I'm still an admin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? what you Stay admin. Jack is doing um, a great fucking thanks, job. Thanks, I appreciate by the way. it. Glad you're all happy. I do yeah. not have a thieves' tools, uh, but you I can. In theory, though? I am trained in theory. You can have thieves' tools. Oh. Okay, I'll let you have thieves' tools. Um, oh, I had to work for those thieves' tools. <laughs> we're, I'm we're trying try to find um, the warding, the ward on this one. Okay, I already rolled for you. You don't find anything. Uh, oh, okay, oh. then I will oh, try no. to unlock the door. Understood. It jolts her. <laughs> Uh, Go ahead and roll a theory check. 
if you hold your hand out, it is kind of like, just... Uh, 19. 19. That is enough to pick the lock, and as you do and open it, another alarm. <laughs> That's a... Oh, God, God damn, it. damn it. What did I, what did I get? Just I mean, at this question. point, perception? Like, oh, no. Who, who, was, who really uh, cares? Was low. Yeah, was, some uh, Madonnies is better. like, I'm They're trying. already on their way. <laughs> the the Madonnies are like, uh, looking at each other like, 14. your alarm too? <laughs> yeah, my alarm too. What about <laughs> yours? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... Uh, I think they're being robbed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is a mechanical issue anymore. <laughs> my bad. Uh, no. my bad. <laughs> I'll just step to the side and kind of just gesture for, for someone sure, to. Sure. Uh, you're like, <laughs> mystery solved. Uh, okay. um, you beer solved or no, the not door beer puzzle. The door puzzle. You have failed to solve any of my puzzles. We did. We Jenny? solved it by murder. Yeah, that's a there that's a solution. Brute really force is always an option. Telegram? Uh, yes. <coughs> I'm gonna okay. No, I, keep I'm, the gloves on. I'm gonna do something different. There are three notes on the desk. <gasps> oh. Uh, do you pick the one on the right, the one on the left, or the one under the champagne bottle? Oh, oh I should probably read you the description of the room first, though. I don't know. I got a You've little intrigued me already. So, um, the manager's office is a refined space adorned with a large oak desk, uh, neatly organized with scrolls and documents. An empty champagne bottle sits on the desk. The walls are adorned Ooh. with dwarven tapestries and a plush rug covers the floor Ooh. with a comfy looking chair sitting behind the desk. The desk, the desk, the desk. The, desk. the, the, desk. the one under the champagne bottle. Cause... Sweet. Of course. So, uh, Why what not? you find yeah, appears to be um, an unfinished, or uh, not unfinished, but just unsent letter written by who you assume to be the manager to his sister. Oh. It says, Dear sister, in case you have forgotten, uh, uh, Defana, this is your brother Doran. You know that you know that little tyke that always went with you to every celebration and promotion ceremony in oh. honor as you in your honor as you rose through the ranks of the house. And yet as soon as I am promoted to manager at our Redstones Enclave, you are nowhere to be seen. Oh. Sending a bottle of champagne, thinking that will excuse your absence. I understand that you're busy, but to think you'd rather spend time with that blowhard Hassier Tain rather than spend a few minutes at your brother's promotion party is truly hurtful. <laughs> Our mother would turn over in her grave at this lack of respect for family. The next time I see you, you had better have an apology prepared. Your brother, Doran. I love that you're just <laughs> here for the family drama. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. He drank an Yikes. entire bottle of champagne okay. and is angrily Yikes. writing. Yeah. Beer box. <laughs> Beer box. Well, uh, so I did the math. I can get oh, to that guy spicy. with 30 feet of movement. Sick. So. Uh, Two go. actions to get there, or is that a sudden charge? No, just one action. Oh, that's right. Because you have a 30 foot movement speed. How are you? 5, 10, 15. He jumps, that's why. 20, 25. 30! Get him. Sorry. I was doing that. I don't know how to count. Uh, 22 hit. and minus 5. 19. Miss. Oh, the 22 no. hit. That's, that's, that's yes. Please kill him. They will escape. 12 plus 5. 17 damage. Um, as you run up, uh, as you run up, um, <laughs> and you, you're getting ready to bring the hammer down. The guy trips and like falls over his comrade's br uh, body, and he looks back. He says, "No, no, wait! I have a family." Oh. <laughs> as the blood just splatters all over your face. Yeah. You know that? Have you seen Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> you know the scene where it's uh, Greedling, and he's like after that fight, and he's like down in his yeah that yeah. We are out of initiative. <laughs> Guys. Crazy gossip. Evil, 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 evil. Dude, right. you killed like four people using fireball. Yeah, he'll read the other notes too. I, they I didn't even see this. They all, they all had nope. families too. So. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, yeah, <coughs> Dude, Severin's just like I have a family too. Like, just think about turns it. around. This you is know? why you shouldn't have a family. <laughs> That's true. No, <laughs> no, no. Ouch. Now we're giving someone ounce oh, of redemption. We're giving they, someone they're a backstory. Gonna try <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. If I didn't already have a backup character. <laughs> Bad guy's kid. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Daddy never beat him. Ne ne next dinner. campaign. That's yeah. why I sent a Zarephus towards dad. Yeah. Uh, no. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I want to read. I don't normally, I'm not out here trying to read chat, but there's mm -hmm. two funny things in here, which oh, is sick. Uh, fucking Albert. But that one guy who asks, Where's Logan all the time must be losing their mind. <laughs> which I thought was funny. <laughs> also, I'm going to take the opportunity to very quickly shout out uh, Riley McDonald, who donated 50 bucks yeah, like, a little while ago. Wow. And said, Just stopping in to say thank you and to have fun with the stream. Mm -hmm. Part of the VOD squad usually, but finally caught up on Spelljammer. Excited to see Descent live in its world. Glory. Thank you, Riley. Right. Appreciate you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm not right. in it. I just hope you enjoy it. It's right. <laughs> Stick Gibbs. I, you're probably going to look Stick at Gibbs, run out the gossipy note, For and sure. then reads the other two. Okay, the other two. Um, the first one, uh, this is a, a note. Uh, you find, actually, on his desk, the, 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 the folder for this year's uh, transactions. 
And um, there's a note um, uh, in one of the pages that you find. It says, note to self, a history of suspicious transactions have taken place over the last month. I've dismissed the teller responsible as they have a history of write-ups about this sort of behavior. <laughs> Safe deposit box G13, passphrase Lorelei, rented out in the name of Eldrin Galt, has been receiving deposits of 500 gold every zoll, only for another party to come and withdraw the same amount the following day. All assets in G13 have been transferred to the Tri-Vault deposit box B2, passphrase Chimera until Eldrin Galt personally comes to down here and explains this situation. Huh. You guys would know that Those the Tri Vault is the vault, uh, the main vault beneath the bank. Those are both Destiny references, aren't they? Hmm? Those are both Destiny references, what aren't are you they? About? <laughs> <laughs> Eldrin Galt and the Tri Vault? You <laughs> no, I made passwords. up those names. Oh, the passwords? Yeah, well, um, isn't that from Destiny? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh. It, was just a, it was just a subconscious. No, there's a different reason it's Lorelei, but I'm not going to no. get into that anymore. Oh, no. Chimera was actually a reference to you. I know. <laughs> 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 um, you did it. You so, solved it. Yeah. You solved and the then, um, <laughs> You were the puzzle. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Don't say anyone, like that. Uh, if anyone looks through, we they see Beerbot just Jack's grabbing the bodies puzzle? and dragging them back <laughs> to the... Pocket. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Close the door. Um, oh, is that door open? Well, first uh, no, no, the door was never open. Oh, okay. The door was never open. Um, the other note that you find, Stick, um, there's a, it looks like it was, uh, this, like, this has been specially printed out, this note, but there's, like, an annotation on the side that's uh -huh. written in the, uh, the manager's handwriting, and it says, note to self, follow up with Defana about this terribly strange security measure. Who thought of this? Um, and then in the printed, uh, letters below, it says, um, uh, or, um, and then at the top it says, uh, to access the Tri-Vault, oh yeah, here we go, it says, Hark, child of Kundarak, to, to access the Tri-Vault, remember our history. On monstrous wings we became lords of the silver skies and took the iron roots as our home. Through toil and trade we became the golden heart of the holds, laying the foundation of wealth, security, and siblinghood for the thirteen clans. When called to serve, we were guardians of the Bronze Gate, protecting the kingdom below from the exiles above until the days of Baldulor. Children of Kundarak the Stonemason, our calling is to provide, to profit, and to prosper. Let our wards be our bond. One ring to A little bit. Stick I'm reads that. I'm going to this, and um, I don't have access to my messenger, actually, so I'll do it on my phone. Instead. Stick reads hey. that and goes, oh, I'm not smart enough for this. Here you go. Maybe I am. No, not you. I don't know what this means. <laughs> you tried to eat it. <laughs> hey, I actually have a good intelligence. Yeah. Does anyone know the address for this person? Let me see. Are you gonna send hate mail? Is it um? Is it Defana? Mm, uh, the sister. Yeah. Um, do I? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I go. No. <laughs> so, oh. so, what's your lore, Dragon Mark tells us? Uh, Plus Really? Have we heard the name Defana before? No, never. You don't know who that is. Thank God. Is. I was like, stop doing this to me. Oh well. Appears to be this guy's older sister. Yeah. So yeah. assumingly also part of House Kundarak. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna copy and paste that um, that thing, that monologue I just gave, and uh, yeah. put it into the, that was into really the cool. chat. Yeah. You. I swear it means something. Oh, um, I'm glad to hear. As soon as it hark, I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, it's these kinds of oh, people. Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, um, under the desk, you guys also see um, uh, there's like a uh, a little safe built into the floor. Oh. You gonna try and open it? Why not? Are you oh. just gonna try and open it? Three alarms. <laughs> Two hands. Yeah. I'll see if there's a, a, a ward on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're stuck. I'll see if there's uh, a ward. There is a rune <laughs> present on this <laughs> particular device. Hell? Uh, Rune of Fireball? Uh, no. It is not a Rune of Fireball. Um, rune of Hard Word Kill. No. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Rune of Taser. <laughs> you just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just try <laughs> die. Puck takes um, the body over. Yeah. Puck takes the body over? <laughs> Why not? What? Just Where a little slither. Trap. No words. Fine. Everything's good. Yeah, yeah everything's totally fine. Most definitely. Um, it's a <coughs> alarm of paranoia. God, it's. Oh. <laughs> think everything's a trap. In, 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 in the, 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 the room. room. Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> do you still have zombie friend? Yes. All right. 
outside of Zombie Friend, uh, Beerbot is actively gathering the bodies and uh, throwing them down the sewer unless someone stops. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck! That's crazy. That's really cool. Look, I'm back to like a partially right. burned thing. I'm like, where the fuck did everyone go? Uh oh. <laughs> um, Maybe we should keep the bodies that burned. <laughs> you know. Unless someone stops them. Nope. Why are you doing that? He kind of looks down. They're dead anyways. I understand that. No witnesses. <laughs> They're dead. No witnesses. He's learning! <laughs> I'll drop all of them. <laughs> just a pile oh, of no money. need. I, you don't need to stop. I am just interested in, in um, customs outside of Karnath. I don't. That's not true. <laughs> oh, you guys don't dispose your bodies? That's gross. Yeah. They reuse They're them. They're more useful outside of a grave. They reuse oh, them. Oh, then that's <laughs> badass. <laughs> that is quite I, the thing. I think it's very. Reduce, reuse, recycle the whole. Odd. <laughs> To bury your dead. Uh, Why do they care? I think I it's. I, I think it's supposed to be. It's less for the people who went, who were in those bodies, and more for the people outside. Odd. Um, Rena, could you roll a um, thievery check for me for this uh, for the safe? Thievery, thievery. This is to disable thievery. the room. Yeah, just called thievery. Roll a thievery. What was the word? What is that? Word oh. It's um. You know, it's there is a trap. It <laughs> yeah. is a, I would just like some type of. I wouldn't mistake this for Ooh. carrying. Oh. It's just another pile in the sewer. Uh, plus my so yep. twenty eight. Uh, yeah, you managed to scratch out the uh, the rune <coughs> without uh, allowing any electricity to flow into you. Oh, it was uh, it was a rune of taser. So, uh, <laughs> it was a taser. There, uh, the, the 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 vault is locked or the safe <laughs> is locked though. So if you want to go try that one, attempt another thief. Okay. Oh, I will. All right, sounds good. Uh, 25. Sick. Um, inside, you find what appears to be um, a uh, badge that is in the shape of, uh, of a manticore uh, mm. against, like, a shield. This is the symbol of House Kundrak, and it says mm. manager on the bottom. Oh, oh cute. This is a manager's badge. Uh, I forgot to mention, there is one note that is still on the desk. It's on a silly building. Mm. This is a note not from, not written by the manager, but written by the assistant manager to the manager. It says, um, Manager to Kudrak, <coughs> I locked the tri vault keys in a safe deposit box like you asked. If you want access to the vault keys today, you'll, um, or if you want access to the vault keys today, you'll solve this numerical sequence for the combination. I know you said you didn't want to do this anymore, but can't you do just one more for old time's sake? It'll keep your mind sharp. Good luck. Aww. Assistant Manager Megan Tavodni to Kundrak. <laughs> um, attached to the note Rest in peace. is this. Oh, no. Oh, puzzle. you made a puzzle? Oh, my oh, God. God. No. Oh, I'll give it to you since you're the one who. Oh my god. All right, let's see. Can I show done. it to the chat real quick? Oh. Yep. Don't give us the answers, please. We'll uh, figure here. it out. Emma, can you see that? Thank you. The, the numbers are very faint, so apologies. There's uh, numbers in the corner of each one. Yeah, yeah, have her. Like, away here. Her. It's, it's, a, it's pentagons with numbers, and there's some missing numbers. Puzzle. Very puzzle. cool. It's Very puzzle. cool. <laughs> this is all extremely cool, by yes. the way. Thank you. I haven't been able to say it because I've been so engrossed. Gross. Been so just involved. Um, what, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Should Maybe I try there's, it? There's a safe on the other side in the right. I was gonna room. say. Um, okay, hang on. What do we know about? What do we know about this? Um, you know that you have disabled whatever magical device or whatever magical rune has been laid upon it. Okay. Other than that, you know that it leads down to the tri vault. Okay. And opening the tri vault requires the that code. No, opening the the, the box, box with the, the keys key requires. To the vault. Okay, that so then I, I will try to open this safe, but then I think I'm just gonna go down there because that's our next. That's the next. I mean, where are all what's the um, us? where are all the little uh, safe deposit boxes? They are all along the back wall of that main vault. How long has it been? Like here. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? Um, I'd say at this point, it's been about three minutes. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. 
Like, like all of all of that that first top. round happened super quick. That yeah. all happened in six seconds. Yeah, yeah. All those people died in six seconds. Yeah. And then Beerbot <laughs> chased those guys down in like like about six as well. Yeah. So Okay, then um that safe I wanna try to crack open. The one in the records room? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um the go ahead and the other room, sorry. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and make a thievery check for me. Uh twenty. Dirty twenty. Um I'm sorry, I looked up the wrong lock. There's so many things called lock in uh, in this thing. <laughs> uh, there's like a lock spell, but there's also the lock item Got it. Um, that I need to, that oh, I need to find. Oh, Pathfinder. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, you said 20? Mm-hmm. Um, that is a success. Yay. You need to roll another one for me, though. Okay. This lock is a little more complicated. This is a really complicated lock, guys. You can do it. Uh, 16. 16 does not succeed. Oh, shit. Um, you break your but break. nothing, no, 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 that hasn't happened. You just failed out of luck. Right, wasted time. <laughs> I'm going here. Tink. And then You're the entire ahead. game freezes for a split second. What was he as trying it resets. to unlock? The, there's a there's a safe in the records room. You didn't know if you were gonna. Um, Roy's gonna use uh, his um, ooze pick. Nice. So you get a plus two. The vaults. I just don't want to go down there. Just to see. Uh, thievery. We really fall down. There. So Thirteen. <laughs> Uh, I will. I will say these three all go together. These three all go together. These three all okay. go together. Thirty-one. So it's an end lines. Um, Thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is a that is a second success. Still need another one. This is the. Uh, What's the puzzle, by the way? What is it? That's part of what I'm trying to figure out too. It's some sort of it's like a number pa number pattern. I'm assuming. Okay. Well then, let me know once you figure it out. Twenty-six. Uh, that is a third success, and you successfully unlock the safe. Inside is 400 gold pieces. Oh my god, nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that equals 20? That vault door. All those added together are 20. All these added together is 25. Uh, Roy will come and join uh, Azarephus at the vault door. Okay. 10... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's what I just We're just waiting for the keys, correct? Um, I mean, you guys can walk into that's the That's what chamber. I said. I wanted to do that. be 20. Oh, wait, hold on. Who has the other ooze pick? I think Stick does. All right. Okay. Um, we're down in the, the mm -hmm. vault here. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, you can get rid of those guys. I can't reach that. Um, so you guys Maybe come down the stairs and you're in this room with all of these for the code. All of these different vaults. At the very at the other end is a uh, a door that is uh, got the seal of House Kundarak on it. Okay. Um, these just look like the Roy. You assume that these are the storage vaults that Vicori was telling you about. Okay. The tri vault lies beyond this, according to the um, the floor plans. Okay. And there's is there like a door? There is a door on the other side of the room that leads into the area of the tri vault. Okay. Is, right. Is but, there? A so we can see this. Yes. So what are these? Those are uh, those are the storage vaults that uh, Roy was told about. Those are like permanent storage oh, vaults that um, vaults. that are are just there and uh, hanging on to storage for the, uh, the clients of House Kundrak. Got it. Is there um, something like tell us roll for hints? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, like an, Yeah, um, if you wanna uh, roll and tell, uh, just um, what would this be? Mm -hmm. Um, like a. Tell Knowledge puzzles, <laughs> lore puzzles. Um, I don't know, just like in <laughs> intelligence plus your trained bonus. So I think that would be plus. Trained is plus two, right? Yeah. Seventeen. Okay. Um, looking at the sequence, it looks like um, uh, you you. You're, you're not meant to focus on the, the total of all the numbers in. Mm -hmm. It looks like the numbers in uh, corresponding corners go together somehow. So, like, okay. the corners? All of them? Oh. I'm sure. Can I try to get into these? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, that is going to require some thievery checks. You 
Oh, checks. roll now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, 15. 15 is a failure. The well, game, the game I'll try this one. Dirty 20. Uh, you feel you're making headway. Roll again. Okay, okay. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I have to roll so low to fail. Fucking. I have to roll so low. 17. Uh, that is a fail. Man, these are really hard locks to pick. <laughs> you know, open up Royce and it's These are really tough. Okay. 30. Uh, that is a critical success. Uh, 28. Uh, that is a success. Oh, I got this one. No, no I gotta do three! Yeah, yes, you do. He's a key. Well, the critical Crit. success. Okay, sick. Um, oh, you know what? That's true. It would have counted for two, uh, two successes. Oh, but it, I needed four. So that Oh, yeah. cool. Um, so, yeah. I succeeded five, yeah. by the way. So, yeah, you get into that vault. Just that Yay. one. <laughs> it's um, Royce. It's empty. Roll? No, it isn't. <laughs> um, no, it has 15 no, dollars. Actually, that's funny. Roll a d6 for me. <laughs> what have you, you done? Have, uh, two of these are empty. It's a question of which ones. <laughs> oh, fucking luck. Four. Uh, that one, it's not empty. <laughs> <laughs> and Zerfish uh, storms out. He's like, ah, this one was really easy. Damn it! Um... It wasn't roll a, roll a D4. <laughs> roll a, <laughs> I like crit twice. <laughs> I was thinking. Roll a D4 for me. <laughs> Two. Two. Sounds good. And then uh, roll, a, roll a, I love it. another D4. One. Stop uh, roll one D100. One. Roll one D100 and then roll evens or odds for on something. Uh, 73. Okay. Odd. Odd. <laughs> a wand of widening. <laughs> I have one of those actually. <laughs> I have a wand of widening. I thought you were making a sex joke. I have. Look. There's a. Yeah. Wand yes. of widening. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it can also be a sex joke. Uh, I thought it was. Time. It's called a penis. Well, that'd be the, that'd I be the wand of lengthening. I think I have it. Uh, uh. You think you have it? I have it. <gasps> Sticks like over your shoulder. What is it? Stickle <laughs> <laughs> free. <Yeah. laughs> he zoomed down when yeah. he heard it. Ten unlock. two six. Ten two six. Hey, try ten two six. I'm rummaging. Oh, wait, Roy. the locks are up here. Ten two six. Yeah. Roy's gonna walk Zero. over and uh, find the. He's, Roy's gonna try and find the box so and try ten two six. He's in the. He's in the crate, by the way. Uh -huh. And he's nine. like, I'm rummaging, and his tail is going like this. Uh, he's like, minus two <laughs> six. Ten minus four. Oh, goblin. That's right. See that? um, however, the, that it's combination upstairs. doesn't do anything down here. This is for the, the safe deposit yeah. box boxes yes. upstairs. So Rena, you approach mm -hmm. the safe deposit boxes and you say aloud, one zero two six. And then um, <laughs> what the box, then you like, then the box opens up, and inside are a set of keys. Ooh. This is so cool. <laughs> this is like an escape room. Yeah, it is. It kind of is. Lock another box. Yep. Um, it, one of them appears to uh, uh, be like a bronze <coughs> key. The second is a silver key, and the third one is a golden key. Okay. Um, Zarephus, yeah. inside the room, it is entirely empty. Save for what appears to be, um, I'm sorry, I need, I need to see what this word means. Did you so say like wand that. widener? Mm. Wand no. widening? Yeah, there's yeah. a that's two different things. Uh, though. There's a wand widener? <laughs> no, but that, <laughs> that's what you said. And I was like, a wand of widening and a wand widener are both two different hill. things. You, yeah. uh, you, you, it, it's what appears to be um, this, it, it looks like um, j just like a. Um, it's like on like a mannequin, but it's like a gas mask. Oh, that's thank cool. God. That's the only thing in here. That's um, and you look on the back, and you see that there are runes etched on the inside of the mask. That uh, well, I can roll a couch. I like how you like Alphonse in this. Um, <laughs> he, he yeah, role -play you that recognize these little? runes oh. as being associated with Serania, the the plane of the boundless sky. The, the the plane that's connected with oh, that air it. air. I bet you can breathe. You can breathe really good with this. <laughs> it's a COVID mask. <laughs> it's a what? COVID. Yeah, it's COVID mask. I'll put it on. A okay, so. It's a CPAP. What if it was like? What if they were anti-air runes and he just like? There he goes. Time to <laughs> pull up that character whose dad you can't passed say away. Your fucking guy from uh, Monsters Inc. gets the screen sucked yeah. out of him. Oh, uh, damn. Oh, that lady who falls out of a wine bucket. 
So you put it on, and as you uh, as you breathe, you let out this you know this gas mask sounding uh, thing. Uh, this is called an Ever Air mask. Yeah. While wearing the mask, you get a plus one item bonus to Fortitude saving throws against inhaled poisons. Nice. nice. Me too. Plus one. Mm-hmm. You should say me too. too. Additionally, yeah. you can activate the mask's runes, and the surrounding air, as well as the air you exhale, becomes enriched with oxygen. This allows the Ever Air mask to recycle air into breathable air for one hour. Oh, that's Rune's that's magic really cool. is unusable to provide breathable air while underwater, in a vacuum, or in any other situation where air is normally unavailable. <laughs> I don't like how it specifies Wait, vacuum. Um, say, that say that sound, again? I'll does, send you the, the link why, to the... Okay. Uh, why did that um, sound thing? like the... the Warning. Oh, I have Consuming one. this may. Got you got an error <laughs> Greater, lesser, major, minor. Uh, it's a lesser. It's a lesser ever error mask. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, That's cool. No, 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 I no, like no. that, though. That's a really cool item. Someone thought it was important enough to store down here. Um, That's really cool. So, Renna, you have the keys. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you guys don't really have any further reason to be upstairs if you yep. want to call come down. Uh, uh, how as long is it going to slow down? Uh, at this point, five minutes. Okay. Sure. I think Severin this has gotten, slow this down? gotten done pretty quick. Okay. Um, I think Severin was thinking of leading. Whoever is coming away. Interesting. Oh. Okay. I, I, I like that. Okay. Do you need a, a second? No. I have a fucking I mean, gas mask on. <laughs> yeah. No. You guys watch as no something comes out alone. of one of the vaults. <laughs> it's a therapist with a the gas mask. Uh, yeah, no one uh, should go alone. Uh, yeah, but I've ran these streets you found since that I was a kid. Surface? I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, trust oh. me, you might actually slow me down. Looks nice on you. Covers my face. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> um, okay, Seth. I'll get to you in a sec. For now, um, gang, what are we doing down here? I got keys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have the warden's badge or the manager's badge as I, well? I, I put it on. Sick. As you approach <laughs> the door to the vault, you see, you you see one of the the uh, a warding a glyph of warning appear on the oh, door oh. and then d uh, dissipate as you Ooh. approach. Nice. Is there like a keyhole for it? Um, uh, actually, as you approach, the, the, the thing dissipates and you hear like a as the lock huh. un unlatches. And you push it open. Uh, in, this, in, in this room, uh, on the other side, is, there's just this stone room with these stone pillars supporting. And against the very back wall is a, cop, is a, or is a, is a bronze uh, vault door. Uh, that is emblazoned with these three different uh, symbols. One appears to be a dwarf riding a manticore. Whoa. The second appears to be um, <coughs> uh, it appears to be a dwarf holding up um, uh, holding like a hammer in one hand and mm -hmm. um, and a scale in the other. And then the third one appears to be um, uh, an etching of a gate with an army of dwarves standing in front of it. That's cool. Can you send us who the monologue yeah, again? Yeah, who has yeah. that? No. It's in the chat, isn't it? It's uh, not. not in the group chat. Uh, I forgot to send it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I maybe sent it to a different group chat. <coughs> That'd be embarrassing. Just, I didn't. I copied it, group? but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, hey, they're like, hey, Jack, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sir? You text it to your boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, check this out. <laughs> he, just gets, he just gets a little yeah. thumbs up. Guys are like, oh, you guys on, are doing Eberron. Posted on yeah, freaking okay. base camp. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, and then so you uh, talk about Baldilor, the great sorrow that happened to the Moor dwarves uh, during the early days of the world. <laughs> oh my God, yes. And like, then oh tomorrow, my God, John, that's so base. And then tomorrow we get a message saying, <laughs> I no so longer base. have a job. I no longer have a job. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who's no longer that's a so barista? Base. Guess who's no longer a barista? Uh, <laughs> hey, I got three potions joke. of healing. I'm gonna drink one of them. Sick. It's here. Heal my crunchy knees. I was like, mm. I was like, you took the image, but never mind. Knee crunch. Yeah, he's crunchy. Okay. All right. As you uh, also dominating this room is a massive magical rune on the floor that appears to um, uh, that is that glows with magic but dissipates as do as uh, I was at dawn <laughs> as Renna approaches. Above yeah, Don's just well, a bit of trouble right now. There appears to be a um, uh, what appears to be like a. Um, Almost like a skylight as well, but this is like, uh, but it's like this emblem on the top of the, um, on the top of the ceiling, uh, that, at the top of the ceiling, on the ceiling, uh, that appears to have, um, there are six, like, panels to it, almost like a wheel, and in each one, uh, there are, uh, there appear to be motifs of dwarves, 
uh, uh, doing different things. One is um, a dwarf that appears to be sleeping. The other one is a dwarf that um, is um, holding out their hand in like a forbidding motion. The other one is channeling a lightning bolt. One of them uh, additionally has uh, their uh, like a blindfold wrapped around their eyes. One is firing an arrow. They look like an outdoorsy type, and the other one appears to be um, treating someone who is. Wait, where are these ones? Up on the ceiling. Okay, and they're like a circle. Yes. Um, okay. Also, uh, flanking the walls are um, similar to the statues you saw upstairs. Are statues very, very finely carved statues of dwarves. Um, they all appear to be different dwarves um, from where you can see. Some of them look to be warriors. Others look to be artisans. Some look, some look to be like magic casters. Okay. These are like paragons of dwarven kind. It would seem. Uh, cool architecture and paintings. Um, how do we open this? Um, I would assume it has to do with that one note. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the for, riddle. Uh, uh, Roy's going to like inspect yeah. each of those, uh, the, the the three, where they. I will be the sending. Motifs. Yeah. I will be sending in the middle of the room to make sure that the ward is. For down. sure. Um, so you are looking at the motifs. What are you What are you looking for? I'm looking for a keyhole. Um, in the sorry, in the center of the door appears to be a slot for a, for a keyhole. to access the tribal grammar, our history. So what about these three images of the, the the writer, the army, and the... Well, I would recommend you read the passage and remember you're standing in front of a bronze door. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Victorian I think, I don't, I, I don't think I understand. Protecting, we called, when called to serve, we were guardians of the bronze gate, protecting the kingdom below from the exiles above the days of Bald Delore, the Great Sorrow. So maybe we have to touch something on the door? I'm gonna, can I just, oh, Zarephus will say that and just walk over to the door. Um, is the key in? I have the keys. So. You have the keys. Oh, oh so there's keyholes. There is a keyhole. Okay. This is the bronze door. I have a bronze key. Mm-hmm. And okay. a silver key and a gold key. All right, give me the bronze one. I'm just gonna give you all of them. Because all they're right. all in one There's a keyhole? Ring. Yes. It's the only keyhole. Yes, there's only one. I put the key in. So you stick the key in, um, and um, you feel like you can turn the key in, in different directions. Okay, and there's three. There's a we, dwarf we riding on the top. Is the dwarf riding the There's manticore. one holding a hammer and, and a, a scale, and, scale, and, the, and the other one, one is a, they're mm. at the gate. But the, no, 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 the three, the three keys are silver, gold, and bronze. I know. The first one's silver, so gold, the, gold, bronze. So the bronze one is probably the guardians the at the gate. So we'll yes. turn it to that. Yeah, so you turn it. Um, then what ends up happening is you you feel the lock like chink into place but then you feel the the metal of the door begin to heat up as oh, uh, as it gets white hot and you pull it back yeah. the uh, the you feel the door give way um but uh um you then start to see some of the statues against the wall oh, that was wrong step down what? from their daises and they say no son of kundarak tries to access the vault Stop them! I'm not a dwarf! As uh, we have to roll initiative. Oh, shit. I oh, thought a good shit. time. Yeah, you did. Sorry, guys. What? Severin's not here. I, I also. Mirabot is also probably upstairs. I think oh, it's probably... not down here? No, because he probably oh. would have talked to Severin about going with Severin and is and Severin probably turned him on down. his way down. Mm-hmm. Severin turned him down. Oh, shit. But he's probably on his way back down. Um, I'm assuming so I will it say, is in you, order. As you finish it, 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 it unlocks and the door does uh, does roll out of the way. <laughs> so it opened, but there is... It okay. opened. Oh, it opened. I'm just going to try to keep opening these things, y'all. Wait. How many it's of them are there? Three. there uh, behind that co- bronze door is a silver door. There are uh, three statues. I have news for them. Oh no! And, and all three. He pulls out the big ones I used for you. Um, can yes. And then he puts can, the Dark Souls music. Can you put <laughs> me in the middle of that room, just right in the center of the room? Do we need the uh, little like little here, shield right? for that? Hmm. They're do like you, here. Do right? you need to hold the little shield to hold activate the, the door. Shield? The little uh, assistant manager badge. Oh no! Sorry. As long as uh, as long as you have it. Um, spoiler alert! As long as you have the. Uh, Assistant manager's badge on your person. The traps do not activate. Mm-hmm. Zarephus did not Fuck. have the badge on. Fuck! Uh, so I just need to do it. Also, he's not a dwarf. But I so <laughs> your, your thing was right. But um, <laughs> he called um, me too tall. They're like they right did, there. They right? did specify earlier that only the assistant manager could activate. They're right there, right? And the manager. Um, mm-hmm. yes. Okay. They have all gathered right there. They basically hopped off the wall, and they have um, 
Uh, they, they all appear to be the warrior types that have come to cool. uh, come to attack. This is pretty cool. All right. Um, we're just rolling initiative again. So I rolled so good. What do you roll? Ten. Twenty-five. Yay! Good job. I don't need to roll. Yeah, I opted out. <laughs> like, see ya. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to go kill some Adani. I don't know if I know that, but maybe you should open the doors. Probably. Let's we'll see what I'll fight the stones. I'm probably be more useful opening the doors. All right. You do the next one. Okay. So just shitty. Okay. Um, I need to roll for these statues. Two. <laughs> no, it was not a two. Oh, um, no. Anyone roll 30 to 25? 26. Uh, 20, not 25, sorry. 25? No. 26. What did you roll, Jacob? He's getting Oh, 25. 25. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so Roy, then okay. Zarephus. They later get some more money. Stay, goes, yeah. hmm. 19. 19? 21. 21? 23. 23. Look. Okay, so. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. I'm actually and, uh, going seven, second. I'll have you roll initiative as well. Oh, okay. I don't want you to get left seven. out. Seven. Um, 21, you said, Renna? 19 for Roy. And then I just want to roll stealth initiative. Yeah, that's fine. Nope. Hmm. Um, did you say 19 for Roy? Did you get 19? I rolled a 26. Oh, I'm stupid. Beerbot, what did you roll? Someone rolled uh, a 19. Who rolled 20, a 19? 23. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Okie dokie. 23. 23. Mm. <sighs> okay. Uh, Roy, it's your turn as you watch these statues come to life. Um, statue, statue, statue. All of them are statues. Yes. Okay. Uh, Roy's gonna pull a grenade and throw here. All right, sounds good. Make an attack roll. Hmm. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Roll for damage. Ooh. Nine initial, four okay. splash, uh, three ongoing. Okay. So how much? Uh, how much does he take right now? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, we'll call that one on the far, on your side, one, and then two is the one next to him, and then three is the one on okay. the other side. Uh, so you said 13 total? 13 total, and then uh, at the end of his turn, uh, Got three. It. Got it. Okay. Um, so as you as you lob the bomb, uh, you're reminded of the heist at the Jurasco, uh facility when you went up against those animated armors. These statues seem to have a, uh, a similar hardness to them. Uh, so it doesn't take all of the damage, but it does oh, take some. Shit. So uh, we are dealing with another hardness mechanic, folks. Um, okay. Anything else? And then uh, you have two more actions? Yes. Um, does Roy know if uh, acid would be more effective um, against? Uh, or is it just... It's, uh, it's The fire seemed to affect it normally. It's just all damage that is dealt to it is, is reduced by the hardness. Okay. Uh, Roy will throw another gr- grenade Got at it. What about mental damage? Uh, <laughs> it, it is immune to mental damage. It does mm. not have a brain. Yeah, no brain. Damn. 24. 24 will hit. That's with your multi-attack penalty? Yes. Understood. Mm-hmm. I roll pretty high. I don't think Sweet. I can do damage to these things. Yes. 10, and then and an, another additional 3 ongoing on his turn. Sweet. So how much uh, persistent damage is that going to be? 6 persistent. Mm. Sounds good. Uh, and you said 10? All right. 10, yeah. Um, uh, more fire crashes, uh, crashes on, and the alchemist fire burning away at some of the stone, but the the statue lumbers on. It is a Zarephus' turn. Okay, I'm going to do something else. Uh, I'm going to um, hide behind this door. Sounds good. I will roll stealth for you. Yeah. Okay. Or take cover, I guess. Take cover? Okay. That's Sounds good. Um, I'm going to do two attacks. One's going to be a spell strike. One's going to be a gouging claw. I'm going to do um, gouging claw mixed with my with my attack on the first one. Got it. Um, that is a uh, 21 to hit. 21 hits. Okay. That is going to be uh, quite a bit of damage here. That's going to be um, 
4d6. Um, 8, uh, 8, uh, 11, 12, plus my ability modifier, which is 4, 15 damage. 15, okay. Um, and then another attack, which is minus, oh my god. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, it's a, cr it's a 20 plus 13, so 33. A uh, critical hit. Okay, that's just my regular attack. So, um, the, how does crits work? It's just double. Roll the, roll the attack damage nor as normal, double okay. the results. Got it. Um, holy shit. Um, 15 again. 15. Oh my yeah. god, I just did so much damage! You did. That's um, it, that's the end of my turn. He just takes his claw and just like... Just like um, as right. you strike into it, you tear away physically at the Hell stone, yeah. uh, just ri ripping and tearing. Uh, you uh, have reduced it to yeah. less than half its hit points as the, the armor has broken. Cool. Um, uh, so now it uh, its AC is lowered. Cool. Or sorry, mm -hmm. which one are you attacking? This one. I'm so sorry. Number three. Uh, I, I did damage to the wrong one. Okay. That's my bad. No That's my bad. Um, so you said number three. It was uh, 15 twice, right? Yeah. So, uh, so, so nine, nine, 18. Uh, uh, even so, you still break it. It is down to half its hit points. Okay. Awesome. Um, that is really cool. Awesome. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Claw good. Beerbot. <laughs> so Beerbot probably would be on his way down the <laughs> stairs the at this her. point. Yeah. Um, or it's like they're detected. <coughs> he can't get to anything this. Well, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is downstairs, right? So it's yes. not extra movement. Um, I'll say you can get to the bottom by this time this all happens. So I'm here. So you're there. Yes. At the start of my turn. Yes. Or okay. Get on therapist, this one, finish them off. Or both of these guys. Um, that both one, were hit by that one has been hit, but isn't broken. The one that Azarephus is in front of is broken. Hell yeah. Um, and the uh, other one, ten, the bugbear one, hasn't touched. I can't get to both of them. Okay. Uh, five, ten, five, ten, five. Sudden charge, that one. Okay. Pain train. Choo choo! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. First attack, crit. Nice. For 34. Yeah, critical hit. And the second attack, uh, so minus 5, which means plus 9, 21. 21 hits. Okay. So So for the crit, roll normal, double D. Who's on deck? Um, on deck is Severin. Whew. 14. Followed by Red. And, and I double the mod too, right? You just add up all the damage and okay. then double it. Are you serious? Another yes. 4 damage. What? I didn't do my modifier twice. Another four damage. Oh, yeah. It's all the damage. Yeah. Another four. Yeah. So I did another four? 19 damage. Holy okay. shit. 38. I lost. I almost hit Beerbot numbers. 19. <laughs> you did. Almost. But you didn't hit seven numbers. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, for, for both attacks, a total of 52. Right. I, need, I need both. Uh, 38 and uh, 12. Or sorry, thirty-eight and That's fourteen. Actually. Um, it's gone. You destroy it. <laughs> yes! It's just, uh, just the legs. It, as you, I unplug, slice it, and then yeah. you just you, <laughs> you, you strike it twice, and it just crumbles into rubble. I think Azarephus is like, hell yeah, beer bot. Well, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> he does that, and you say that, and he just Delirious. on the six. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> He's so angry. Don't look so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even have one. Severin, uh -huh. uh, as you head, uh, you've gotten outside at this mm -hmm. point. You've gone out the front door. Uh, um, you look down the street and you see two Sharn Watch officers rushing towards the bank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Um, he's kind of going back into his Tarkanan days, which is he's drawing them off. Mm -hmm. So he's probably taken off part of his armor, so his aberrant mark is showing, mm -hmm. um, to eventually give him a target. For sure. He's going to shoot at one to not hit. Got it. And then... It's purposely missed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you fire off this blast from your arcane fire miss as the guy dodges, uh, or at least thinks he does. Um, <laughs> he dodges he into the bullet. Get him! Get him! As, uh, what do you do next? He's going to run down kind of fast enough so that he's leading, Got it. but slow enough that they never lose him. Got it. That's really cool. Um, Noise. That's great. Up next is Ren. Mm. I am going to rush to the silver door. Taking the keys from his orifice, I imagine. Yes. Okay, cool. You've taken the keys from his orifice. Um, you have keyed. 
markings on this one? Do, 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 do. Um, the same ones. Okay. So, Silver door. So remind me of what they are again. Manticore, or Manticore. Dwarf riding a manticore. Yep. Dwarf holding up a hammer and a scale. Okay. Um, and then scale is in like a balancing yes. scale. And then um, uh, the, 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 the uh, army of dwarves in front of a gate. Gate has already been done. Yes. Um, turning to the manticore. All right. You stick it in and then turn it up to the uh, to the manticore. Um, let me look up something really quick. I'm sorry. Uh, Are you trained in occultism? I am. Um, no surprise. Roll an occultism check for me. You feel the power of your patron uh, flowing through you as the Lady in Shadow is attempting to trick the door into thinking that you are a dwarf. Uh, I, I am actually... So you're basically doing uh, the trick magic item check. I'm actually That's not cool. trained, I'm expert. Oh, perfect. You get better. Good job. I am only simply trained in occultism. <laughs> true I mean, you could have technically tra- attempted to. I just forgot that this was No, it's okay. So okay. apologies. He was, he was stupid. He, didn't know. he was like, oops. <laughs> I'm not a dwarf. That'll be a 24. Racist. 24 is enough. <laughs> when it turned white hot, like the last time it activated a, a trap, you, you, it doesn't, um, and you feel, uh, as you pull out the key, the, the silver door <laughs> rolls out of the way. On the other side is a golden door. Yep. And it was an action to it take the key. It was an interact from. action to take the keys. Yeah. Uh, interact to move. Or a speed, uh, to, to, to move. To move. And then to and then interact to, to do the thing. So, so that's your turn. He really knows how to identify cadavers. Uh, well done. Uh, Stick, it is your turn. Uh, he's going to cast needle darts on one of these. Pew, pew, the pew, 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 one that got a grenade launched at it. Got it. Let's see. <sighs> I have figured out your dull door puzzle. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. And you figured you figured out my. Uh, it's very my, cool. My puzzle puzzle too. Well, once it's you a real puzzle. puzzle. Yeah. Once you let what the puzzle I don't think that's thing I, I, I was, was like, but it is a little, it is a little confusing. I don't so think like, a fifteen uh, hits. But the, it sort of fortunately misses. Oh, that's all good. But that's the okay. once you said like in what, what how do they react? Wait, I'm like, oh okay, okay, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it out. Anything else in here? All right. Um, it is the statues and the guards' turn. So the statues, um, let's see. Uh, the wounded statue is gonna um, go for Beerbot, uh, so it's gonna move up to its speed. That, that one was not wounded. Mm-hmm. Is uh, which is what's their speed? More than 20, 10? 20 feet. So yeah, that can get to Beerbot. Then the other one is gonna move towards you as an. That's fine. Um, this is they're gonna make a. They're going to make a, a, a fist attack and then an axe attack. Oh, Sorry, a hammer it. attack. Um, yeah, that is an 11, or 11, a 21 to hit you, Mirbot. Uh, so that misses with the, the fist. Big Warhammer misses uh, your, your AC. 21. 21. Uh, that's a 2. Two. Um, wow, an 8 uh, plus 6, 14. Hell yeah, no. these I things, they, they take these big swipes. They're very easy to read. You're, all, you're both able to yeah. dodge yeah. them without any issue. Cool. No um, meanwhile, the Sharn watch officers, mm-hmm. they're going to... Um, uh, hold on, I need to look up. Sorry. Get down from... That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, get We Abram painted Abram a Mark. constellation on Robbing the bank. Uh, hey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where are you? It's yeah. right. Hang on. They're, uh, w- one of them is going to use all of their yeah. interact A-cam. actions to chase you. Yep. The other one is, or all of their their, their uh, yeah. move actions to chase you. One is going to use an interact action to pull out a signal whistle. Okay. An interact action to blow it. Okay. Uh, as as a watch whistle is being sounded through, uh, throughout Upper Dura. Yikes. And, that uh, is more people and, away uh, from and the bank. He's running, <laughs> and then true. he's r- taken off running. If you feel confident, you can get away. Um. It is now Roy's turn. All right. Um, Roy's going to put a bullet in his um, slingshot. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> what? Lost, lost boss. <laughs> put a bullet <laughs> in his... His fucking statues. Oh, my God. Roy, Roy, Roy why did you do that? There's no <laughs> No way, no, we were almost there, Roy. Roy, you're close, indeed. <laughs> he sees the gas mask and he's thrown oh, back into the go. war that he never had. <laughs> no. Um, Flash back he's never had. Yeah. Seventeen to hit. Unfortunately, that will miss. No. Oh, sorry, I thought it was twenty. Never mind. All 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you try and fire off too, but they just. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Which one did you attack? Oh, it, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Their AC hasn't changed. Sorry about that. Um, anything else, Roy? No, uh, I'll, my last action is to take cover. Take cover. Again. You got it. Um, <coughs> Zerfus. Counting claw. Go for it. Um, let's. Uh, well, how's how's about a twenty-eight? Uh, that is a hit. Cool. It's and a, then it is a hit. It is a hit. Cool. And then I'll use my last action to um, to uh, recharge my spell strike. Sick. Um, that's gonna do. You can just move on. He was Duncan on okay. the fact that cantrips were Fear low damage, and I was like, they, uh, they there's one attacking me now, right? Uh, yeah. Well, there is one right behind you that's attacking you. It looks to be somewhat wounded by Roy's fire. All right. I think Roy. Eleven. Um, Eleven points of damage. Yep. This is why I said you can. Tear away a little bit of the snow. Okay. Still, still coming at you. No worries. I'm just gonna yeah. do three attacks on the one that. Sick. Keep it nice and simple. Uh, 19 on the die for a total of 33. Critical hit. Woo! Uh, natural one. Okay. What's <laughs> the point? Damn. A crit with Jacob's dice for a total of. Uh, <laughs> I gave you a crit for a total of 24. <laughs> well, there, the crit damage butter. first for the first one to see if you even need to roll a second oh, attack yeah, against might. it. So just do ro- ro- roll your damage to add everything together and then double it. Eight. So 13, 26. 26? Yeah, for the first one. Um, okay. <coughs> Still up. Okay. Apparently. And it is broken, though. What? What does. Broken. Double crit. It also Double has crit. the effect of. Oh, yeah, because uh, you have your critical, critical brawling, specialization. Whatever yeah. that does. I don't think it's going to matter. Mm-hmm. Let's find out if it's going to matter. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> 12, 17, 34 more bludgeoning damage. So that one is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally, uh, it would succeed. A, it would have to succeed a fortitude save against your class DC or be slowed one until the end of your turn. That's crazy. Very cool. Fucking loses an action straight up. That's that is, so cool. Or, or potentially does. All right, yeah, you crumble that statue to dust. Um, well, it loses all actions now. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. it does. Uh, it's Seth, it's your turn. Oh, fuck. Uh, that is. Run! Um, as you uh, run down the alleyway, as one signal whistle goes off, you hear another one, and then another one, and then another one, as they echo throughout the, the alleyways mm-hmm. of Upper Jara. Yeah. Um, he, he knows these streets. Yeah. Um, and I think he knows a lot of these alleys, mm-hmm. too. Um, um, it, he is honestly trying to draw it away from the gotcha. bank. Um, I think at some point he would turn around and do Strike of Destruction in a way that... Mm-hmm. What will you target? When you do yeah, that. that's the thing. I think if it almost be like if it's at the the edge of the range of one person mm-hmm. to draw blood. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think as as you're as you're running through, you come out of an alleyway and there's a Sharn Watch officer right there, and you just <laughs> uh, I'll roll the save, um, and if you want to roll damage. Uh, Imagine your City Watch in in uh, Sharn right now, and you're like, we're looking for a guy, and you look up on a top of a building, and you just see fucking. Severin silhouette. God damn. With the fucking aberrant mark. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, bye. Good luck. Sorry, um, I'm like. Thank you. I choose life. Yeah, yeah. That is. Uh, it's a fortitude save, right? Yeah, that's why. It was like, where is it? 16. No, his is a 22. For sure. Um, it's just a D8 of damage, though. Flames. Just a D8? Um, yeah, a deal damage. You're right. Sorry, it's yeah, 3d8. It's 3D8. I yeah, yeah. I was like, it's just d8s. <laughs> it's don't worry, guys. It's, it's a deal. Damn it. Is it 3d8? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, cantrip. Yeah, yeah. I don't know my other one. It's seven. Um, eleven damage. Eleven damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you blast him back a little bit. He's still he's still uh, up, but he's he's bloodied. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, um, as as you kind of knock him off his feet and you keep running, mm-hmm. um, you hear more watch whistles go off. Uh, next up is Rena. Stick to your own deck. Um, move up to the next door. I assume it's the same grouping. I put in the gold key and switch it to the scales. Yes, you do so, and uh, roll an occultism check for me. Occultism. I have a, a cool question. Yeah. Is doing that interaction with an object? Yes. Okay, so you could have used your move last turn to get here and then start your turn opening it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, okay. no, I no. think I. She had to no. interact to get the keys from you. Move, move to get to the door. Then and drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. So move, interact. interact. 
Um, that will be a, a higher than last time. That, that, uh, Once again, uh, 27. the Lady in Shadow has tricked the door into thinking that you are the one. <laughs> we have tricked the door. It's a dwarf. I want to see what the um, Rana dwarf is. Someone draw that. <laughs> it's like Mario. Um, inside, you <laughs> see... Mario. It, no, it's, it, 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 yeah, no, it's just the same short. thing, just yeah. proportionally yeah. squished. With a beard. It's, with a beard. Yeah, with a beard. Inside, you see, once again, uh, in the center, there does appear to be this big... Uh, treasure chest. Um, along the, the sides of the wall, there are um, some vaults as well. Mm -hmm. You recall that the note about the vault, the, 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 the safe deposit box that you guys are looking for is vault B2. And you, you can see it from where you're at. Um, and there's this big magical rune on the floor that does dissipate as you approach. Yeah. Um, you said I can see where that is? Yes. Then I will just walk over to it Sounds and that'll good. be the end of my turn. Sounds good, Stick. Where, where is it? Um, it'll be on the right side. Pretty much right there. That's exactly um, where I thought of it. Well, there you go. I'll try needle darts. Needle darts. It doesn't hit. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 w
Oh, well, ah. you are paralyzed. Ah. <laughs> I just realized. Walk again. I just realized on my turn. All of your bones gonna be crunchy. My, my first die wasn't a crit, but because of additives, it was a crit. So I crit, crit failed, and then crit. Yeah. <laughs> what the what the fuck? Um, the guards are still after you, Severin. I think mm. at this point, some of them have pulled out crossbows and are trying mm. to shoot at you. Um, I think he's gonna be sorry. I'm gonna tell you this now because I'm yeah. I'm gonna forget. Um. I think around now is where he is far enough that he is going to start trying to Got lose it. them. Um, one of those crossbow rounds does hit you. Though. Okay, that's fine. You take Blood the water. two points of missing damage. Whoa, right. congratulations. Whoa, I'm dead. <laughs> that's um, double Roy. what I did for, for my spell. Um, <laughs> my blood rope. <laughs> this is a, a bad game. game. Yes. Oh, it's a bad game. How much is it? Uh, equal to 10 plus the damage you've taken plus the level of spell you're casting. Nope. Okay, so I... Wait, so... Nope. Hang on, hang on. And, uh, I'm hiding again. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Zarephus. Um, uh, 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 I am going to, uh... Oh, fuck me. Um... No. <laughs> um... <laughs> Seth will. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. He's not here right now. <laughs> What do I need to roll for that? Is it a <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's concentration. Is it a, a concentration? What do I need to roll for that? Is it is it is it a spell with the concentrate tag? Yeah. yeah. All that that means is that you can't rage while you're doing it, and you can't use a manipulate action for interacting. Yeah, that's I don't all that it means. So you don't can't actually get disrupted. No, no I don't oh. think you can. I well, then fucking. Because right. I looked up concentrate, and that's all it says. Spell strike. Yeah. Sick. Uh, Could be wrong, but whatever. 20, roll with it natural point. 20, so like 33. Please. Yeah, critical hit. Okay, critical hit. Um, that's on fucking gouging claw, too. Um, and then regular attack is um, 30. Uh, Th another critical hit. Oh my god. And then second Please. attack nice. is uh, dirty 20. Not a critical hit, but it does hit. Okay. Um, uh, uh, move on. Okay. That's it. That's I mean, my, you that's honestly my might kill it okay. with two crits. Then, I'd okay. like to just know the damage. Nine. Plus what? Uh, 18 times 2 is 36. 36. Uh, yeah, you destroy it. <laughs> you, just, you just tear through it with your claws yeah. as you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. rend through it and it just like crumbles into Perfect. the ground. Um, <clears throat> at this point, uh, Renna, you're standing in front of the box. Mm -hmm. There was a password in one of the things you were called that the passphrase is Lorelei for this vault. Mm -hmm. Um, or no, this one is Chimera. This one is yes, Chimera. Yes, this one is Chimera. Um, you open it up and you see inside there is a pouch with uh, with gold in it. Ooh. Just a little guy. What was the other one? Mm -hmm. What was the other vault? Uh, that was the vault that this money was originally <coughs> deposited into. That one's upstairs. Okay. The, all the stuff in that one was taken out and put into this one. All that it is is uh, the bag of gold. Mm -hmm. So you take it and uh, you got what you need. You guys have, have acquired the gold from Dask. You've also figured out a name, Eldrin Galt person that this is connected to. Type. Um, as uh, you all flee the bank before, uh, thankfully, Severin provided enough of a distraction that the Sharn Watch and uh, and House Kundrak uh, and Madani oh, chased after him instead of uh, chasing after you guys. You guys are able to make a clean getaway. Yeah. As clean as this can Let's be. Let's go! As, as, get away? as for what happens to Severin, that will have to be uh -oh. uh, something that we find out next time on Everon. City of Towers. Let me find guys. Oh, Congratulations, guys. guys. Hell yeah, Another that was awesome. Done. Jack, that was fucking awesome. Sweet. That was so cool. The puzzles yes. were cool. The riddles were cool. The whole encounter was fucking great. We didn't even do all the stuff I planned. I was like, this is taking a minute, but Damn. there was more stuff. There was. It was so good, though. More it was so good. I'm glad. It was so good. I'm glad you guys decided to break into those other vaults and see what's in there. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, like, really like did what one. you did. When oh, you yeah. And found the gas mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's probably if we had more stuff time, maybe you guys would have done more and maybe found some stuff. But next time, we'll I'll 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 rummage. Yeah. <laughs> when you no. come back here next time, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, on right. way out when we're running. No. Out. Oh, we're yeah, running. Sick. <laughs> You're like, Roy, Roy, get that one. Uh, get guys, that one. We'll see you guys next time. Be here tomorrow. Descend. You know, yes. it's going to be time. It's going to be new Descend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Never run. <laughs> <laughs> Red light. Yeah. Um, freaking Colton, send us out. Wait, I'm doing it? Yeah. Freaking Colton. Go. go. Come on, freak out. Out? Go, send out, us out. Outside? Yeah, go. You're going to leave right yeah. now? He's going to go? He I left know. the house. He's gone. He's walking.